Baltimore, Maryland for the final divisional OT7 North with two tickets already punched to the OT7 championship in June. We have only 10 spots remaining, and this is the last weekend for these teams to prove themselves and show us why they deserve a shot to go to that OT7 championship in June in Los Angeles. But enough of me blabbering. Guys, we got North Carolina representing out here against Midwest Boom. Carolina Stars versus Boom is the first game that we got here. I'm your main man, Kieran. I'm joined here by another main man. Over Tom Tom, how we doing, Tom? Bro, OT7 Baltimore. We're trying to see who's going to get to OT7 Finals. I'm excited. It's going to be insane. Honestly, I'm excited for this matchup. Tell us what we need to be looking forward to. Well, look, I don't know if I, I don't know if you know this. Midwest Boom, that's my team. I like mm. root for I, I root for them real, real heavy, and they are led by Amarion Stewart. He's a wide receiver, four star. Coach Jr., who's my guy, he said that he's gonna lead the charge, and they got a bunch of really good players. Carolina Stars, on the other hand, Coach Boone, he just want to talk about how they're kind of just one unit. They don't have one guy that stands out, but for me, Jordan Ship on the Carolina Stars, he's the main man. It should be a good matchup. It should be a good matchup. We got to see Amarion in Arizona. I'm excited to see this matchup. We got the players on the field. 22 minutes on the clock. Let's get it going. All right, it's game on. Carolina Stars here, taking the ball early. Midwest Boom, some of the best uniforms in all of OT7. They really do. Like, they bring the swag out every time. They're always coming out with the ski mask. I don't know if people saw that in the intro, but I think they're all, they're always kind of, they're leading from uh, Coach JR on Midwest Boom. Yeah, the amount of flips I see them hit coming out. <laughs> nice pickup on first down there by the Carolina first Stars. It's a big guy. That is, that's honestly a very Jack, large Jack pick. Larson, right? Notre Dame commit? Yeah, huge guy. You know, Notre Dame loves their tight ends, man. They do. Them and Iowa produce tight ends like nobody else. Last week or two weeks ago, we saw Notre Dame commit C.J. Carr, the quarterback for uh, California Power. So now we get to see a tight end that he'll play with in the future. Hey, hey, man. I will say this about uh, Midwest Boone, though. We did get to see them. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. I'm Marion Stewart. Two. Stud wide receiver, Taylor and Taylor, another stud wide receiver. I'm excited to see how they compete. They played really well. We haven't seen them since then, so I'm excited to see if they can punch their ticket to the OT7 championship in June because I believe We're talking touchdown for the Carolina Stars into the pit. That is a huge person. That is that, that man is that man is giant, brother. There's one at Danny Five. That's actually insane how big. One to five. Jack Larson in the end zone and into the pit. Here's another look at this ball right over the middle. Beautifully delivered there, Jack Larson. Seven. Snagging it, getting into the end zone, jumping into the pit, and the Carolina Stars start off with a 7-0 lead, which gives me a perfect opportunity to talk about the scoring rules that we have here at OT7. A touchdown is rewarded with seven points. If a stop is, if there's a stop for the defense, they get rewarded with two points. There's an interception for the defense, it is three points. We do also have what is called the money drive. On a money drive, the team on offense, if they score, they're rewarded with 10 points. If the defense gets a stop, they're rewarded with four. And if they get an interception, they're rewarded with six points. Also, we have a one point gamble after, oh, nearly picked off there. But, we also have what's called the one-point gamble. After a team scores, they have the opportunity to go for eight points for that drive. But if they don't get it, they only get six. I love it. You know what I'm looking for, right? Points. I, I love points. As many points as humanly possible. You got Boom out here. I love their quarterback, Alessio. We saw him out in Arizona through, through a lot of good balls. Um, I feel like the receiving core for Boom, they got a lot of talent, but there isn't I know we're talking about Amarion Stewart. We got to see if he can be like kind of the alpha, I think. Yeah, he, him, and I honestly, I think, if we're, if we're looking at stats, one, him one, and Boo Carter have had one, the most successful three. time out here. Here he is yeah. right here. I'm Arian Stewart catching the ball over the middle. Picks up the first down. First down, Boom. Boom's moving hey, the hey. ball down the field. Hey, you know what I love? Boom, everyone's got the same cleats. The yeah, they're, they're a real team, man, you know? Snipe, you, you with us yet? Okay. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the matching cleats, man. I like the individuals being able to show what they can bring to the That's field good. with some swag. So you hate, you hate teamwork? Yeah, pretty much. I'm, it's all about me, man. My coach always told me it's not an iron team. I always say it's an M&E. So we got Sniper Jones oh, on the vibe cam. We'll be throwing to him in a little bit as well. But Snipe, we hope you're having a good day, man. Love me some Snipe Jones. Big Calvin Cambridge guy out there. Calvin <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cambridge is great. Lesio drops back, looking over the middle. Oh! Ooh, he's caught. Did he get a foot in? Nah. No. 
I mean, that ref that was definitely over to the sideline. That oh, ref could have been in better position. <laughs> yeah, he definitely could have been in better position. I think he looked at the defensive back and he was like, what do you think? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I saw a foot maybe touch down there, but we'll see. We will see. Yeah. That was Taylor Taylor on the reception. He he destroyed some things out there in Phoenix as well with Imeri and Stewart. Those two guys are going to be really hard to deal with during this uh, dur during this divisional. And now, Karen, we mentioned it earlier, but these teams, they're all fighting to punch a ticket, right, to, to the OT7 finals? Yep, they're all fighting to punch a ticket. We have two teams that are already in, Low Pro and Def Con, who won last week in Orlando. Those two teams are going to be really tough to deal with, so we're trying to see what teams out here are, are going to... Earn one. that shot. Then we got two. 10 more spots, so a lot of teams can still make some noise. Exactly. First down. Nice catch over the middle there. No that way. was Nico Bertolino. First down. Yo, Alicio <laughs> has to be at least 6'4", bro. He's huge. He's tall, man. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but I'm sitting here behind him. And he looked like he can be a, a, at least a shooting guard for, <laughs> for a mid-major, bro. I'm not going to lie. Hey, I'll say it right now. I think he's one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the country. The dude is solid. He has a phenomenal arm. He puts the ball where it needs to be. I was really impressed by him out there in Phoenix. I think he's he's going to be a problem at the next level. Which one of us is going to try to pronounce his last name first? 1,001. Oh, man. 1,003. <laughs> Has to eat that one. <laughs> They're going to take the sack. Also, it gives me an opportunity to tell you guys about the blitz and run rules here at OT7. Each defense gets two blitzes during the games, and each offense gets one or gets two runs during the game. You cannot run inside the 10-yard line, though, so right here we can't see Alessio's sweet feet cutting and Dude, destroying people. Got it. Second down. <laughs> Same number you got on your back. Yep, yep. Gotta love the new score bug here at OT7. You see the little uh, the little lightning bolts. Those are the blitzes that each team has. Ball in the end zone intercepted by Carolina Stars. Samari Matthews with an interception. And what a start for Carolina Stars here. Alessio well, was kind of going for the most impossible pass. I know he didn't really have anyone open. I think he was going for the back of the end zone there, but I think it was a pre-red thing. I think he saw that 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 little uh, that little corner route that, that they were running and he wanted to put it in a spot where only his guy could get it, but he uh, drastically underestimated Samari Matthews here. You see this replay. This is your... Tough, oh, okay. tough interception. Oh, yeah, I got you. I honestly have so much respect for the DBs in this because it's hard. Like, the the uh, the game is definitely you got nothing but space. supporting offense. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the game definitely supports offense, but also the fact there's no line in 7v7, so you, you're, not, you're not having real pressure on a quarterback unless you're bringing those blitzes. Over the middle, I tell you what, man. <laughs> Jack Larson, Larson. Jack Larson is going to be a problem out here. I know we've seen a lot of really good tight ends at OT7. We yeah. had the number one tight end in the country, what in uh, in Texas? Yeah, Devon Mitchell. Yeah. Yep. But uh, Jack Larson, man, he's just always open. Yeah. Seems like he's always open. Notre Dame knows how to recruit their tight ends. Yeah, we saw Michael Mayer get uh, drafted yesterday. Yep. Notre Dame tight end. Shout out to all the players that got drafted. You know, I got to talk about the NFL draft. The the <laughs> commentators were so negative. Every pick, it was like, ah, he might suck. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, can we just... Nice pickup and a first down for Carolina Stars. Down to the 11-yard line. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a, that's the fun part about draft night. <laughs> like, no one knows if they're going to be good or bad, and everyone just, like, assuming they're going to be the worst players ever. Yeah. It's like, oh, Bryce Young, he's short. C.J. Stroud, huh? <laughs> he that, didn't do that well test. on the S2 test. Yeah. Oh, this running back, he's perfect at everything, but, you know, he hates his mom. 1,001, 1,002. Wide open, flat. Easy completion of the flat. Inside the five-yard line. First down again for Carolina Stars. That's Tom's favorite play, man, the check down. You know what I'm saying? He's Tom <laughs> hey, check down. Ain't that right, bro? <laughs> check downs won championships, Brady, baby. baby. Check downs won championships. The fact that we haven't seen a Hail Mary yet is just disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> if, it's not, if it's not a Hail Mary, Tom doesn't care. <laughs> Carolina Stars, first down from inside the goal. Oh, almost Ooh. intercepted there by Matt Lawson. We got a penalty. Looks like holding on the defense. Might be a penalty on the defense back. Huh? See, seems like it was a whole five-yard penalty against the defense, half a distance to the goal. One. see. Oh, 
We moved up a whole quarter of a yard. <laughs> yeah, a whole penalty. quarter of a yard. 1,002, 1,003. Oh! Interception! 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 Back to back. Sketchy throws. Boom takes advantage of it. And they cut the deficit back down to seven. We're looking at a three to 10 ball game right now. There you go. That was tough. Let's take a look at the replay. They ran into each other. Imagine me and you truck the shit out of you. That would be crazy. <laughs> no, you hey, would not. Bro, talk. bro, they literally ran into each other and then a pick happened. Like the worst thing happened, yeah, but then an even worse thing happened after that. That's some real sloppy football, I'll tell you what. Not great. It's not how you run across. Me. Now, if I'm Alessio here, I'm taking a <laughs> shot on first down, going deep. But I don't think they're going to. 1,001, 1,002. Alessio drops back. It's over the middle. Taylor, Ooh. Taylor. Right Easy down. completion. First down. First down for Boom. Boom is just moving the ball with these, man. Taylor Taylor, a four star, right? 2025. He's got to offer some Notre Dame, Iowa, Wisconsin. Love it. He's the number two athlete in 2025. Yeah. You know how athletic you have to be the, be the second most athletic? Very. 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 <laughs> Super athletic. I wouldn't know what it feels like. I'm the most athletic. <laughs> in any realm, but you know, coming out of high school, I was a six star. <laughs> <laughs> Lesio drops one, back. One thousand, First down for Boone. He's opening the corner. Into the end zone. Oh, Just oh. overthrown there for Luke Williams. Good, good. Who do you think the, the favorite's gonna be this weekend? You know, this on, weekend. Ooh. We got some good teams. We pressure, do. Pressure came back this week. Yeah, so you let's guys talk are about see them a little bit later. Yeah, let's talk about pressure. So that's AJ Green and Destroying's team. Of course, Destroying will be in the booth after Kieran and myself in a little bit. But yeah, we got pressure. This is gonna be their second tournament. They played, they opened up with us in uh where were we? We were in Orlando and they yep. played and took them a little bit to kind of knock some rust off, get some mm -hmm. things together. But by the end of that tournament, they looked really solid. So I want pressure to punch a ticket to the finals, okay? So if pressure. So if we can get a good game from Pressure, they'll be on field one a couple times today. We'll have a couple of their games. I think the first one's at 2 p.m. So be on the lookout for Pressure. But other than that, who else we got? Yeah. Well, it's, I, 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 love, I love what we got. Let's say, Snipe, you got something for us? What's going on, Snipe? All right, man, I got Luke with me. Big time pick in the end zone, bro. Let me know what you went through. Like, what was your reads? And that's a big play. You know, just had deep pass. You know, reading the quarterback's eyes, you know. Saw him go up and throw and just stepped in front of him and got the pick. All right, now y'all got a good team. Unfortunately, though, y'all haven't been able to punch in y'all ticket. What do y'all got to do to make sure that y'all lock in? This is like the last chance y'all get, bro. You know, you got to tee up. What's up? Yeah, just getting in the chemistry of it, like getting to know each other better. You know, just working together as a team. Teamwork, that's all it is. And, and also, people at the booth say y'all got the best jerseys out here. Um, how, how important is swag? I see you got the earrings in, you know what I'm saying? The throw out. How important is swag to your game? You know, it's definitely important, you know. I feel like my swag is part of my personality, so, like, you always got to have it out. Look good, play good, right? Yes, sir. Snipe, tell, here first, man. Hey, what you, hold on, hold on. Karen, what you say, bro? I said, Snipe, just tell him you don't like his shoes, bro. Why you, why you, why you? Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. To people at the booth, hold on. I, I want you to look. You see, you see those two dudes up there at the booth? They said they don't like y'all team shoes. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. Shoes the gaslighting is else crazy. Got individual shoes. I love the team shoe. You know, it's just part of it. People hate. This is insane. Hey, we ain't even gonna worry about that. We locked in. Hey, back to y'all at the booth. Y'all some haters, man. Y'all some haters at the booth, bro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a third down here for Boom. <laughs> Carolina still has two blitzes left. Surprise, they're not using one right here. Let's go in the end zone right through his hands. Nico Bertolino elevated for that one, but they did not catch the ball. And that is the definition of not that was keeping actually the same a energy. Down. Shut up, sniper. Hey, that, is, <laughs> that was that, you. That is the textbook example of not keeping the same in there. That was all you. That was all you. Oh, man. The hating is crazy. Oh, yeah. was, now we have third down, I believe. <laughs> now we have a third down, I believe. Oh, there was there's two incompletions that they had earlier, but yeah. And you got a third down counting? here for Alessio. I'm going to try to pronounce his name one of these times, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be smooth, I'm telling you. So Carolina Stars should bring their blitz here, oh, right? Oh, yeah. that, that's a Yes, strategy. 100%. That's, that's typically where you see them. I don't think they are. I don't think they are. Which is crazy. No, 23 might. No, 23 is lined up right there to blitz him. No, I don't He's think He's too so. outside the house. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, misdirection. Oh, 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 right through his hands. What is happening? Boom goes with the trick play on the blitz down. And, oh, man. Went right through Nico Bertolino's hand. Not, not having the best start Boom's of the game. Boom's offense, I think, they're just missing some bigger plays over the top. It's like yeah. when they get down to the to the goal line, it's just not working. That's one thing that Alessio is putting that ball all over the place in Phoenix. It seems like they're a little bit out of rhythm right now, but a solid stop for the Carolina Stars. 
they extend their lead to 12 to three. And this is a good day for some football, man. The wind is not blowing crazy. It's not super hot outside. It's like perfect football weather if I'm a quarterback. So I'm expecting some big time plays today. I'm excited for this game and the rest of the games we got lined up. I'm glad you're enjoying that sniper because tomorrow we're gonna have a box soon. <laughs> so, so take it in. Oh, he's wide, wide open. open. Down the oh. field. Wide open. Cut back. Oh, oh. Look at the oh. Oh. oh my God. Got him down. And the ref marks him down just <laughs> short. The pit anyway. oh, he jumped in the down. pit anyway. Hey, 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 if I they said you're down. Like that, I'm jumping in the pit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Mama called the play. They marked him I'm just short. I, bro, I, I, just, I don't know if he touched him. I don't know if he touched him. Like, did you see a hand touch him? I'm going to be honest. I didn't see a hand touch him, bro. I thought that was clean. I'm going to take another look here. And he got the Superman cleats on, too? Ooh. Hey, don't he, got, he definitely got touched that thing. It was questionable. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was very questionable. It didn't look like it. I think I think he should have got in, but here we go. They gotta finish this drive here. Carolina Stars from the one inch line. Looking over the middle. Touchdown, Carolina Stars. That's another large human being. Yeah. It's another very large human being. You talking about me? Yeah, I've been in the waiting room a lot lately. You know what I'm saying? I've definitely been pumping on. That is Micah Gilbert, six foot three, two hundred three pounds. Fun fact about him: he's Darrell Revis's cousin, the greatest quarterback of all time. I'll say. That brings us to Carolina, nineteen. Carolina Stars looks great. Hey, they're going for the one point gamble. They're going for the one point gamble here, trying to extend their lead. Going for the one point swing. So if they get this, they get another point, tack on eight. But if they uh, they don't, they lose a point, right? Okay? Yes, sir. Just get six from the touchdown. 1,002, 1,002. Stars over the middle, looking in the end zone. Incomplete. Bring it up, bring it up. Interesting decision there. But yeah, it's rare we see someone going for the one-point gamble, especially in a not-so-close game, but I like it. Carolina, 18. I dig it. I wonder what the strategy is there. Yeah. Wonder why, uh, why Boom's not going money drive here. Yep, whatever you are. Sometimes the decisions around here. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, sometimes, it's, uh, sometimes it's weird. But you know what? I'm gonna give Coach JR from Midwest Boom the benefit of the doubt. My favorite coach. He's over there barking at the deep. And maybe he just didn't have time because he wanted to yell at the defense in the corner. That's definitely what he wanted to do. 100% <laughs> what he wanted to do. Sometimes we see these teams show up on day one, though, in pool play, and they and they struggle a little bit, but then they come back and find out what they need to do, like pressure last weekend. Pressure last weekend seemed like a completely different team on Sunday than they were on Saturday. Well, that's because destroying all uh, took them out for a great party, I think. That's true. That's very true. Make sure all the guys got together. Lesio looking over the middle, finds his guy. Easy completion there to Carter Stair. Snipe, what you got for us, brother? All right, man. Hey, Kelson, that's a big time catch, bro. You got crazy yards off the catch. Let me know what went into that. And, and do you think you got tagged? Because I didn't think you got tagged. No, he did not tag me, bro. Look, it just, you know, it was a simple, uh, a little flat route, but I seen that they was in man, so I seen he went faster than me, so I turned it into a um, high flat, and I just turned it up into a wheel. You said you seen he wasn't faster than you. I said he wasn't faster than Is anybody out here faster than you, bro? Because the way you got up out of there got me thinking, your teammate said, hell no. No, I, I, I got to see, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Clark Candy, you feeling Superman today? Hey, yes, hey. hey. It's a good day to be a Stars Breed, baby. Great day to be Stars Breed. All right, man. Hey, back to y'all the boot, man. Appreciate you, bro. Right there, we had a touchdown for I Marion Stewart. Beautiful ball by Alessio Miliovic. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. It was close. It was close. You know what, man? No one in the chat is going to know how to say it either. Hey, I, I tell you what, Let's man. just act like you were right. Hey, you know what? I know how to say it. Go ahead. Try it. I mean, <laughs> That's what I thought. It's cutting out. <laughs> Good discretion. Boom goes with a blitz on first down. See, I don't get blitzing on first down. Very question. That's just, you might as well just throw that away. I don't, I don't know. It's honestly a great job by the quarterback because it's so unexpected yeah. for him to recognize that the blitz was coming and not just take a sack. Just just launch it. I'm going to make sure I go ahead and tell the coach what y'all said, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think it's very, I think it's very, very, you know what I'm saying, intuitive. <laughs> Hey, why are you down there? Tell them that you hate the the all the fact that <laughs> this whole team's shoes are uh, the same color. I'm, I'm gonna leave that part out. Wait, yeah. you, you see Coach Jr. on the on the Boom sidelines tonight? What do you think about the purple vest? Uh, it, it's, it's very Hulk Hogan s, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Early Hulk Hogan for sure. Um, Fun fact: Me and him wrestled in uh, Vegas last year. I know who won, but I'd even ask. Him. <laughs>
Yep. Macho Man Randy Savage is what he looks like. I'm telling you. Coach JR played full, fullback in the NFL for a season or two. That's crazy. Yeah. Very cool. Knees are not what they used to be. I'll just say that. Yeah. As a guy whose uh, knees failed him on my way to the league, you know, it's a, it's, a tough, it's a tough thing to live with, for sure. Snipe, by the way, you were down there talking to Kelson Tate. How tall was he? 1,000 what? Gone. Oh. 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 oh! oh, he dropped it. Just <laughs> dropped it. Samari Matthews tried to climb the ladder again. For him, couldn't end up getting out. That would have been insane. Good stop there by Boom. You have to go money drive here. Money drive still. You have to go money drive. What's going on? No, he didn't go. He didn't cross the line. No, he did. He glitched. And then we got outside of him. Just over three minutes left. This is a big, big drive by the Boom. Got some intense conversation going on down yeah, there. Yeah, sorry. They, they're trying to they're trying to discuss if a team used a blitz or not. Let me get in here and see what's going on. They blitzed on first down. 100 percent. Let me cross the line. Coach, on the coach, coach snap. locked in right now. Oh, He's trying to they use a blitz. Cross the line on the direct snap. Yeah. Yeah. He said no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What'd you say, bro? He's so, trying to win a game. Why running? I don't know why. Right oh, you right. think they use a blitz already? No. What you mean? Yeah, we did blitz already. No, I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah, they did a blitz. Yeah, they used a blitz already. You just saying that, bro? Or you, or you know they used a blitz? <laughs> That's what God they did. Okay. Oh, when you put it on God, I gotta believe it. <laughs> I gotta believe it. That's on God. On God, no cap. They use their blitz. No kizzy. Well, they, got, they don't have any more. 1,001. 1,000. Lessio drops back. 1,003. Uh. Finds a man over the middle. That is George Demopoulos. Coach is gone. I don't know, man. I would have liked the little money drive here. That clock I would have loved to see the money drive. Yeah, I don't know through. why a money drive is not being done right now. That's over. It doesn't make He's sense. He's still going in on his blitz, bro. He ain't letting that well, go I guess, down. Yeah. Look, they de I think they definitely blitz. He's talking about the 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 one point, uh, or not the one point gamble, the 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 third down right here on the on the goal line, where Boom ended up rolling out and having the incompletion. But you know why they don't need the money drive? It's 18 to 12 Carolina starts because they missed on that one point gamble. True. Very. So a touchdown true. here gives them the lead anyway. So I guess I guess that's what they're thinking. I'd still go money drive. Why not? 100. percent But it makes you even question the one point gamble a little bit more. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, direct snap. Oh. Oh, he's kind of works. It's oh, short. Oh, oh, it works. What? <laughs> what a play. I cannot believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked. Boom came out with some trick plays here, though. Coach, to combat the genius. The combat the blitz. Just have the, the snap or play quarterback. That, I love that, it. That was, the, that was a terrible play that went great. You see it here. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah. yeah, the center uh, didn't know what he was doing no. either. <laughs> I, I think he was just like, all right, well, where's somebody's got to be open down there? <laughs> I'm supposed to do something with this football. Things are getting crazy here, though. And slowly, Boom, we're on the, the clock ball. Is running. We got 55 seconds left. Only 50 seconds left in this game. Clock running. Lesio drops back. Looking for a guy over the middle. Finds his man out in the flat. That's going to be a first down for Boom. Finds Carter Snare out there on the outside. Tell you what, man, Boom did not have the best start in this game at all. No. They score here, doesn't matter. Only down six. What's the chances they pull like a, a low pro D1 five stars and, and go for a one point gamble for no reason? <laughs> 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 They're about to play. Oh! oh, we got a penalty. And there's a penalty on the field. Time out, Boom. Defensive holding is what the referee is signaling wow. right now. On the blitz. On the blitz, that. that would be tough. That would be actually tough. Only 14 seconds remaining in this game. Are they saying illegal blitz? I think, that, I think they're talking about, about 100 that. penalties right now. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're emptying the book. <laughs> they're throwing the book at them right now. <laughs> Well, now that we got this going down, which team did you want to win? <laughs> I want pressure win. I'm rooting for D. The, the whole thing. for D. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I want them to win. I, I, I think they came back more loaded. Yeah. D was talking about this is a different team. Like, like we came Bro, really D prepared. Bro, D is locked in. He's really locked in. I'm not going to lie to you. I, the, the, the intensity and focus that I see from D and Coach o OTB this week, I think they're going to be the team to beat. So, I, I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I like pressure legends. We got California Power out here. There's definitely some good teams. Yeah. California Power, I think on paper is probably the favorite. They made the finals last week in Orlando. Right. Just, just but I do believe they're without on. CJ Carr this week. Yes. I don't think it's gonna matter though. They have so much talent and also their coach. I, I've never seen a more confident man. <laughs> he was on the plane with me coming out here. I looked at him. I was like, "What's going on?" He's like, "We're gonna kick him." Oh! 
There's a flag on touchdown, the field. That's a touchdown. Marion Stewart with the stand down. He's a problem, man. Oh, oh, tick, 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 tick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, Marion Stewart has been a straight problem out here for Boom. Boom takes the lead they with take what? The lead seven, with seconds. seven seconds remaining. 19 to 18. What a comeback from Boom. Can the Carolina Stars? Nope. No, you don't think so? <laughs> what we're going to get right here, though, ladies and gentlemen, is a deep shot to the end zone and possibly a highlight play. I'm excited to hey see man, what happens. No one loves a Hail Mary more than me. Hey, I have, if, if I'm them, I have a I have a six foot three, 230 pound Jack Larson on my team. I just don't know if he's going to get down there fast enough. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, four seconds. You got four seconds. I mean, quarterback just got to throw a lot of air under the ball. Yeah. No, you, de you definitely do. You got to throw as much air on that ball as you possibly can. Hey, this would be a great win for Midwest Boom if they pull this one. It honestly would be. Because they need it. They need it. They got to keep building that resume. So even if they don't win this week, they can still punch a ticket with an at-large bid. Here we go. Last play. Deep shot to the end zone. He's a Low key oh in his hand. Hand. It was right on his fingertips. Midwest Boom with the win. They're jumping into the pit. They get the weekend started. That was beautiful. Look at all those beautiful matching shoes in the pit. Yeah, let's go in there. I can't believe I can't believe Snipe is hating on this. Yeah, Coach JR pump. Coach JR pump. Coach got to jump in. <laughs> We're going to take another look at this. He almost caught With this, man. It's triple team. It was crazy. The fact that he had it stuck on his fingertips for a couple of seconds was wild. It was a great ball. Phenomenal ball. Put it right where his guy could get to it. Just couldn't bring it in. Looked like some really hard contact, though. Kind of off his uh, DeAndre Hopkins vibes out there. 100%. Midwest Boom takes this first game, but guys, don't go anywhere. Come right back. We got more OT7 North Divisional action for you right after this. Review, the ruling on the field stands. Clean catch. First down. Yeah, I don't know about that one. He's following me on IG, so clean catch. Gotta remember to turn your mic off. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a quick timeout. Getting a stop on D is all about handling your matchup and trusting your teammates. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, babes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Stay tuned for more OT7. Welcome back to OT7 North, man. Right now, we'd like to take a special moment to honor a special player that is no longer with us, Lamar Patterson. <laughs> Lamar was a standout receiver and cornerback for St. Francis Academy, holding over 20-plus college offers. Even off the field, Lamar was a bright and talented young man with so much life ahead of him. His presence is surely missed in Baltimore community. Long live Lamar Patterson. If y'all know me, y'all know that's the homie, bro. Sad, tragic moment. He's super talented. Was my dog. Met him when he was a freshman in high school. Did ones with him. <laughs> talk this crap to me, you know. Uh, I begin emotional talking about it, man. But Lamar's missed. Lamar's a staple in the Baltimore community. He up there watching down on us right now, balling up in heaven. Don't live Lamar, man. Appreciate it, man. We got some big games headed up soon. But before we get into it, I got to ask you one more thing, man. Like, <laughs> in your opinion, you know, you got a lot going on today. I know it's heavy hearted. But for the people back home that know him, you know, just, just give us something for people like me who didn't get a chance to meet him, like, what, what can you say? Talented young man, bro, hardworking. He always brought the energy. He always brought the jokes. He always brought the love. You'd always catch him working, bro. I remember I went to the field. He showed up an hour before me to do the video, was running routes, was doing ladders, and this was him as a freshman, bro. He worked hard, put some body on, ended up moving to, trans moving to Baltimore, went to SFE. We did a little documentary on him on my channel. Uh, great kid, bro. I can't even put in the words, bro. 
I appreciate you, man. Thank you, guys. Don't go nowhere, man. We got a lot more coming up in the North Division. Stay here. We had, had a big game last game, and we even got more games coming up. Speaking of last game, bro, Midwest Boom. Man, they... I ain't focused on Midwest Boom right now. I'm focused on pressure. Oh, I know. You got to say it right, though. How, how, how you say it? Pressure. Mm. Some sweat. Press. I mean, I mean, if you focus on press, press. I'm expecting y'all to come through and like, like, like dominate. They're playing right now. So. Insane. Came down to the wire. Almost a big catch. Won the game. But Midwest <laughs> Boom held him off. And I got to say, by Midwest Boom coming out here, it's a last chance to make some noise to get that ticket to the championship. And listen, in my, in my opinion, in my opinion, Midwest Boom, he might not make it, bruh. The defense ain't looking like it used to, but I do love the jerseys. I don't know if that means anything, but the jerseys is top tier. I like the purple camo. Alessio, I mean, he's a great quarterback. But, hey, look, we'll see. We got more upcoming games. Speaking of upcoming game, we got SMSB against NLG. <laughs> Should be a great matchup. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are looking forward to it because that's coming up next here at the OT7. Don't, and don't forget, bro, pressure, EPS Blaze, that's going to be a good one. You just seen D. He was here. He's been talking a lot, okay, off camera. He's been talking a lot about how pressure, they've been vibing, they locked in, and they about to make a crazy comeback because, you know, they last showing went the best. But, hey, we going to see some more of them, man. So make sure y'all stay tuned. We got a lot more coming your way. And, uh, Dave, Dave, let me talk to you, bro. You seen the last game, man. What you think of it? Look, if, if you have a team down, like, like, uh, like they had Midwest Boom, they were up big on Mid Midwest Boom. You gotta put them away. Got to. You gotta put them away. They let them hang around. You can't. You can't keep a team like Come Midwest Boom the down for that long. Midwest Boom shows why they're one of the premier teams. You know, they're they're that good. And, and speaking of good teams, that's MSB is coming out, and and they 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 look, look. How many jerseys do they got, bro? They got three million thousand jerseys. Yeah. Now I'm thrown off because this is a new jersey. We've seen them three or four times. This is a new jersey, but. They don't have Bryce Underwood, and then mm. they don't have Martellus Carter. Mm. They're missing a couple guys, so it's going to be interesting to see how they do with some new faces. They got to a nice start in Arizona, but they've had a couple bad OT7s now, so we'll see. Because them beating SFE and Phoenix, yeah. that feels like a long time ago. I feel like they people champs. A lot of the people who watch the OT7, they always pull for yeah. SMSB, but unfortunately, they never type make it all the way there. They got some of the most likable players, like yep. Martellus Carter. Yep, yep. I think we love Bryce, but it's like they never make it to the full extent. This is their last chance. They, it's either now or never, bro. Yeah, they, they've, been, they've been the bridesmaid, not the bride too many, <laughs> <laughs> too many times. And every team needs to punch their ticket. Sasha's over there laughing at me there for that one. They've been the bridesmaid, not the bride too many times. That's tough. Each team needs to punch their ticket. This is their last chance. There's only nine spots left. SMSB, if they don't win, they need to at least make a deep run. And I'll say this. I've been saying this all day. Today's a great day for football. The other OT7 days, it was either windy, mm -hmm. too cold. It was too much going on. Today, the winds is the winds is yeah, too hot. It's a perfect day. It's a perfect day. And we have a long day of football. We've got, we're going to be live till, uh, till pool play is done. And then at 6 o'clock, we're going to be live again for the beginning of bracket play. So long day of football with us. You're not leaving us. Do not leave us, man. A lot of football headed your way. A lot of matchups. And speaking of matchups, I'm not really sure who to root for right now because I don't think SMSB's defense is going to hold up that well without C4. I mean, C4 is holding it down. I want to see what they're going to do. Now, who's going to step up? I don't know. Two words, Boo Carter. Mm. He's been a beast. And we've, we've oh. always joked that SMSB has black Air Force energy. <laughs> yeah, 100%. They love to talk. They love to talk. Let's see if they walk it. Let's see if they walk it like they Are they the Memphis Grizzlies of OT7? You know, I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Wait, wait. And since you brought that up, this is a perfect time to say oh. that, that Sniper Jones' Cleveland Cavaliers no. just lost to my New York Knicks. And not six, not seven, but five games. So if oh, he a lot of broadcast if, is crazy. If, 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 if he looks upset right now, it's because his team is going to play golf in Cancun and mine's in the second round. Nah, doing that on a live broadcast is insane. Like, like, I don't mind you breaking it up, but live I is I told crazy. you I was going to do it, too. You did. You I did. You. Uh, okay, okay. You know what? Let's, let's make amends, okay? Mm -hmm. I got SMSB winning this game. See, that's a problem, because I also had SMSB. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm trying to get my pride I, back by no, any no, means. No, 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 no. I need my I need my bragging rights back. You got to pick the other team. Just be devil's advocate. SMSB isn't going to make up for Jared Allen's performance against my Knicks. But you know what? Sure, I'll go against you just to make you feel You might win again. <laughs> just, just to be honest, you might win again. I don't know who, like, exactly, if they have a quarterback that can kind of replace what, what Bryce does. He didn't play the best, but no, we... he didn't. He didn't play the best, but we know what he's capable of. Obviously, he's big time, a five-star recruit. I don't know if they're going to have somebody that can come in and make big plays. They might. They might but take I, a L. But I, th I think Boo Carter is that reason why, because he's on both sides. You look at Boo Carter running around, he's a man amongst boys. Like, he doesn't look like a 16-, 17-year-old player like a lot of these guys. None of these kids look 15, 16. No, no, but... Besides, maybe there's, like, two on each team. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. I don't know what they're feeding these guys, but they weren't feeding me that in high school. Not at all. At all. Look, I, I think they're going to have to lean on Boo Carter because a lot of their other stars aren't here. I liked SMSB, but for the sake of your bet, sure, I'll go against SMSB. I feel like I'm, I'm just, like, the worst at picking. I, this entire playoffs, NBA playoffs, I've been wrong about everything. It's true. And something is telling me I'm wrong about this, but I'm going to just go with it, okay? Like, sometimes you just got to lay on the hill and just accept what comes with it. OT7, Baltimore, what has Baltimore, how has Baltimore surprised you out here? Because I'm not going to lie, I was, I was waiting for a Baltimore accent. I haven't heard one yet, and I'm disappointed. I want to hear blue, blue, two. I haven't heard anything, bro. Uh, I think when people talk about the best football in the country, they immediately go to, like, California, Texas, Georgia, Florida. Uh, Florida. No one's minds go to teams in the Northeast, Midwest. But I think once you start talking about Northeast football, Midwest, Baltimore is the first one that comes to my mind. Cleveland. And <laughs> anyway, just, hey, just, yeah, Cleveland, he know. Camera got no. The camera got no. Just Come on, man. Right Come now. on, man. Hey, <laughs> that's just going to wrap it up, man. We got more football headed your way. We got Kieran. We got Tom at the desk. Let's get it, baby. Nixon five. Oh, my goodness. Welcome back to Baltimore, Maryland, where the trees are greener than the money in Lamar Jackson's pocket. <laughs> we are back for the OT7 North Divisional here. Guys, two teams have already punched their tickets to the OT7 Championship in Los Angeles in June. Ten teams need to get a spot, and they are going to be competing for that spot out here today. And we have a very special matchup, SMSB taking on NLG. Next level greats. I'm here, joined by my man Tom. How we doing, Tom? I'm trying to get over that Knicks and Cavs beef. I'm trying to get over how great the Ravens are with Lamar. I'm doing great. Hey, the Ravens are going to be a real problem. I'll tell you what. But we have a big matchup going on here. Tell us what we need to be looking forward to. Look, SMSB, they're led by Boo Carter. You heard a little bit about him earlier. But he's been at every single OT7 event so far. So he's he's kind of a legend. I think he has every single record possible. And SMSB is missing a bunch of their top players. So look for him to look for him to step up. And then also SMSB at quarterback. Okay, They're missing Bryce Underwood, number one quarterback in the country. But don't worry. They got a top five quarterback. Cutter Bully. SMSB looking to turn up. I cannot wait for this matchup. Boo Carter, multiple touchdowns, and it feels like every game we got him on the field ready to go. 22 minutes on the clock. Let's get it. SMSB on the ball first. I'll tell you what, man. Boo Carter, I think he's probably one of the most exciting players in OT7 history. I can't lie to you. Great name, great game. Phenomenal game. I would just throw the ball to him every single time. That, that's exactly what I would do. <laughs> you know what it's the same thing with Boom. I would just throw to Imerian Stewart. He has multiple touchdown games. Go, go, go. He's already had one here today. Yep. And look, SMSB, they're, they're based out of Detroit. Next Level Greats based out of New Jersey. The first team that we've gotten from New Jersey in OT7. So look, we don't know that much about Next Level Greats, but I'm excited to see what they what they got in store. 1, Cutter Bowley. 1,002. 1, Actually, no, they're not starting the game off with Cutter Bowley as SMSB. Oh. Yo, You're starting I, with the. <laughs> I want to know what the budget. I want to know what the budget is for SMSB's <laughs> uniforms, bro. It's got to be crazy. They have been in all of these divisionals. We have been all around the country. This is now the fourth divisional here, ready for this OT7 championship. That was our main man, Snipe Jones. Snipe, how we doing down there, bro? I'm good, man. Hey, I got a great view of the game today. We got a good one, NLG against SMSB. That low key Ron, bro. Don't hey. You but guys I'm, all but love I'm not a SMSB. I love SMSB. I don't. I'm a, okay. <laughs> He's a hater. Yo, He's a straight hater. Oh, such a hater, bro. I just think Over it's the like, middle misses okay. his man. At every OT7 division, you guys have talked about how they're the team to beat. They're the, they're the best. They got all these yellow studs. Line, yellow but line. it's just because, like, their players are nicer to you. Like, they come in the booth and say hello so you guys feel the love, but they stink. Oh, they don't stink. I wouldn't say they stink. They, they made what? The they semi? stink is crazy. <laughs> they stink is crazy. They no. made the semi in Phoenix. Look, it makes me in happy Texas, they're good because well. I do. I love their players and I love their coaching staff. But they just haven't they haven't performed as well as their personality. They one time away from winning I, I, I the will say this. I will say this. Last time in Orlando, I was expecting them to come out and be unbelievably good with Bryce Underwood back. 
Wow. Oh, that's two wild passes, yeah, man. That was, that's that what happened when you even got your boy Bryce. Right yeah. away, they turn it over. Well, they went with they went with Briggs Cherry on that drive. He's the other quarterback that they have. Here's the 2026 kid from Knoxville, Tennessee. These uh these names are crazy though for these two SMSB quarterbacks. <laughs> Cutter Bowley and Briggs Cherry. It's such a good oh yo, I'm looking Cutter at the roster. Briggs. This is the first time we got Boo's first name on the roster. Yeah, Orlando. Orlando crazy. Carter. Who, who would have known? Who would have known? We would have had a lot of fun with that in Florida. <laughs> NLG taking over on the ball. This gives me a perfect opportunity to talk about the scoring minute. roles that we Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you see that? Yeah. It's not even saying get hit. There's no hitting. Yeah, there's no hitting. Okay, I'm it's sorry. Go ahead with the score. He, he was he was scared of the contact. He heard those footsteps for sure. Yeah, for Northeast sure. people soft. I look <laughs> I, I, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm down here with NLG, and I think they're the only team with no real jerseys. I just feel like they got, a, like, some gray T-shirts, some white tees. Yeah. Uh, a couple guys got no numbers. It's kind of... Yeah, that's, yeah, a, I new, can that's confirm, a New Jersey thing. I can confirm we had uh, we, we, we had some calls earlier, and they were asking if we were playing shirts versus skins. Yeah, <laughs> about, so we, we should have just did a black top NFL streets shirts versus skins. 1,001, 1,002. Oh, man. Out of bounds. Yeah, but this... This does give us an opportunity to talk about the scoring here at OT7. All these teams competing for a shot at the at the championship. But if you on offense, you score a touchdown, you get seven points. You can go for what's called the one-point gamble. You'll get eight points at the end of that drive if you get it, six points if you don't. If you get a defensive stop, you we've get seen two, two points. Yeah, we, we've already oh, seen, no, we've seen one. We've so seen far. one. I think we're about to see two. I'm not going to lie to you. You get rewarded with two points as... Uh, NLG was rewarded earlier. If you get an interception on defense, you're rewarded with three points. We also have what's called the what, Tom? 1,003. Uh, the money drive. The money drive. Yeah. You score a touchdown on the money drive, you get 10 points. If you get picked off on the money drive, the defense gets six points. If you get stopped on the money drive, the defense gets four points. Also, I, yeah, I already talked about the one point. Yeah, you did a great so, yeah, job, man. I did. You covered everything. There's a lot of things to cover, and you covered them all. You mentioned the money drive. I, uh, I unfortunately, I'm broke. Yeah, no, I <laughs> recently, recent, recently yeah. broke. Recently yeah, yeah. broke. Bad yeah. investment. Yeah, I yeah. mean that, that that's what happened when you when you buy a Lamborghini. Yeah, after yeah. that, you, you know what I'm saying? You use a lot of your bread. So well, I got a Veyron last year and then that. <laughs> no, guys, see, I bought a girl. That was a, a Lamborghini. Oh, <laughs> you bought a girl a Lamborghini. Yeah, it turns out she wasn't who she said she was. Okay, you got catfished and bought a car. Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the <laughs> lesson we learned here at the OT7. Always make sure she gets FaceTime at any time. Don't Cutter Bowley in the game, completes the first pass of the game. <laughs> Don't worry, Destroying said he'd reimburse me, just like Low Pro. Oh, yeah, for sure, for gotcha. sure. Destroying paid for my flight here. <laughs> On the private jet. Cutter Bowley, hey, fun fact, Bryce Young went to the draft, the NFL draft. Yes. You know, number one pick. Flew bit, he didn't even fly first class. That was the one. What he the didn't fly first. I thought he was private. <laughs> no, that was after he got drafted. I'm talking oh, pre-draft. Okay. Oh, pre-draft? Some overtime people just saw him just sitting in uh, sitting in the back of the, the plane. Oh, wow, that's funny. I did go to uh, to Vegas for the Tate Davis fight, and I saw an NBA player I won't mention. No, flying, mention him. Flying, uh, flying Southwest. Mention him. <laughs> no, it's not happening. It's not happening. Do you think you could beat Tank Davis in a fight? 100%. <laughs> well, if it's if, in a boxing match, no. In a, in a full-on fight, 100%. It's not a chance in hell. <laughs> I'm, I, I weigh three of Tank Davis. Yes, you are, you are bigger than him. Oh, I'm much bigger than Tank Davis. That was it's a great not fight. Not a chance. I think Jake Paul would I'm mess him up. You. Jake Paul would mess him up. In a real fight, yeah. They, they wrestled in high school. Jake Paul's also way bigger. Ooh, Cutter Bowley with a dime into the end zone. Woo, I'll tell you what, Cutter Bowley's got a nice little arm on him. They that to the pit. Antoine Thomas. They to the pit. The, was that a somersault three days? Hey, it yes. was something. You taught him that, right? It's like, uh, yeah, 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 Touchdown for SMSB, Cutter Bowley down there. That's such a tough like name, a Cutter Bowley. That's tough. Yep. Hey, this ball cut through the air. Okay. Right to his okay. target. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, That's I, a bad one. It was, I, I was trying. That's a bad one. I was Production, trying. We need a new person. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. Replacing? <laughs> hey, nah, nah. What if they just got, like, another guy to tap him on the shoulder and just be like, yeah. Get the hell out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get that, Let me get that off. <laughs> Antoine Thomas with the touchdown catch for SMSB. They take a 9-2 to two lead. Look, man, SMSB, they've had a lot of different quarterbacks at OT7. They had Bryce Underwood uh, a couple weeks ago, number one quarterback in the country. Or maybe Cutter Bowley is their guy. Yeah. I mean, he's he's another one of the highly ranked guys in the 2025 class. 6'5", 203, as a sophomore in high school currently. Yeah, people were like, oh, they're going to stink. They don't have Bryce here. And then they're like, oh, don't worry. We have another top three quarterback. Yeah, no, that's crazy. He's from Kentucky. I've never been. He is from Kentucky. I don't think I'll ever go. Uh, I'm trying to go to the Derby. Ooh. Trying to go next week? What's up? I would go with you. I, I don't want to go with Sniper. Yeah, and no, I wouldn't want to go with Sniper. 1,002. 1,002. Sniper doesn't know about the horses. But Sniper uh, does know about 1, Cutter Bowley, and he's with him right now. Sniper, what we got, man? First down. 
All right, I got Cutter Bowley with me. I got to say this. You have the best name here at the OT7, bro. Cutter is a fire name, bro. Do you get that often? Yeah, I get that often. I don't know, really. I can't. I don't have a story for it either. My parents, I don't know. I don't know. They just came up with it out of nowhere. Uh, All right, that, so that's your real name. That's not a nickname. Cutter Joseph Bowley, yeah. That's fire. My name's Sniper. So it's like same thing, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's not my real name, though. So yeah. But anyway, <laughs> hey, you got a touchdown early, man. Uh, like, what was you seeing out there, and how you feeling, uh, filling in? Because you know Bryce is usually the quarterback, so that's like big shoes to fill in. Like, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah, just out here playing with it. I ain't throwing with these guys much, you know. I throw more with the <laughs> guys from Tennessee, but no, everybody getting open there now. <laughs> All right, you, you're from Kentucky, correct? Sir. Have you heard the new Jack Harlow album? Yes. Is it fire? It is fire. It is gas. It is gas. Get a one out of ten. What you give it? One thousand two. I give a nine point two. That's that's fair. That's fair. All right, man. Hey, good luck on the rest of the game, brother. Appreciate you. Back to the booth. Hey, man. That man, that man kind of looks like Jack Harlow. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's man, crazy. I love the accent. I love this no story behind the name. I hey, love how fast we, he said his name. We gotta get him some media training. Drop him the full gubby. It's crazy. Uh, I would never, I would never drop Kurt, the full Kurt gubby. Kurt Joseph Bowley. Thousand one. Unprovoked the full gubby. Yeah, my parents named me Cutter Joseph Bowley. That's literally what he just said. You know, I love OT seven. I love seven on seven. These guys. He just showed up. He was like, Yeah, I usually play with people from Tennessee. I just showed up today. He said, I ain't really throwing with these guys. Nah, Cutter, Cutter the toughest name out here, uh, yeah. 100%. That's Cutter, Cutter and their other quarterback's name is Briggs Cherry. This is, they came with some quarterbacks today. Cutter is way more brand safe than Sniper Jones, I'll tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I will say this, though, to you, Tom. You've been hating. You've been hating on, on SMSB, but if they get solid quarterbacks. He's also been hating on me as well. Yeah, I have, I'm kind of hating today. 2003. NLG over the middle. <laughs> Touchdown NLG. for NLG. Into the whole pit. Into the pit. We need that. I, only a few of them went in the pit. Yeah, only a few. Not, not the whole team. Not the whole team. <laughs> Quarterback Ronnie Borden took him right down the field, scored a touchdown with him. I said the owner of NLG is actually NLE, so I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is. Hey, uh, that's not true. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hey, man, NLE Choppa, he came to the o uh, OTE. I think me and Sniper met him a little bit. Yeah. Nicest rapper ever. Yeah, I got to sit next to him. Oh, you were there too, me. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was nice. Great guy. Great guy. A, NLE Choppa and uh, Vic Lins. He's, a, he's a vegan, I believe, NLE. That's crazy. I, I might have just made that. No, I'm pretty sure. Nah, nah, nah. He, he is a vegan. He's definitely a vegan. So are yeah. you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been a vegan for years, man. Nah, I've seen Sniper eat meat before. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. All right. okay. First okay. down for SMSB. Briggs Cherry back at quarterback four. <laughs> yeah. I'm vegan like twice, twice out the week. <laughs> <laughs> I pick and choose my battles, man. Yeah, me, I'll never go vegan. That'd be very anti-Texan of me. I can't do it. <laughs> Both of these quarterbacks are at least 6'4". Easy. Briggs, Cherry. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Nice completion over the middle. Down. That's going to be a first down for SMSB, and they're moving the ball. Tom. First down. Good ball by Briggs. Yeah, Tom. Tom is such a hater. It's Tom, you better stop hating on Bro, Briggs. I didn't hate. I'm not hating on SMSB. I'm hating on their past performances. I'm trying to motivate them. I heard they've been listening nah, to the broadcast. Nah, nah, nah. Trying to nah. motivate them so they can play better. I will say this. They did not show up to Orlando. Oh. That was tough. Stunk. I don't think they didn't win a single game in Orlando. That was that was a tough performance for them. Yeah, they played so bad that C4 didn't even come out with this one. 2001. Man, don't do that to my guy C4. 2003. You put it like Briggs that. Cherry over the middle. Looking for his guy. Did he get in the end zone? No, no, nope, nope. uh, we got tagged a little early. Just short at the three yard line. That's our guy, Shavar Young. I'm loving the NLG. Look, 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 look. I'm telling you, we got long sleeves, short sleeves. We got no sleeve. It's a lot going on out here, man. Yeah, it kinda, they kind of remind me of you, Snipe. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it reminded me of this league I played in when I was a kid, man. I had to put tape on my jersey because we already had number one. So I was number 11. <laughs> How'd they decide that you would get the tape and not the other number one? Oh, yeah. Best players get the tape, Tom. You know that. <laughs> Blitz oh, there man. for... Blitz there. Was that on second down? It was, but I... I believe it was on second down. Interesting decision there to blitz. I guess they, they might go blitz right back to back. They Each might go team back gets to back two blitz. blitzes. Each team also gets two runs. As you saw, Briggs Cherry trying to escape the pocket there to get something going. Going to see what NLG strategy is here on third down. High ball game, 10 minutes remaining. Man. 
1,001. Rick Cherry drop it back. It's for Scott Rivera. Oh, he didn't look. Intercepted. He wasn't looking. He wasn't looking. And they get stopped. NLG uh, takes the ball. <laughs> They're saying that was third down? I, I think they're trying third to de down. decide. They're saying it's third down now. Hey, brother, I definitely think that was a third down. So do I. I'm going to get out the way, though. I ain't going to hold you. That was definitely the first down that they got was the one that they got uh, down to the three-yard line. They're blowing a whistle right now. Let me see if I can uh, hey, come here. see what's going on down here. Snipe, see if they can count to three. See if they can count to three. No, it's a turnover on down. It is a turnover on downs. You heard it here first from your boy, Snipe Jones. That's right. Thank you very much, Snipe. That's going to be a turnover on downs. NLG is going to take over, and they're going to take the lead. I mean, we heard it first from Snipe, but, you know, anyone that could count. Almost intercepted there on that third down, but, yeah. It's going to be a stop for NLG. They take the lead 11-9. to nine. And, guys, don't forget, the first round of bracket play starts tonight at 6 p.m. and resumes tomorrow morning. It's the last chance for one team to punch their ticket to the championship in June. Who is it going to be? Catch all the action right here on the OT7 YouTube channel to find out. YouTube. I had to, I had to let one go. I had to let the Baltimore stuff go. You know what I mean? Hey, hey we did talk about it, though. Who do you think is going to make it? Who, who do you think is winning this weekend? <laughs> Yeah, you good. I, I already said I'm going pressure. Yep. What? Uh, if I'm thinking with my heart, if I'm thinking with my mind, no, I'm saying California power. Seven Interesting. Say California Interesting. Power. Snipe, what do you think, man? <sighs> man, I want to go California power, man. man. The coach gets, going. like, so much energy, bro. I think I'm going to go there with you. As much as I hate no, the No, without CJ Carr, I just don't see it. Yeah. They're missing their Notre Dame commit. Hey, one team that I want to look out for is Team Toa. Team Toa is going to be interesting. We Madden, have Madden. Uh, how do you say his last yeah, name? Madden Iamaliava. There so you go. Nico, Nico Iamaliava, his his younger brother. One thousand. Yeah, no, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm good with the Hawaiian names. Yeah, you know anybody I mean? can say Iamaliava, bro. I can say Iamaliava three times. Iamaliava, Iamaliava, Iamaliava. Hey, Come no, on. Do you, hey, who was who was Clemson's quarterback last year? Number five. <laughs> DJ, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, DJ, you get a little yeah, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Over. Hey, but DJ Team Toa, Lander. they were probably the fan favorite last year at OT7 in Vegas with Nico out there with the pajama pants. If I see Madden, his younger brother, come out here in pajama pants, he I'm instantly to. switching my pick. He needs I'm to. I'm instantly switching my pick. I think he will. And so I like Team Toa. I think that would be really interesting. And then you guys didn't even talk about Legends, the team that's 9,003. And yeah, before now. They did lose. Yeah, they lost they did once. Lose. Yeah. Yeah, they're like they're like 83 and 4 or something like that. Yeah, they got the best record of all time. So if I had to pick right now, I'm going with Legends for this weekend. Snipe, what you got down there for us, brother? Uh uh, Y'all know I'm a sneakerhead, bro. I'm looking at your cleats. You got the Jordan cleats on right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So talk to us about what went into you throwing on some nice cleats today. I don't know. I just be, I was just feeling it, you know. I just put on the Michigan cleats. I was feeling to put on the dunk cleats, you know. I got them, too. You got some dunk cleats, too? Yeah, I got the dunk cleats, but I was just feeling these, you know, so I put them on. I seen you had a Michigan offer. So so that you you saying that, you know what I'm saying, you might be stepping, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nah. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't that? Baby. What, what's the what's the what's the uh, like the best cleats you think you got as far as like style wise? What what dunks are there? The uh, the dunk lows, the dunk cleats, the Nike dunk. What color? They uh, white and black. The panda joints. Oh yeah yeah the panda joints. Okay bad bro. Hey, if y'all win and, and y'all go to the championship, I'm gonna be tuned in to see what you what you pull out, bro. Say less. All right, bro. Back to y'all the booth, man. I try I try to get some breaking news. He didn't get to me though. You know he, he, he wasn't trying to go for the controversy. Yeah yeah he definitely <laughs> dug though. But look though those are those are Michigan. Those are some Michigan colorway with the Jordan brand on it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They sponsored by Jordan brand. I had to ask, man. No. NLG rolls out to the right. Reaching for the end zone. I think he's just a bit short. Hey, man, we just had a big trade in the NFL. What happened? Uh, the Lions traded DeAndre Swift to the Eagles. I thought you said Eagles we had a, a little trade. bit better again. That makes sense. That actually makes sense because they drafted a, a running back with the 12th pick of the draft, which made absolutely no sense on draft night. But the Eagles, <laughs> they keep getting better. They have everyone in the NFL. The Eagles are going to have the Georgia Bulldogs 2021 <laughs> picks. They drafted Keely Ringo earlier today, too. So The Eagles won't be successful until they draft me. Oh, I, hey, okay. all right. I'm all for it, you know? Let's go, Coach. All right. You take him over the top against Patrick Mahomes. What position would you play out there? Uh, I think uh, the way I just locked up Day on that 1v1 with, uh, when uh, Destroying was playing, uh, I'd be a good DB. You okay. Know? I'd be a good DB. Okay. And I'm not hey, going to lie to you. One they, of the they... players just looked at me and said, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> 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 That's so deep, bro. Hey, hey somebody give me a jersey. 
I'm tired of this. He looked at you and said you were food. That's hey, man, tough. someone commented, DaCosta Juan. He said no one says right. Nico's last name right, but you got it. I said it right, yeah. Yamaliava. Bro, so I said it. Good. Can I get some credit, bro? Yamaliava. I said it too, bro. Hey, if I didn't say it before, would you be able to? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. That's cap. Man. That's cap. Uh, That's cap. It's not a chance. I would have got it right. Let's see. NLG here in the red zone. Or in the, I guess, goal line area. Again, we keep hyping up SMSB, but if NLG scores, oh, oh. I was gonna say they could take the lead. Yep. NLG could score right there. That was a blitz. It is blitz on second down. What's going on with the blitzes being used on anything other than third downs today? I don't know, man. Maybe they're trying to catch him off guard. I don't know. I guess so. What that we, is rewarding. What do we think about the NLG quarterback having a wearing a hat underneath his helmet? I haven't I seen like that. It. I don't think I've seen that. I need swag. more swag. Swag I like it sure. too. Uh, a little brim sticking out from the helmet. I like it. My favorite, my favorite quarterback moment this year, though, was definitely, uh, I forgot what Buddy's name was. But Jack, for, uh, Jack, was it Jack? Jack? No, no, no. I love 2 Chain Jack, but it was the dude, it was the dude for Tucson oh. Turf. It was the baseball that, uniform, no, no, right? Yes, with the baseball uniform. His name was Jack something, too. Who threw a touchdown and, like, Another blitz. chopped the Snickers. Another blitz there by SMSB. They get the stop, and this game is tied with five minutes remaining. I think those both blitzes on the same possession, too. You know you know who's coming back on, on offense? We got Cutter Bowley. Your main guy out Put there. Put it in the middle. Put it in the middle. Cutter himself. What do you guys think about the two-quarterback system, though, too? You have Briggs Cherry had two drives, and he's been stopped twice. You got Coder Bowley. He's only had one drive, and he went down the field and scored a touchdown. I like having one quarterback. I see. Yeah. I, I hate when, when, like, teams use another quarterback, especially when one got a groove. Like, you'll see somebody that's in a groove, and then you'll just switch him out. They'll probably throw a pick or something. Just like, let him rock out, man. Let him get in the rhythm. Oh, Ooh, drop there by Boo Carter. Very Set rare drop. We haven't said Boo's name a lot today. Yeah, no. Well, they've only scored Boo's one wearing top. number 12. I feel like he's normally number six, right? He, he normally, it's because he came here and he said he's going to be double the player he's been. Ah. See, see, if it was me, I would have like a red zone QB and then like a regular QB. Come on. Come on. One of the teams last week, they had a coaching staff like that. It's California Power, I believe. They, they go to a different yep. coach when they're in the uh, red zone calling plays. Interesting. Yeah. Very well-run organization over there, California Power. Cutter Bowley drops back, looks over the middle, finds his man. Oh, shifty moves there. I would not want to play against him. That was Dante Morris. He looked quick as hell. Yeah, he was very, uh, very shifty. Hey, Tom, like, uh, what's the forty, Tom, man? Right now? Yeah. Four, 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 four. Okay. God. I didn't actually what's your favorite Jay-Z album. I asked, <laughs> what is your 40 time? Look, man, people talk about the 40 a lot. It's a lot harder than people think. I do think I'm sub five right now, though, which is, is actually impressive. Bowley. Second down. Let me, let me put it this missed. way. It's faster than yours. Oh. Ooh. Should we get a race going? I would have to disagree with that. And hey, we can set that up from the 40 yard line. You want to see me run from here to the booth? I, I would love to. You want to see me do it again? Mm. Hey, uh, hey, if we get 1,000 uh, likes uh, in the chat, me and Sniper will race. Come on, spam up the likes so I yeah, can Yeah, we need dust. the likes in the chat. We so need the likes in the chat. So my hamstring's a little tight. Nah, nah, look, look, the excuse is already coming up. They got trainers here. They got trainers here. I'm going uh, to borrow Boo Carter's cleats. We need a trainer out here. <laughs> Cutter Bowling oh. looking over the top. Oh. Right through his hands, but there's a flag on the play. That was Elijah Durham. <laughs> To be honest, I kind of saw it on both of them. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it didn't look, it didn't look the too crazy. The receiver pushed a little bit too. It didn't look too crazy. This game Honestly, on the here. I, I wouldn't call that. I would not call that. They looked like they were both fighting for the ball. We're checking it out here. Let's again. take another look at this. I love the hand fighting, right and I do think there's probably a penalty to be called. I just don't know who it should have been. On. Got a first down. Yeah, I, I guess I'm ultimately the defensive back didn't really turn around. Let them play, man. Let them play. I like it. Give me. I agree. But I disagree, man. If he's stopping me from being able to make this catch, I need you to call that. Yeah, he didn't really turn around, so I, I agree. It should have been on the defense, but I think the offense pushed off a little bit, too. Let's go Cutter Bowley. First down here for SMSB. Need to get to the 10 for another first down. Need to get in the end zone to take the lead in this game. Cutter Bowley looking over the middle. Too much time. Ball right through their hands. I'll tell you what, he's launching the ball right now to the guys three, four yards ahead. Yeah, he put some heat on that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Brett, Brett Favre-esque. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'd be, I'd be upset if you throw me the ball that hard from five yards away. I'm not going to lie. Seven now. Two. I will say this, though. Tom, you're hating on SMSB a lot. <laughs> if they, That's if they, come up like 12 times. Hey, I mean, hey, they're look, losing. Look, 
Look, they're losing to a team from New Jersey. It's 11 to 11 right hey, now. It's 11 to 11. There's from New Jersey. What are we talking about? It's 11 to 11 and not losing. There's some real ballers from New Jersey. You ever watch New, You ever watch Rutgers play? First down. I'm a huge Rutgers Scarlet Knights fan. Thank you for bringing up Rutgers. Shout out to Overtime Fendi. Shout out to all of Rutgers Scarlet Knights, my team. Isaiah basketball. Pacheco, New Jersey baller. Yes, basketball. They just they just uh, got a verbal commitment from Ace Bailey, one of the best basketball players in the country. Brian Leonard, an old school legend. We've had a lot of great players. Hey, Chad, I'm really sorry I brought up Rutgers. I'm yeah. so sorry. I didn't know he was going to go. It's pandemonium in Piscataway. Yeah, I didn't know he was going to go feral for Rutgers. Yeah, I love Rutgers. Everything else in Jersey kind of stinks. This in Jersey. This is crazy. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> SMSB with a first down, used one of their runs to get down inside the 10-yard line. They got three downs to get in the end zone here in 54 seconds to make it happen. I don't think they're going to score. Wow. You are you are a generational hater. <laughs> I want them to score. This I just don't crazy. think they're going <laughs> to. I mean, Cutter Bowley notoriously one, one, struggled. One, two, Rolls out to the okay, right. Goal. Three, Looking for a man. There's four. nobody there. It's a sack. It's a sack. I mean, teams just struggle when inside of 10 yards, man. Has to take a sack on first down. This is it. Clock this is, is it. just rolling, man. We're up to got 20 seconds left. They're saying this is third down. This is third down. Hey, it's just a warning. The first is a warning. The second one's Here we go. Got a volley looking over the middle. Oh, oh what a catch! He's down though. But he's just short. He's just short. NLG is gonna take the lead at the one yard line. I could have sworn that was second down. That was third down. That was third down. Oh, that was third down. I, okay, this, okay. I, I don't know what's Ball going on. Ball game. NLG. Ball game. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think that was. I don't think that was. I don't think that was third down. I, mean, I think that was definitely second down right there. He ran the ball. He got inside the ten, and then they had a first down. I don't know if this, I don't know if the game is over or not. I, I don't believe it's over. I think SMSB is going to get a timeout to, to get like one second left. The ref adamantly yeah, I, is yelling I, at you. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think this ref has been counting downs the correct way today. I, I'm not. I'm not going to lie, because that was that was most definitely second. Chat, chat. I mean, look, was that I'll, second down? I'm Chat, that was that was very clearly second down. Am I am I out of my mind? I feel like I've been watching the wrong thing. I feel like I missed downs or something. Yet I'm calling the game. I'm watching the recap right now. No, 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 I know. So they call the timeout with you. First down. They roll out. This is the this sack. This is the first down. This is the sack. Yep, there's a sack on first down. There was a sack on first down. Second down. He said it was third down for whatever reason. This, I believe they're cleaning it up here and SMSB is going to get another shot. Yeah. That's 100% third down. Here, they you out there right I'm not going to lie to you. Hey. Hey, whoever, whoever, I don't know what this man is counting, but we got, we got to get this fixed, brother. This is crazy. No, I'm not going to lie. I've been talking so much trash about SMSB. I, I paid the ref. This is the third time. And I swear earlier, earlier, I swear earlier, one of these teams got four downs. This is crazy. First and a fraction it's going to be for SMSB. Yeah, that, that was definitely second down, Chad. I'm not sure. We're going back to 11-11, right? That'll be the score. Oh, my God. Hey, I love Hey, you got to love OT7, man. We give you everything. I think We're going to take a look at that play one more time. Phenomenal catch to get it right to the one-inch line. Just mark short. Just mark short. But it's going to be third down for SMSB with no time left on the clock. I believe we're actually going to put four seconds on the clock. SMSB with and a chance to win it. Tom was out here celebrating. I'm he was about praying to say, on our downfall. They scored on Tom. Gonna look so bad, bro. <laughs> he was praying All on our downfall. Gonna have to go right oh, to the nah. wayside, bro. Tom's gonna no. get an earful no. if we win this that one. I'm not gonna lie to you. Snipe, All we got the team running well, I mean, to the broadcast booth. It's 90th down right yeah. now. It's 90th down. Hey, Snipe, why don't you go over there and tell him that Tom's been hating on him? <laughs> no I'm gonna point at the booth like, go up there no to the guy with the gray hoodie. No <laughs> Hey, man, this is going to be the last play of the game tied up. Come on, Cutter. I rock with Cutter, Third bro. You got the hardest game out there. I want to see him lock in. Come on, Cutter. Cutter Bully. Come on, Cutter. Back at quarterback. Come on, Cutter. Oh. SMSB 
Massive as B. I hate, I hate the yeah. fact they lost because Tom is now validated in his, uh, in his, in his yeah, hate. Bro, I paid it. the. Yeah, I didn't even need to pay the ref. This is crazy. We won without it. This is crazy. Tom paid the ref. I think it's a great narrative we can go with. <laughs> but what a win for NLG. SMSB falls Bro. short in this matchup. Let's take another look at this. SMSB bro. still can't find their lucky uniform. Just to pick, if, if he doesn't jump in front of that, that's a touchdown. Oh, man. What a phenomenal play there by NLG. I think SMSB is going to go with new uniforms until they win a game. You know? <laughs> hey, shout out to NLG, though, showing up in their OT7 debut, winning a game against the fan favorite. And a, an announcer favorite. An announcer favorite, yeah. He is, <laughs> other than you, other than you. <laughs> But guys, don't go anywhere. We got much more action coming up next. Shout out to NLG for getting a solid win there here at Pool Play. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more action from OT7's North Division. Joe, you're running a button hook, all right? Tommy, back quarter fade. Billy, you're gonna pump fake and then hit. Coach, you don't remember my name, do you? I got 12 touchdowns this year. That's a rookie mistake. You're gonna hit Nick. Nick, that's who you're gonna hit. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a quick timeout. Getting a stop on D is all about handling your matchup and trusting your teammates. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Stay tuned for more OT7. Welcome back to the OT7 North Divisional. We out here in Baltimore. I'm your boy, Snapper Jones. I'm joined by my guy. Yes, sir. Yandy Stroh was good with it. We had a crazy game, man. We had NLG against SMSB. What do you think about that game, bro? Pretty solid game, man. I thought it was over for a second, but apparently not. It was bad. third down or something but that boy caught a pick seal the game, so it don't even matter. Hey, I love SMSB. I know they ain't got their 14. They ain't got the boy C4. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where C4, if you're watching this, we need to know where you at. They also, they also ain't got the number one quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bryce, man, I feel like they miss a lot of key players, but you know, it's all good, man. It's kind of loud. Yeah, it's kind of, but hey, Jersey teams, though. Is Jersey on the map? Is Jersey on the map? Because I never heard of football out in Jersey, though. Jersey, all right, I ain't gonna lie to you. Jersey's all right, but you know me, I'm biased, Florida. Georgia, Cali, Texas, the rest don't even matter. We got a crazy list of games, man. Let's check out the schedule because this is not the only one we need to worry about. Wait, you playing today. You know what I'm saying? Pressure coming today. We got, next up, we got Cat Takeover versus V7 Elite. But a little bit later throughout the day, we got Pressure. Yes, yeah, next up. We got Pressure versus EPS Blaze, too, though. Hey, yo, man. Pressure coming to set that pressure. You feel me straight like that? Over there, I came over to y'all team, bro. I seen y'all warming up, you know what I'm saying? Camaraderie, what have you. You know, building. I, I, I love to see it, bro. We got some new guys in, so you know we still got to build a little bit of camaraderie. We mix some guys in and whatnot, but we're going to be all right. We was playing on the main field, had to come down here, but y'all going to see us here in a second, man. Hey, look, if y'all if y'all need, like, another coach, I'm, you know, I don't really be doing much, like, in between. What you about to coach? Huh? What you about to coach? What's 707, bro? What you mean? Wait, you ain't seen me running around today? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You can go ahead and slide. I got the coach with me. I got a coach with me from the next game, man. We got a coach from Cat. How you feeling, man? You all right? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good, man. How you enjoying the OT7 experience? Man, I love it. Like I tell them all the time, I, I think it's one of the best 707 events out there. I love the fact that they got the money ball. You're never out of a drive. I like the fact that the quarterback can run, you know, when they be able to blitz and make it be re realistic football. That's what we out here for and teach the kids. 100%. I, I do want to let you know this. I take pride in brushing my hair and throwing my do-rag on, but you putting me to shame, bro. Please, put a hat on, put a sombrero on, something, man. Um, What's some players on your team that we should be looking uh, forward to today? Well, I got uh, Andre Thompson in the slot. I got Joey Duran, their quarterback. I got uh, an athlete in um, um, Devon Prevost. I got another athlete in Tristan Brown. I got the number 10 receiver in the country, Zion Kearney. I got a running back out of Tech City that's 220. We just come out here to compete. We like to compete. That boy just named a whole list of, a whole list of guys ready to go. This is the last chance, right? Baltimore, the last chance for teams to punch a ticket, get y'all opportunity to go and play for the championship. Any extra motivation headed to this game? Anything you said to the guys to kind of make them realize the moment? Man, I just told them straight up, like, when you look at the top 18 teams, if you ain't in one of the top 18 teams, we got a problem. So our motto is go get it out of the mud. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come and compete at all costs. You're going against V7 Elite, another good team. 
Um, I know you can't give us too much, but what's a little bit of strategy that I know you want to look forward to this game or anything you can tell us that you guys are focused on? Uh, we're going to try to take advantage of some of the matchups that we see. We like we like our matchups, interior and some on the outside, so we're going to have to, we're gonna make them cover 53 yards of the field. Okay. And money drive, you mentioned it. Money drive is something that we love here at the OT7. You're never out of a game, but you also got to be cautious when you use it because you can also let another team in. Right. So what's been your thought process using the money drive, talking to the coaches, and using it to your benefit? Man, I'm not going to even lie to you. My little quarterback, Joey Durant, he do it all. <clears throat> he, he, he figured it out. He been watching OT7. He said, Coach Jazz, I'll tell you when we go, so I trust him with everything I got. So I let him call it himself. Hey, well, hey, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Sure. Good luck on the game, man. Hey, stay tuned. We got a lot of more football coming up and an amazing game coming up with Cat and V7 Elite. To the booth, we got Tom, we got Karen. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> Welcome to Baltimore, Maryland for the OT7 North Divisional. Two teams have already punched their ticket to the OT7 Championship in June in Los Angeles, and we're looking for 10 more spots. 10 more spots. One spot. of these teams here today is going to book that ticket to the OT7 Championship in June. We have a phenomenal matchup coming up here. We got V7 Elite, Michael Vick's team taking on Cat Takeover from Texas. You know the greatest state. <laughs> you know what it is. I'm your main man, Kieran, joined here by Overtime Tom. How we doing, Tom? I wish Mike Vick was here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish Mike Vick was here, too. That would have been crazy. I'd have been fanboying. But we got a good matchup. Tell us more about it. Look, Cat Takeover, we've only seen them once out in Austin in Texas, obviously. And they started out 0-3 in pool play. But then once it got into bracket play, playoff zone, they started to play a lot better. So they're a team not to sleep on. D7 Elite, Michael Vick squad, like you said, we haven't seen them yet. They got, they're got they missing their quarterback, but they got a lot of really talented players. So I look for them, hopefully, to play the same way Michael Vick played, see if they can get it done today. Should be a good game. I'm very excited to see it. Michael Vick, 7-on-17, seven seven taking on Cat Takeover from the greatest state in the history of states. Cat <laughs> <laughs> Here we got 22 minutes on the clock. Let's get to it. That's such a cold long. take on the ball. Hey. Yo, what's weird is I talked to Coach Chaz for uh, Cat Takeover, and he actually looks just like Michael Vick. I thought that was kind of weird. <laughs> oh, wait, really? <laughs> he looked just like Vick. I'm like, hold on, bro. You, you coaching for the wrong team. Oh, man. Fun fact, I ran into Michael Vick in Florida once at 4 a.m. That's wow. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I That's said, crazy. what's up to him? Told him about overtime. He said, hit me up, man. Hit me up. I hit him up on DM. He never replied. That's something wow. I would do, too. I wouldn't <laughs> respond to you. Either. I ain't gonna lie. You know, we got to ask Destroying. Destroying's got a good relationship with Michael Vick. I think. Really? Yeah. He shows up to his one-on-ones. He throws. Yo, I met Michael that? Vick uh, in the playoffs when, uh, no, actually, it was, it, it was the championship. It was the Super Bowl last year. And uh, AMP went up against FaZe, and he was the quarterback for AMP. Really good guy. Really good guy. Nice pickup there for V7. Their quarterback, actually, we've seen him before here at OT7, Brenton Tolls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he came over from uh, from, from Level 82 with Tory Smith. We Ooh. also have Tory, Tory Smith's team here at Level 82. They're going to have Hey, that's kind of cold. We're in Baltimore. Oh, just about yeah, to say you're, that. Yeah, you're in Baltimore. Hey, when Michael Vick comes calling, I'm sorry, I'm taking Michael Vick's call. You know that's what I mean? True, that's true, that's true, that's uh, true. Only if he's the one that called. I, I yeah, don't want no, the exactly. assistant coach. I, I want to hear Vick. <laughs> And if you don't say I see a lot of me and you, then I don't want to come. It's a nice little team, though. I like the Falcons' colors. I like the the, the logo is sick, you know? I'm, I'm digging V7 Elite. Yeah, Brent told, Brent told us is a dog. Is Michael Vick my favorite athlete ever? I'm trying to think. He's really, he's up yeah. there. Michael he got Vick, it. hey, Michael Vick, as far as, like, players that you could watch yeah. for, like, hours, I think Michael yeah. Vick's up there. Hot take. And obviously, we're in Baltimore. Baltimore on the field. Since we in Baltimore, hot take. Lamar Jackson, Michael Vick. Who are we taking? I'm taking Lamar. Um, I'm taking Lamar. I'm taking Lamar because Michael Vick said Lamar is better. He did. Yeah. He did. Mm. And for that reason, I got to take Lamar too. I think he's a better thrower, man. I love Vick. I'm sorry. I hope you don't hear this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to disagree. Ooh, you I like, can't disagree with the guy. The guy said he, he's not good. He <laughs> yeah, he's not, but I feel my, like that's such better. an old head thing to say. Like, ah, oh, he's better than it is, yeah, No, right, that is, well, right. hold on. No, that is not an old head thing to say. Every, look yeah, at every, every, right. old every old head. Every say NBA old head, they say LeBron James will be a All right, well, let's let the chat decide. The chat. Yeah, chat. Michael Vick, well, we got a younger crowd here. Michael Vick or Lamar Jackson, who would you rather have in their prime? Yo, Charles Barkley said LeBron not in his top seven. See, that's what I'm saying. All heads be hating. Brent Tolls looking for his man. Over the middle. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown. What a ball. V7 Elite in the end zone. That's Colin Morris. He's got his level 82 what here on it. <laughs> I like these cat takeover. They kind of got, like, the Florida Seminole type colorway jerseys on. Well, they're not playing very well, though. Yeah, you know. I believe that's Messiah DeLone with the touchdown right there. What a catch, man. 
He does have his level 82 gear on. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Chat saying M Prime, Lamar, Vic all day. Interesting. Seeing a lot of Vicks, actually. More Vicks for sure. Speaking of seven, Michael Vick's number and eight, Lamar Jackson's number. Let's go over the scoring here. A touchdown it, here at OT7. You'll be rewarded with a touchdown. You'll get seven points for that drive. We also have what's called the one point gamble. If you get the one point gamble, you'll get eight, like Lamar Jackson. You know what I mean? If you don't get it, you'll get six points for that seven drive. Down, if you get a defensive stop, you get two points. If you get an interception, you'll get three points. And back we also up, have the up, what up. is it called, Tom? What's it called? There you it's go. called the money drive. It's called the money drive. And if you score on the money drive, you will get 10 points. We have not seen a money drive here today. Which is just stupid. It and is. You, stupid. you want to know what also is uh, not smart? I'm not going to call you stupid. Route Dr. BTP said Mike Vick all day. Then I'll take Denard Robinson. 1,000. That's an insane NFL running back, Denard Robinson. Whoa! Oh, my God. What a catch! That was crazy! That was insane! Oh Caleb Bell! Gosh. That must be the running back that he said is 220. First I am not trying to tackle that man. Oh my god! What a catch that by Caleb might have Bell! Been the catch of the day. Hey man. First down? That was insane. Hey, we built different in Texas, baby. Will you stop? I'm on the, you, hey, nah, I've hey, had enough, hey, bro. Me and him, had enough. Hey, me and him on the same diet. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I'm weak. I'm weak, bro. With that, Joey Durant, Durant quarterback, what diet is that, that bro? <laughs> it's called the eat what you want diet <laughs> and then work out. That's what I'll be doing. Oh my I'll tell you what, I'm, <laughs> he is huge, I'm stumped. Bro. I'm stumped by that catch. <laughs> he caught, the, he elevated for that catch. I'm watching too. the replay on my phone again. Oh my God! What a catch! I'm not trying to guard that man. You think you can guard him, Tom? They got the smallest guy on the field guarding him. <laughs> That's so stupid. Wow! Look at number 13, bro. His name is Zion. Yeah, this dude is, is built like I, Jimmy Butler, You're bro. He's on cat takeover, right? 1,001. Yeah, Joey Durant in the end zone. Cat takeover answers quickly. That is Cameron Williams in the end zone for cat takeover. This game is tied. I tell you what, man, I, I don't know what the weightlifting program is for Cat Takeover, but these dudes are swole. There you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, Caleb. I like Cat Takeover, man. That quarterback, Joey Duran, he uh, tatted on the whole left side of his arm. Nah, yeah, I what? saw that. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like Anthony Richardson's little brother, 13, <laughs> with a neck tat, too. If and, anyone and didn't see it, Anthony Richardson, his brother, 13, with a neck tat. Speaking Incredible. of kids that are way just uh, adults, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> What's going on, Snipe? All right, I, I got Kayla with me, man. I think that was easily the catch of the day. Let me know, like, what went into that. You went and grabbed it, brung it down. Talk to me. My quarterback got faith in me. We play a school ball, so I seen the ball, I got to go get ball. It's a connection that we got to have a school ball, so, you know, see if I go get it. All right, so you're, you're a running back, but you're making catches like you out here playing slot. So, like, you, you versatile like that? I'm versatile. They put me in the slot sometimes during school ball, and I get the word. They be like, oh, he big. He can't. Don't even believe that. I ain't gonna lie. I've never seen somebody run as fast as you, as big as you. So, to, like, what is your, like your size and weight, bro? Uh, right now I'm like five nine. I want to say last time I weighed in, I was about two fifteen. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, let's just say I, I'm not trying to tackle you. We good. Hey, we on the same team, my brother. <laughs> hey, back to y'all at the booth, bro. I am not trying to tackle that man. We got Maurice Jones. <laughs> Maurice Jones drew down there. <laughs> hey, bro. Bro, this dude's shoulders is huge. Hey, bro, he is huge, bro. Oh. B7 Elite finds a man right over the middle. Brenton Tolls with a nice ball. He sound like he's from Texas too, bro. He sound like he just got done drinking some sweet tea. Hey, you know how we built down there. He sound like uh crawfish sweet tea, <laughs> water burger. You know what it is. We eat good. We have a good time. It's football and, and, and food down there. That's all it is. Let's see, Brenton Tolls. He's kind of eating right now. I'll tell you what, though. He, he, was, he was pretty solid for, uh, for level 82. He has some weapons out there. Ooh! That's a good pass. In the end oh, zone, that's Brent a good Tulls is on fire right now. Oh, Touchdown for B7 Elite. Keontae Gray in the end zone. That's a big team going to the pit. That was him. Brent Tulls up on top of the bench celebrating. Hey, hey, he came out here, he's eating. I don't think he played like this for level 82. I was about to say, he left Chance Wiggins, one of the best receivers in the country on level 82, but he's Ch got a Chance ton of guys here. Nice. Chance, Wiggins, nice. Chance Wiggins is tough, too. But, hey, he's, he's out here going to these wide receivers for V7 Elite, and they're eating right now. 
I want to see what Caleb going to do this drive, man. I'm over here behind him, bro. It looks like he locked in. Let's see if he's be able to pull off another big catch. <laughs> well, I think he just ripped down a couple snacks in the break. <laughs> That's OD. Yo, the ran drops quick. Can't take three. over. Oh, he is open across the middle. Oh, they went. Check down. You see how sad he is about the check down? Oh, you see check that? Down. Oh, hey, check down. Check downs win championships. Tom, you're going to have to re eat it. Okay? Check down should be illegal in <laughs> hey, the Hey, bro. This dude is hilarious. <laughs> uh, another check down. Two. Oh, we got it. That's good. We, we got it. We got some hey, we got some more cool cleats down here, man. Um, Air Max 95 cleats is way better than the other OT7 so far when it comes to sneakers. It felt like people put thought into these shoes this time. Well, Snipe, speaking of feet, didn't you lose a pair of sneakers last night? I did, man. I've been <laughs> on a losing spree, man. Uh, not only did I lose today, because I said that the Knicks was going to lose to the cast. Uh, a, good, a good friend of mine, Marcellus Howard, we bet a pair of sneakers on the Look Warriors. Here. Game and I and I lost, man. The Warriors let me down. Never bet on. No, no, you let the Warriors down by picking them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm I'm as accurate Ooh. as destroying is the OT7. Who y'all think's winning that game seven? By the way. It's I'm, I'm, I, yeah. In in I, Sacramento is crazy. In Sacramento it's tough. At this point I'm not saying anything because I think the Warriors are gonna win and Draymond's gonna light the beam himself. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> this is a better question because I was think I, I was watching De'Aaron Fox last night and I was thinking about this. Who do you think the, the best, the, the coldest basketball player would be in, in OT7? And in, in football? football? Yeah, in football. Two. What basketball player would, would perform the best at OT7? I'm going to go with, like, somebody like yeah, De'Aaron Fox, uh, Jamal Murray. Um, ja? Ja would be incredible. Ja would be insane. Ja but, would but be hey, incredible. hey, 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 he's not in it no more. <laughs> he's not in the playoffs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't what, can't oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what player Plus currently in the NBA playoffs? <laughs> that didn't well, get obliterated by still not in the It's playoffs. a parade inside my city. Yeah. <laughs> it's a parade in Cancun, yeah. <laughs> I always said Russell Westbrook would be a great football player. Joey Durant with the bullet on the outside. Russell Westbrook got the worst Oh, no, I thought that was in. Oh, we got to see a replay on that. I thought that was in, man. Overtime day is on the sideline, says so out of bounds. I thought that was in. Day says it was out of bounds. Hey, they don't really They're mean hating on my Texas these boys, bro. Y'all just hating on my Texas boys. Hey, speaking of Texas, why do they have Florida uniforms? This is a good question. It's I was like wondering. A, it, see, I'm okay, telling you, these are seminal look, uniforms, hey, man. This is very close. Now, nah, foot's barely on the line. We'll trust Day, I guess. We will trust Day. And I'm kind of I'm kind of bothered by the FSU uniforms. That it's weird. Right now. Be careful with, with the, the whole Day thing. It's pretty too. interesting. It's a bunch of guys from Texas City, though, so you know. It's... Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Flag on the play. They're going to say holding I'm on the defense. Right, you know. That was actually a great pass. That was a, that was a great pass and a phenomenal attempt at an adjustment there by Trayvon Dixon. Yeah. We can't take over. Fun fact, I, I hold the Pop Warner record in, in uh, touchdowns in a single game. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. How many? One? Twelve. Right Twelve. Twelve is crazy. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Most touchdowns I've ever scored in a single game was six. Uh, yeah. You're half as good as me. All of them were all Odell Beckham type catches. Just one hand, three fingers on the ball. Hey, I was thinking back to the football thing, basketball thing. Yeah. Des Desmond Bain's pretty brawl. Yo, Desmond, Desmond Bain, Bain is, he looks like a football player, Desmond bro. Desmond Bain looks like a football player, 100%. Yeah, maybe a real football, not, not seven on seven. Yeah. But, but, but once again, they got to currently be. Oh, there's that guy. Imagine if he could lower, a, imagine if he could lower a shoulder. Oh, it'd be over. It's terrifying. I'm yeah. telling you right now, there's not a player at this tournament other than maybe, what was that, that tight end from? Yeah, from Larson, Florida. right? Yeah, Jack Larson is the only dude that I think could get him down. Yeah. I bet this dude is an absolute problem on the football. Yeah, I want to watch this. Maurice game. Jones Drew is crazy. <laughs> hey, tell me you don't see it. I don't. No, that's what's crazy. I see <laughs> yeah. it. I, I can't do nothing but see it. I see that. I see uh, Philip Tolbert. Oh, there you go. Nice little arrow right there. Touchdown! There's the end zone. Andre Thompson into the pit. Cat Takeover ties the game here against V7 Elite. And listen, guys, we know everyone wants to see destroying an A.J. Green's team pressure put on a show. Don't go anywhere, guys, because their game versus EPS Blaze is coming up at 2 p.m. Right it's next. next. Yep. It's next. Get your popcorn ready. This game is going to be insane. Me and Tom, well, I, I, I know I'm not going to be hating on these teams as much. You know, no, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm here for D's team. Do we know if they won their first game today? They Actually, had a game already. Destroy's right over here by the Hey, D. D. Do y'all win? win? Y'all win y'all's first game? Uh, we didn't know. I swear we didn't know. We didn't know. Oh, you don't know either. He doesn't know if they won. Oh, he's. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Uh, he wants oh, to focus I, on the next yeah. game. He's very yeah, yeah. I, I think they lost. Is what, is what I mean. They definitely lost. Yeah, they definitely lost. It's all good, though. All right. As long as they show up for the big field.
It's okay. It's pool play. They're getting. They're getting. They're getting a little Wait, do, do, do y'all know if they lost for real? Hey, I'll be honest with you though. EPS Blaze has been that team that, that goes out there that's in that a, first that's game. That's Dak Prescott's Dak team. Dak Prescott's team, yeah. And they and, and honestly, how, the team that I worry the most about them facing is like this can't take over team. Every time we see them play a Texas team, they blow them out. Like just <laughs> absolutely smack them. But they have shown up, especially like the day of pool play, and they've always performed really, really well. I, th I like that. pressure in that game though. I like pressure too. It just depends though. They I have, thought they I'd have never hear Tom say I like pressure in that game. I am a big supporter. I'm just realistic. Let us support our guy, man. Oh, he's getting a body there. Oh, he's getting a body there. He's going to take off. Oh! I don't think that counts. They lucky as no fumble. I think he was touchdown first. I think he was touchdown first. Unless he just lost the ball. Yep. That would have been insane. Fumbling in seven on seven is insane. He has the hair of Troy Palomalu. I'll tell you what, man. He looks like. He definitely does look like a little Troy Palomalu out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a parade inside my city, yeah. It's a parade inside my city? Yeah! yeah. It's a parade yes, inside my city? Yippee! Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm, happy, I'm happy this Grizzly series is over. I'm tired of seeing Skip Bayless say positive things about LeBron James. <laughs> Ooh! Yo, did you see what Skip Bayless said the other day? It was the best troll job I've ever seen. They said, he said if he finds a way to win the title this year, he might put him in his top 10. That's <laughs> what? That's insane. I'm gonna find the exact tweet. I got it right. That's now. insane, bro. Let's get 38 Le your old your LeBron James out here at OT7. That'd be fun. <laughs> Yo, Bron could probably still put in work right now. There's nobody speak. at this tournament that's capable of guarding LeBron. Wait, you ready for this? Seconds. If and it's a big if LeBron carries the Lakers to another title, I could see him jumping to eighth on my all-time top ten. <laughs> Eight is crazy. I wonder what Skip Bayless' all top top 10 looks like. Ooh, nice fight over the middle. First down for V7 Elite inside the 10 yard line. Having five championships, being an all time leading scorer, and being fifth on somebody. Yes. Having five final MVPs and being eighth on a list. Yeah, no, this is my thing, bro. After LeBron retires, everybody's going to actually give him the credit. An entire decade of basketball was everybody either rooting for or against the man because he was in the finals every year. I have said that Skip Bayless, when he re when LeBron retires, Skip Bayless is going to be like, this was all a joke. He's my GOAT. <laughs> no, there's no way you can do that. There's I no way so. you can do that. Four. I was just kidding. Brent Tolles, looking for his man. 1, 000, Has to take the sack there. Doing a good job of not turning the ball over. Both of these teams are going down the field and scoring every possession they've had. We haven't seen a pick so far. I hope I'm not commentating cursing them right now. <laughs> Snipe, who is your GOAT, LeBron or MJ? LeBron is my GOAT, man. Uh, unapologetic, unapologetically. No, you should apologize. No, I shouldn't, man. Um, LeBron is my GOAT. I I'm not biased. I just I just call it what it is, man. I, I don't really think you can, at this point, I don't really see, you know, the debate. Ten seconds. Everyone in the chat, LeBron or MJ, let's run it up. I got MJ. I, got I don't feel strongly. Blitz there for Cat takeover and a deflection means they get a stop. Hey, hey. Third down. Oh, no, now it's third down. Are we sure it's third down? We have no idea what oh, down it is because of this, bro. No, hey, actually, hey, no, hey, I, I, do believe, I do believe that that was actually a second down. This quarterback is super confident. He's joined to the defense. They might have tagged him on yep. the sack, but he is not worried at all. He's talking crazy right now. Now, that was definitely second down. He took sack on first down. Second down. Now we got, it's, it's scared. I'm scared now. I can't, can't commit to a down. We do have destroying and AJ <laughs> Green both in the building. AJ just pulled up in a purple hoodie, saying "Ah, wee wee." Five. The Lamar Jackson four, jersey on. Three, two, one thousand. Rick Tolls dropping back. They're gonna blitz again. He's throwing one up in the end zone. Oh, I love this. Oh, PI. Definitely called, almost caught. I thought he could have caught that. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, he literally threw Buddy out of the way. That's a killer penalty right <laughs> there. That's the same right thing there. Jimmy Butler did on the game winner. Man, offensive pass interference just slung him down. Tell you what. Cat takeover takes the lead, though. Two-point lead, 16 to 14. Yeah, he just threw him down. Straight up. Hey, hey Tom, that's how I would do to you. I'm not going to lie to you. You can, <laughs> you can do that to me. <laughs> Wait, are you saying what you would do? Whoa, 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 whoa,
their shoulder ready to play. Hey, bro, big man didn't get in the pit this time. He saw too many people there. Hey, you know? We make big boy decisions. That's what we do. Let's take another look at this. Just wide open. What a phenomenal catch. Complete blown coverage there by B7. It was looking like a shootout early, but now, you know what we got to see. Are we going to see our first one of the day? Um, are, we, are we serious? Um, do they know it exists? I, I don't, I think they're forgetting. Do, do they not know it exists? Money drop, money drop. There it is, there it is, Money drop. Sweet, we got a money drop for money the first drop. time. Snipe, what's going money on down drop. there, brother? All right, man, I got Zion with me, bro. Crazy touchdown, wide open, good hands. Let me know, like, how was you able to get that, get that open look? I just used my speed. Broke out the release, I used my speed. And I just separated space and got open. Bro, how tall are you? I'm 6'2". Do, do, do you hoop? Nah, I used to. I don't hoop no more. This dude look 6'2", 6'3", swole. Like, you'll be like a small forward in, like, OKC right now if you decided to hoop, bro. Nah, I stopped hooping. So football is, like, your main thing? Football, main thing. All right, man, look, last chance for y'all to take it, bro. Be able to get a chance to go to the finals, get, be a chance to go to the championship. Turn what y'all got to do to lock in this win? We just got to stay focused and do what we do as a team. We're going to win. Say less. Five, Good luck, my boy. Four, Better y'all at the booth, man. Three. Yeah. 1,001. 1,002. Just straight up dropped the money ball on first down there for V7. Oh! He caught it. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. That looked like it was going to be an interception. There's a lot of talking Ooh. going on. So what a lot a of catch. talking going on. Yeah, Snipe, Snipe. Your, your back was turned, man, but they threw a bomb on first play, and the guy just dropped it. With just straight up dropped it. Dropped the money. Not good. Man. Hey, Snipe, you got to stop asking these Fumble the bag. basketball. Fumble the bag. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to recruit, man. I'm trying to start a 707 basketball team. I got some talent. It's some talent, bro. I'm taking the OT7 basket, like the best, the best, yes. the best 10 from OT7 at basketball over over OT. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh my goodness. There's a penalty on the field. These hey, these guys is talking. First money drive of the day. Right I didn't there, expect right us to be three games deep before we got a money drop today, but. Call the field down. defensive pass interference. First See down here for V7 Elite. First down. Let's take another look V7 at this one. Yeah, just clearly impeded the, the ability to, to, to go back and play the ball. Yep. Let's see. New quarterback for V7 Elite right 1, here. 1, Brent Tolles takes a seat on the most important drive of the game. Oh, oh he dropped oh, it. Oh, no. Everybody's dropping money. <laughs> what are we Everybody's doing? Everybody's dropping money. The pressure might be too big, man. It might be the, bro the Hey, the bright, the lights might be too bright, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I see a drop here off, off the dome. Two drops Man, right through the hands. Do they have one? Who? Yes. Oh, man. Yo, man, catching a football's hard. Right over the middle. That one. They blaming the ball down here, man, saying the ball is uh, full of fish grease. They're just short. It's going to be a third down here. They need one yard to get to the, to get to the first down line. Third down. 40 seconds remaining. B7's got to do something. What? Hey, Snipe, how do you feel about switching quarterbacks on the most important drive of the game? It's the worst decision you can ever do in your life. I, I would never do it, me personally. They and that's this one. Incomplete. Great defense. And that's why. And, 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 that, and that is why I would never do it, me personally. Man. Game is over. What a stop. Man, we're having oh, are, are we trouble having more? counting are we, again. Are we having trouble counting three downs again? That was definitely third down. 100% third down, yeah. Turn over on down. Got turn over on down. What a stop down. for Cat Takeover. What a performance. They came out here and ball, man. I like Cat Takeover a lot, man. You got to watch out for him all day. But hey, remember, we got pressure. Pressure. We got they're that pressure. They're about to come up. I can't pressure wait. Pressure taking Zero. on EPS Blaze next. Cat Takeover wins this one with a score of 25. Actually, I'm sorry. 27 to 14. And that's do it. Cat takeover next up, though, guys, don't forget. AJ Green destroying Coach OTB pressure with more players than they had last week. The second tournament that they're going to play, Coach OTB is ready to get him going. He's fired up. I need to win. Don't go anywhere, guys. Pressure right now. is coming up next.
I didn't even mean to throw it. Got to keep your challenge flag somewhere safe, coach. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a quick timeout. Getting a stop on D is all about handling your matchup and trusting your teammates. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Stay tuned for more OT7. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the OT7. We here in the North Division in Baltimore, and I got the coach with me. I got coach. What's up, coach? What's up, man? <laughs> hey, man, we just seen an amazing game with Cat take over, but now that's over, and we got the game of the day. We got, hey, hey, hey people saying it's the game of the day. We got pressure versus EPS Blaze. How you feeling, coach? Man, listen, I feel like I'm ready to come out here and win. Long overdue being on this circuit, you know. Reduces to the pressure narrative, so pressure got to win, man. We got to come out here and do what we're supposed to do today. Now, look, you know this. Y'all are on a lot of people's board right now to beat. Obviously, you got D over there. You got AJ, yourself. I think that since y'all such a big, since y'all such a big presence on social media, kids want to beat y'all so bad. Do you talk to the kids about that, or do y'all prepare for that? Yeah, so we definitely prepare for that. I definitely talk to them about that. Being that AJ destroying and myself or what you want to call influencer YouTube figures, you're going to get heckled. We're going to get the, you know, guys coming over just pretty much want to beat us. But I, what I tell these guys a lot, when they beat us, it's their Super Bowl. So they probably never go on to win the championship after that. So we got to just capitalize on their energy and them being too high lady and uh, just kind of like punch them in the mouth pretty much based <laughs> off of their energy. So when they come in super high, we come in a little bit higher and to flatten them. But we, we talk about that quite a bit, just guys, you know, having a target on their back, I should say more, uh, the least. Well, as you know, man, this is the last chance. After Baltimore's going to last chance to punch that ticket to get to the championship. Yeah, yeah. So knowing that, knowing that you guys are still kind of new, yeah. what's the message to the guys letting us know it's now or nothing? I need the best y'all can give me so we can make sure that we can make the championship run. So being that this is the last opportunity, is best player got to play, yeah. make the plays when they're play, uh, plays are there to be made. And other than that, no excuses, just results, man. The time is now, like you said, no excuses, just results. Be coachable, be disciplined, do your job. You know, everything else to handle itself. Most of all, pressure, we have fun, man. You got to have fun out here. You ain't winning if you ain't having fun. I want to ask you this. I know y'all did some roster changes, and since y'all fairly new, I want you to let the people know what or who should we be looking forward to on your side of the game. Okay, well, off top, we got to look at Kai and Barry. You know what I mean? Just uh, he's been consistent with us. He's been with us killing. You got TJ Moore. New guys, new faces that we need to look at is Dwayne Harris out of uh, West Virginia, Charleston, West Virginia. We got another kid named Cameron Brooks out of Texas. Um, Rylan Dillard Allen, number four out of Arizona. He doesn't get a lot of love that he deserves, but he holds it down at that nickel. Um, you got Zach Samples. Zach Samples, number three as a receiver. He goes crazy. So we got so many guys. They'll get mad. Coach, you didn't mention me. But at the end of the day, you better look out for team pressure as a team. One thing I know about you, you are great at getting the best out of your guys. More importantly, you don't care about no stars. How many stars you got? You want the best players out there on the field. I feel like that approach is what allows you to get the best out of the players out there. But how do you come across when you're talking to these guys and letting them know, I don't care who you are, what you've done before here, it's all about what you can prove? Well, just what you said. So, I'm already knowing. Hey, just what you said. I don't care about your stars. I don't care how many offers you got. You only can go to one school. And if they come out here and see that lackluster energy, you probably won't get that offer. So at the end of the day, I don't care about none of that. I care about the team that you're with. I care about the program that you're with. Being disciplined, being a team player, being a good character type of guy. And uh, let's go have fun. You're only as good as your last game. And where we at, we lost our last game. You're only as good as your last tournament. Where we at, we lost our last tournament. So all that stuff doesn't mean nothing. Humble yourself, be disciplined, be coachable, pay attention to detail, fly around, have fun, man. You know. A few more questions, man. EPS Blaze, good team. Uh, we seen them. I mean, you seen them play a few times. Uh, anything specifically you need to look out for? I know you can't tell us too much, but what is the game plan heading into this game, man? I think since we have so many different athletes and they think we're going to come out here and play a man concept on defense, um, look out for the quick hitters, the quick uh, now, pass routes or whatnot. Opponent, but um, other, than, other than that, you know, there's not too much we're going to be concerned about. On offense, take our shots, take what they give us. Um, everything doesn't have to be a big ball. Everything doesn't have to be a big money ball or a touchdown. Take what they give us on offense. Um, but at the end of the day, pressure is the best team on this field. 100%. I got to ask you this. You mentioned the money ball. 
That's very important. Last question before you get up out of here. I know you got to talk to your guys. How do y'all plan on using that money bar to your advantage? Um, a lot of people haven't used it today, which is kind of crazy. Is that something y'all even talk about using? Yeah, so as far as the money ball scenario, I would like for us to be up too. So defense, we go out there, get a stop. Offense come out, score. Defense come out and get a stop. Offense come out and score. Even if we don't get a stop, they score. Okay, offense come out and get another store. Defense get a stop on that third possession is where I want to use a money ball. Hopefully on that third possession, we're up a good uh, point amount or possession amount, and then we'll take that shot so we can just try to put them away early. That's how I use my money. Well, Coach, you know it's all love on this side. I hope y'all lock in, man. Who you going for, Snow? I'm going for y'all. You already know the vibes, bro. Hey, good luck, man. Hey, listen, we got a crazy game coming up, man. We got pressure, EPS Blaze. I'm with my guy, Overtime Day. How you feeling, man? I'm good, I'm good. And just seeing Coach just gave me some extra energy, too, because Coach always brings the energy. Coach got too much energy. He oh. dapped me up and almost took my wrist with him. It's facts. It you know just happened to me, too. <laughs> exactly. All right, man, so who are you going for in this matchup and why? I'm about to be in the booth with D for the next two, three hours. So if I don't say pressure, I feel like he's going to get pissed at me. Safe bet. Safe, safe. So I, I'll go with pressure because also at, at OT7 East in Orlando and pool play, pressure didn't look great. And they look like a drastically different team uh, just by day two. I think they trend in that direction. I, I know that, and I don't want spoilers or anything, but I think, I think they had a tough first game today. I think they ride the momentum of of last OT7 East in Orlando, and I think they win this one here. It's going to be a great game, though. 100%. I'm looking forward to this game, man. This is the one we've all been waiting for. I even talked to D about it, and he's feeling confident. I don't know if you heard last time when they played last week or last tournament, they said in Orlando, they had like a team bonding experience that really helped them out. Watch movies, hung out together, chill. Do you think that's going to be able to translate into today's game? Absolutely, because, and, and I think back to when I was in high school and when I think of, you know. We're not talking about the 90s no more, bro. It's okay, though. No, do your thing, though. Now bro. they're going to believe you. Now they're going to believe you. That, that was always the most fun part of, of AAU summer ball. It's, it's the stuff off the field with your friends, your teammates. Yes, the games are fun and competing and getting better and winning. All that's true. But those moments off the field, especially now when it's school ball, when it's, when it's the AAU, you know, seven on seven, that's what it's all about, and I think that always carries over to on the field, too. Well, hey, man, you heard it here first. EPS Blaze is going up against pressure. I'm going to kick it to my guys at the booth, man. Tom, Kieran, let's get it, baby. Welcome back to Baltimore, Maryland, where the trees are as green as the money in Odell Beckham Jr.'s pocket. You know what I mean? He, he also got paid. Uh, we have an OT7 North Divisional here in Baltimore. Two teams have already punched their tickets to the OT7 championship in June. We are looking for 10 more teams to make it to that championship. And one of those teams is gonna get an automatic bid here today. One of the most popular teams in seven on seven history is here today. We got pressure facing off against EPS plays in our next game. I'm Kieran, I'm here with Tom. How we doing Tom? I'm so nervous for I'm very nervous. I like, the pressure needs to win. I need him in the finals. <laughs> I need them to win. I need them to go to the finals soon. You know, Destroying is, is, is talked about this team having a lot of hard work and, 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 and gelling over the time. Yep. So tell us what we should be looking forward to here today. Look, it's all about Destroying and AJ Green, right? Can they can they get pressure to turn it on? Like they did it uh, when they were in Orlando. Day two, they played really well. I expect them to come out here today and play really well, but they lost their first Look. game. So now they're on field one. They're going against EPS Blaze. I can't wait to see it. Dak Prescott's team, EPS Blaze. Plays. They've had some great moments at OT7, but they haven't put it all together. I think both these teams have a chance to win a big game here, potentially punch a ticket to the finals a little bit later. Yeah, I would love to see pressure out there in, in, in Los Angeles at the championship. EPS plays, I feel like they're another team that has a lot to prove. We saw them in Arizona. We saw them in Texas. They performed really well, especially against my Texas teams. Uh, yeah. I, I have not they called hate a Texas game. teams. Yeah, 100%. They, they, <laughs> I have not watched them lose a game while being in the booth. But we have 22 minutes on the clock. Let's get it going. Pressure versus EPS Blaze. Let's get to it. This is what they've been waiting for, ain't it? And this is what they've been waiting for? This is what they've been waiting for. New quarterback for pressure. KJ Lacey is the guy in charge. He throws a ball. Oh, oh, no. On the very first play of the game. Oh, no. Just as I was talking about KJ Lacey. Oh, no, man. Not picked not off the on the very play. first play of the game. And there's one thing I know about EPS, they start off very hot. Bro. Three yeah. points on bro. the very first play of the game. Uh, bro. 
Yeah, nice interception there by EPS Blaze. Man, <laughs> if there's one, I, I'm telling you, EPS Blaze always starts off their games like this. They'll get a pick and <laughs> they'll go down the field to Snipe, score. What was uh, D's uh, reaction to that? I, 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 I'm gonna be honest, bro. I, I turned around. I, it, it was hard to watch, but I, I can't really tell you what, what happened too much after the pick. Hey, man, we all love a comeback story. EPS with a nice little completion on first down. First play is kind of crazy. They go through the scoring rules here. Seven points here at OT7 you will get rewarded with if you score a touchdown. We also have what's called the one-point gamble. After you score a touchdown, you can go for the one-point gamble. If you get it and you convert successfully, you get eight points for that drive. If you fail, you only get six points for that drive. Also, on defense, if you get an interception, you get rewarded with three points, just like EPS Blaze just did. If you get stopped, or if you get a stop defensively, you get rewarded with two points. And we also have what's called the what? Money, 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 money. Money drive. The money drive. Yeah. <laughs> you score on the money drive, you get 10 points. If you get a stop defensively on the money drive, the defense is rewarded with four. And if they get an interception, just like uh, what, what just happened. Yeah, we saw one. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did we just wanted one. to set the example. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You will get six points for an interception oh, on the money drive. Oh, what? Oh, that was nasty. Oh. I don't think that counted, man, but that was a dime. It didn't count, but it was a dime. It was right over the hands. Right there. There are some new players out here for, for pressure. You know, they, they showed up in Orlando with uh, barely a team put together, but now it seems like they filled out that roster. Uh, over in the middle, they got Drake Gonzalez, who is absolutely huge. Plays linebacker, six foot two twenty five from Memphis, Tennessee. Zachariah Sambo on offense, number three. He, he's been one of my favorite players at OT7, and uh, they got to get him a rock today. He has been phenomenal. Carson Boyd, quarterback for EPS Blaze. Looking over the middle. Quick clock. Yeah, very quick clock there. Four seconds. I don't even think they got to get to the top of their route there. <laughs> hey, now it's a little, we, we kind of missed it because they threw a pick on the first play, but who, who do you think is going to win this one? I, I pick pressure. I, I want pressure to win this entire tournament. Yep. And this is what happened last time. Even if they look sloppy today, they showed up, yes, like last time on Sunday. They played Miami Immortals. They got smacked on Saturday. They showed up the next day on Sunday, played Great. Miami Immortals again, and they smacked the dog crap out of them. Yep. So I, I think, I think, yeah, dog crap. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, I think pressure's the Sunday Ooh. team. Oh, Ooh. almost Ooh. intercepted Ooh. right back. Phenomenal coverage there. Sniper, we all agreement? We, uh, we're all rooting for uh, pressure here. We're going to be a biased uh, booth. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm going for pressure, too. I thought about changing my mind the first play of the game, but I am going to stick to it, bro. I, I've been wrong all week. Why stop being wrong now? Everyone in the chat, who you guys got? Who do you want to win? Do we want pressure to win, or do we want EPS plays to pull this off and uh, knock D and AJ down a little bit? I, I talked to the coach, wild. man. I talked to o Coach OTB. I told him every team is going to give y'all their best shot. Whoa. It's like, he threw that. Oh, oh almost intercepted. Carson Boyd trying to ex Man, escape the blitz. Threw up a prayer. Oh, we got he a flag down. So and there's a flag down field. Did y'all see how he got a body? I saw nah. Hey man. He, he's an athlete. Bro, he did you not see right how he out rolled out of there? That's insane. He skirted Holding right on the up defense. Out of there. <laughs> Still third down. They're going to replay third down. I hate that. Unfortunate. Yeah. Still third down, though. Pressure. We need a stop here. Get the ball back on offense. You got 10 seconds. Now, we talked about it a little bit in Orlando, but you feel like these teams go a little bit harder when they're playing against pressure? 100%. Yeah. 100% have to. Well, the thing is, you know all the eyes are on you. No blitz here on third down. Is it, this is every Carson Boyd over the top. Oh, just incomplete. Oh! And uh, overtime's very own lawyer, Andrew Iger, with the catch. <laughs> Most athletic lawyer in the game. Let's go. Shout out to him for representing me in all my court cases. Uh, all the, the numerous ones. Yep. Yep. Got to keep you out of trouble, man. Yep. Well, I'm the fall guy. Stop there for pressure. <laughs> They're rewarded with two points. <laughs> Here with Tom, the fall guy, in the booth. Pressure back on offense. Quarterback KJ Lacey threw a pick first drive. He will not throw a pick there. To be right near the first down line for pressure. First down, one. First down for pressure. First down. At what point does D just step in and start playing Q? Oh, man, you gotta wonder. <laughs> 1,001, 1,002. There you go. Watch this man. TJ Moore. TJ Moore had a phenomenal Sunday. This is a huge kid, bro. He's huge. He's six foot three, 200 pounds. He's got offers from damn near every school in the bro, country. Oh, he has the biggest legs in the country. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my you. goodness, bro. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, right? KJ Lacey drops back. Look at the end zone. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. Wayne oh. Harris in the end zone. I think D wants to go to the boot to, to the pit. They're in the pit. Oh. Look at D. D's going to jump in there. Oh. Swim in that pool. Ah, oh, oh. nah, oh. man. He faked us out. Oh. He faked us out. Oh. Too many kids up in there. <laughs> That was way too crazy. There we go, pressure. There we go. Hey, man. Pressure, they're ready for the main stage. That's, that's too long. Look, if you take away the first play, everything else has been great. You know who else is great? My man, Sniper. I think he's down there with AJ Green. Snipe, what do we got? Hey, hey, AJ think I'm bad luck. He said every time he <laughs> talked to me, it's a touchdown. Every time I start talking to you, I'll be mid-sentence though, go, but play started. Bro, it's not going to happen this time. I promise you. To God, it's not. The defense is flying around. Y'all just got a touchdown, man. I know it feel good to get some points from the board, bro. I mean, you got the first touchdown of the game. How you feeling? More importantly, we got a defense to stop. When defense is on, everything's good. But now it feels good right now. You know, we're up, and we got to stay up. All right, I got to ask you like about the team chemistry because I heard in Orlando, y'all did like a bonding experience, team chemistry went up. How you feeling about the team chemistry currently right now? I think it's good, man. Like, these are a lot of the boys I started the season with. And, you know, we rebranded the team. And we, last week they weren't here. Now we're bringing them in. I think they're meshing well. That first game was a little hiccup. Now it seems like they're vibing a little bit more. They're joking. They're giving each other some different calls and head movements. You know what I'm saying? So it looks like it's coming together, though. I see, like, right now I'm locking eyes and they're talking and stuff. I like that. You see, no touchdown has been scored since we talked. You see that, right? Yeah. They you got to believe, bro. You got to believe in me, bro. Well, close. <laughs> I'm going to give it back to y'all at the booth, man. Let's get it. Hey, man, AJ Green, I forgot. He was talking trash about us on the internet. Oh, he was? Me, me and you, well, actually, you and Sniper more so. Man. <laughs> Right. Because we, we said that AJ coaches has coached a lot of teams. Oh, yeah, he's been on a bunch of teams. Yeah, and, and he was bringing down that it hasn't been that many teams. So It's been like three. We'll agree to disagree on we the won, amount of teams that AJ Green has coached and owned. Yeah. But we'll agree that pressure is maybe our favorite. We will see. Is, is, pre is AJ Green as bad as an owner as Michael Jordan? <laughs> Man, I like how AJ pulled up in the Lamar jersey, though. Yeah, me too. That's a good idea. Taking the sack there. Gonna take the sack there. Carson Boyd, quarterback for EPS Blades. You told me slow down, now you want me speed it up. I'll tell you what, though. AJ, AJ is definitely... Uh, a team hopper. I'm not gonna lie. He can say <laughs> no, whatever. No, he wants no, no. Me. Calling AJ a team hopper when you're a team hopper is insane. How, how, oh, touchdown, EPS. But you are bad luck, sniper. <laughs> you are bad luck. He oh, went ahead yeah. of the ball right to AJ. <laughs> that hey, nah, 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 nah. Uh, Elijah Garrick with the touchdown. <laughs> We're right at AJ Green. That was for us. He did that for us. It was. EPS Blaze takes the lead 10 to 9. I think we might see a one point gamble because of the interception maybe later on in this game. Yes. Might have to see one. Yes. Might have now, what to did, see one. Snipe, what did OTB tell you about the money drive? He wants to be up two scores when he does it? Yeah. Well, Snipe's, I think, got something else for us right now. So, Snipe, what are we doing? Hey, 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 I got Elijah with me right now, bro. After the TD, which was an amazing TD, I seen you went right up to AJ. It's a lot of pressure. Let me know where that pressure yeah, coming from. Ain't no peer pressure. We got you. We from Louisiana. We ain't doing none of that talking. All that. So, so if the energy is high right now. Is this one of them games that y'all want more just because they got AJ over there, they got Destroying over there? Every game. We play hard every game. They ain't, they ain't, we ain't got no pressure on our back. They, they just regular like we is. Regular team. All right, last question is, y'all got to lock in on this, bro. It's our last opportunity in order to go to the championship. What's the f***? Shit, play hard, catch the ball, score, defense gets off. Yeah, make a play. Let's do it. Lock in, bro. Good to see you. Hey, he said, hey, he said ain't no pressure. He said ain't no pressure. It is what it is. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's true, though, because he went up to AJ. Hey, boo, boo, boo with the football. I don't know what that be, man. I'm going to let y'all stop what that be. Yeah, nah, he's, uh, you know. He got he got NBA young boy energy. I ran off. <laughs> yeah, I ran off immediately. Yeah, it's, it's some Louisiana boys, bro. They all got a chip on the shoulder somehow, yeah. bro. He said, we out here, yeah? Five, four. <laughs> little oh. trick play. Trick play there. Can he pick up the first down? They marked him just short on third down. Oh. EPS Blaze with the stop and pressure. It's always, under pressure. They're always hurting themselves. Do these yeah. players say that this game don't mean more 
but the energy stays different, man. They screaming out here. They going crazy. They yelling. They looking dead over there on the sideline at DNAJ. They, this one personal, bro. Here's another look at this play. Tagged just short. They were anticipating the blitz. Ran a reverse. Yeah, it was Came a great play them. call. It just didn't work. Yeah. Unfortunate there, but EPS plays, takes over on offense, kind of mounted the quarterback. Short little Second. completion over the middle. I mean, look, it's 12 to 9. Pressure just needs a little interception here. Yeah, Interse I, honestly, you can even let them score. Get a little money drive going on. I love you know what I mean? Drive. Give me a little money drive. I live for money drive. I live for a money drive. <laughs> y'all are terrible, man. I was born People like, y'all are ruining the game of football. <laughs> <laughs> This is what they say about Steph Curry shooting through. You are ruining yeah. the game of football. Okay? You know what I'm calling on this drive? Interception. 1,001, 1,003, Hey, I want to say shout out to Shark Boy in the chat going crazy for pressure. Yeah, he, uh, he wrote, let's go pressure 500 times. Ooh, Elijah Garrick getting chewed out by his coaches right now because the first down was right there. Yeah, he juke back trying to get up yeah. out of there, man, and actually lost a few yards, so. Yeah. Uh, it costs being flashy, man. It costs being flashy. It does cost being flashy. And I, and I ain't got the price to pay for it. We got a third down here. <laughs> kind of mounted back at quarterback. EPS plays. Can they pick this up? Ten seconds. Uh, always, there's always one. There too. There's always one. False start. False start on offensive penalties is a loss of down, so that's a turnover on downs. Pressure gets the ball back. Solid defensive showing, man. That's what AJ was saying. If the defense shows up, you know, they're going to be really hard to beat. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,000. AJ Lacey finding his man outside. One guy we haven't seen much of so far is Zachariah Sample. Yep. He's one of my favorite targets out here. Him and CJ Moore, absolute dogs, but we haven't really seen him. They're saving him for, uh, for later in the game. You know, and they might just be saving him for Sunday. That might just be the way the pressure moves. I need to be saved by a Snickers, by the way. I'm starving. Same, I, bro. Same. I am. My stomach is touching my back. I need a Snickers. Watch down a little bit of right. Gatorade. TJ Moore's hand. 33, three. Would be delicious. Are you a Glacier Freeze type of guy? Yeah, honestly, with Gatorade, I, I'll almost do any flavor. There's real, I, I like really, I'm not super picky. The I drank blue. so much yeah. cool blue when the I was cool younger. Cool blue that, is the one, bro. I know. Blue, I drank blue. so much of it growing up that I've, I've slowed it down a little bit. The lemon, hey, the yellow, the yellow is, is amazing too. Very slept on, but it, it, it's very amazing. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Great catch. Great catch for pressure there. Get a little first down action. Great ball there for pressure. First down. Pressure, hey, pressure's right back in this game, though. They're a team that likes a little bit of adversity, you know? I feel like Coach OTV puts them in those positions on purpose, though. He wants his kids to just go through as much struggle as possible so they can end up being better. Either that or they looked at the text messages I sent them giving them plays in different... Uh, oh, wow, okay, yeah, just straight straight cheating. Okay. It could be that, too, you know, just throwing it out there. First down. Oh! Ooh. Hey, man, he's got a little... He's got a little, got got a little juice. Speed on him. That boy yeah. Josiah Abdullah. That's why Alabama, LSU, and Clemson have come calling. Sheesh, Alabama and LSU? And Clemson. Top 10 wide receiver in the yeah. 2025 class, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If y'all yeah, forget he, his name, just know he's him. He's one of them ones. Yeah, he's one of them ones. When you get offensive from those three schools, the other schools need to fall back, bro. Because, like, I'm not coming to Providence. I'm sorry. Providence is crazy. What's wrong with Providence? I was about to say, I don't think Providence Rhode Island has, has a football team. All right, there, fine. Hey, there well, is hey, a player. Listen. There is a player on pressure from Providence Rhode Island, and now I think you got to check him. Justin Denson, DB over there. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not going to Nebraska. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, Nebraska used to be a powerhouse. Don't disrespect him. Matt Rule, good coach over there. Number one quarterback in the country, Dylan Raiola. Might go there. Might go there. You got LSU, Alabama, and Clemson. Yeah. Yeah. What about Texas? Nope. 1, oh, no, you hate You're a real hater. Might go to Old State, though. Ooh! Oh, touchdown oh, oh, oh. to Pressure. Gage Nix in the end zone. Pressure takes back the lead. 
AJ, destroying, going crazy. You know what I'm calling right here, Tom? A pick! You want a pick? I think it's going to be a pick. Dude, EPS Blaze always starts off just crazy hot. But then you hate up, them. I, yes, I do. I'm not going to lie to you. Do you hate Dak Prescott? Yeah. Oh, I can't say that. Yeah, yeah I mean, no. Well, that's cool. What's going on, Snipe? I heard Dak is uh, watching this right now. What's up, Snipe? My bad. All right, I got my boy destroying. Hey, y'all y'all balling. Y'all balling, bro. A lot of time on that clock left, six minutes left. We got to ball a little harder, man. They they too close in range right now. What do you think is the main reason of success the last few drives right now? Energy. Energy. These boys just got to relax. Play the game. They know we got a lot of talent on the team. They just got to ball out and play together, man. No celebration last touchdown. Does that mean, like, y'all all business right now? What's up? We locked in right now. They are offense. They can score and get, uh, get close to range, so we just got to lock in and do our thing. Last question, man. This is the last chance to go to the championship. Any pressure, no pun intended, any pressure with y'all knowing that this is, hey, it's when it go home, bro. You finna make a diamond, fam. Come on. Like that. It's great like that. Hey, I, I said y'all was going to win. Hold me down now. That's not true. They hating. Right? They hating up there. Not me, though. Yeah, yeah, I lied. So this what? is crazy. Hey, it's this fine. Is crazy. It's fine. I get to control the narrative. I'm like Draymond Green. I, I control my narrative, bro. That's all it is. Goodness gracious, you better be like Dylan Brooks. I'm going to ship you on a one-way ticket to Beijing. Touchdown! Touchdown, EPS Blaze! Maybe I am bad luck. Desmond Jefferson. Yeah, every time you talk to them, they get scored on, brother. Is it? Yeah. It's all you. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. It's all you. Yeah, might be, maybe I am bad luck. I'm just, I'm just falling back, man. He's getting very interesting. I'm gonna take another look at this catch right here. Easy touchdown, guys. Don't forget, we have the championship tom tomorrow. Tomorrow, right, I had a hiccup there. <laughs> <laughs> we just glitched a little, everyone. No worries. Uh, got you. Yeah, we have bracket play. We have bracket play extending here at 6 p.m. today. And don't forget, the OT7 championship is here. Or the OT7 championship in June. One of these teams is trying to punch their ticket to that OT7 championship. We have 10 slots remaining. One of the teams that wins this divisional here is going to punch their ticket to that championship. Tom, how you feeling? Right, so one of the teams, who, whoever wins this divisional between today and tomorrow, they'll automatically go. But then we'll still have another seven spots. So these teams have to build their resume. So even if pressure doesn't win the whole divisional this weekend, if they just win a few games, maybe they build up a resume, you know, we take into account that they have great owners. It is a million bubbles on the field right There's now. There's a lot of bubbles. Someone is blowing the, throwing the bubble gum around right now. Um, oh, but, but teams don't have throw. to win to be able to get to the to the OT7 finals in June. Yeah. So let's build that resume up. This is their last chance. Last this chance. is their last you. chance. 12 teams are going to the OT7 championship in June in Los Angeles. I cannot wait oh, to yeah, be I there. I said seven more teams. I meant nine more teams. Yeah, nine more teams. My nine math more teams. is off. I'm like, I'm like the referee here. You know? And we do have trouble counting. That's one thing that we, we the blitz count, the downs. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing that we, that we love here at OT7. KJ Lacey. There you go. I'll tell you what, man. He has a, he has a hell of an arm, but he yeah. does throw some risky throws. Right yeah. like a lot. It's a tight one, man. 19-18, three minutes left. Let's see what they can do, man. Even if they do score, they're giving EPS Blaze a lot of time to answer, man. So let's see what they do. See, this, is where I, this is where I get in the clock management. Yep. It's just if they're, if they're marching down the field, I'm just going to let them score. I'm one of those types of guys. Why is it just never easy for pressure? It, it can never be easy for him. <laughs> yeah. 1,001. It's because it's never easy for AJ. That's a real thing. The script isn't made. Oh, cool. touchdown! Touchdown! Oh. What a catch in the back of the end zone! Even Appy running back from Mobile, Alabama. Touchdown for pressure. And they take the lead right back. One point gamble. Are you not going for the one point gamble here? I'm going for the one point gamble. I don't, I don't know where they're not going. 24 19. I would definitely go for the one point gamble. I want to go up seven. I mean, I want to go up seven. One million percent. Yeah, I think I'm, they should have went for it there. I'm definitely going for the one-point game over there. Well, they do not. EPS Blaze on top of it. Oh! oh. Should have been intercepted there. Oh, oh my goodness. Man. Helmet came Jeez. off and everything. He's he, devastating. They had to help him up off that one, bro. I would have need help. You would have had to cart me off. Oh, my leg. Something would have happened. Oh, hey. man. Oh, oh dang. He needed that ball, one, bro. Ball, ball. I, let's take a look at the replay here because I think... I think he honestly could have got to this. I'm not going to lie to you. Man, that was so tough. I would have faked the injury, bro. I ain't going to lie. If he had Kawhi Leonard's <laughs> hands, like had the length of his hands, That's true. fingers, I think he would have picked that off. You ever see Odo Beckham Jr.'s 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, hands? Oh, I haven't. 1, 2, that dude's got huge hands. Oh, oh my God. 
Yes. Oh, what's we going heard on today? Man, that he puts EBS Blaze in a really tough position here. Third down. Pressure still has one of their blitzes yeah, left. They do. You got to use I'm it. Uh -oh. Pressure. Uh oh. One pressure get it pressure. done. They do. Third do. down. You know the pressure's do. coming. Do. They got a blitz. Can pressure bring the pressure and win this game? Uh, <laughs> they're under a lot of pressure. But oops. They are under a lot of pressure. Come on. Hey. All right, come on. We bring go. that blitz. Let's go. Come on. Oh! oh. What a killer penalty! Uh, Just a few yards, though. We're good. We're yeah, good. Say. A little two. That's a five-yard penalty. They're gonna replay the down. It's good. a third We're down, but they good. are they are out of blitzes. What a uh, hey, phenomenal play call there by EPS Ways. 40, 48 seconds on the clock here. Come on, one stop. Carson Boy, what can he do? They got no third blitz down. no more though. It's here. Oh, oh, man up in the middle, God. and he picked up the first oh. down. EPS way still alive. Oh, 30 seconds. Oh, Only 30 man. seconds left Come in this on. game. Come on, pressure. See, this is why I would have gone for the one-point gamble. I, I know. I don't get it. I know. I don't get it. They got to get a stop here. They got no more blitzes left, guys. Trust in the defense here. EPS way is dropping back. No more blitzes. This what I got for the middle. Oh, Touchdown. he got it. It's remaining. Does pressure use their timeout? Oh, you have to. Yeah. You have to. Oh, man. Hey. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not hey. again. Hey, I can see it now. I can see a shot in the end zone right now. I can see it. I, I can't. Oh. Uh, they, okay, so look, this is what I'm doing right here. You do have a huge target. You got TJ Moore. EPS, I feel like the tallest this happened play. to them in Orlando, man. Oh, it did. I feel like they like ah. Oh. You gotta you gotta wonder. I'm not gonna blame D. You gotta wonder if AJ's bad luck. They don't. Uh, it might be AJ, but it's all good. AJ will just leave and make another team. <laughs> a wee wee elite. He's not gonna. Oh wee wee. No no no. I'm <laughs> so like I'm I'm throwing a TJ Moore right here. That's the only thing I can do. They have 15 seconds though. 2003. Ooh. Deep shot. Yo 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 yo. the greatest catch I've ever seen. That was the most insane catch at the very end of the game. Three people Incredible. around him. <laughs> Pressure wins this one, 31-26. I told you I saw a shot there. We have so many more games coming today, including another game with Pressure later on. Thank you guys for watching. Come right back, we're not going anywhere. Let's go.
All right, Joey, you're running a button hook, all right? Tommy, back quarter fade. Billy, you're gonna pump fake and then hit. Coach, you don't remember my name, do you? I got 12 touchdowns this year. That's a rookie mistake. You're gonna hit Nick. Nick, that's who you're gonna hit. Snickers, the official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a quick timeout. Getting a stop on D is all about handling your matchup and trusting your teammates. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Stay tuned for more OT7. Welcome back, welcome back to the OT7. We here in the North Division in Baltimore. It's your boy, Snapper Jones. I'm here with Overtime Day, and we just seen the best catch of OT7 history, bro. That was an unbelievable finish. What a catch. I mean, 15 seconds left. You think the game's over. Reach back like one three, like one. <laughs> what a play to end the game. Hey, listen, the entire game was so good. I mean, it was a lot of a lot of drop passes, yep. a lot of fumbles on each side. It wasn't the prettiest, yeah. but it ended in the most epic way. Of course, you know, Coach OTB, they had destroying AJ. I feel like that team has such an arrow on their back just by being such big people in the culture. Every team treats it like their Super Bowl, and for them to actually take the challenge, win that game, insane. It's hard to have a target on your back when you're, I mean, we see in every single sport, and I think you're right, especially a team with that kind of star power, teams are gonna bring their best. That is how you respond. What a game. This place is buzzing. It is. This place is buzzing. There's a crazy energy here. We've got another great game coming up. Uh, and we got coach. We got coach from Team Toa coming in, man. Appreciate overtime day. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good, good. Hey, we got coach Nick, man. How you feeling today, man? Solid, man. Enjoying this weather out here. Hey, listen, I've heard the rumors of how big you were, and it was an understatement, my guy. You are swole. But you got a big game coming up right now, man. Let me know the mindset going into it. Oh, man, keep it simple, man. You know, we got to get right, get our mind right. Uh, and we're just going to come back to and put a good show on for y'all. What's been your overall experience here at the OT7, if your mind be asking? Man, that last game. That last game, that hand topping, man, it's great. That's why we're here, man. You know what I mean? Enjoy all the, all the big plays and all the good top-notch competition. So you got a big, heavy debut today, man. I do want to ask, what's the game plan going into it? Because this is the last opportunity to make that championship run. Yeah, shit, put up numbers. Put up numbers. But hey, y'all heard it here first. Good luck today, man. I'm gonna be rooting for y'all. I'm gonna toss it to my boy Day. I'm gonna toss it to my boy D. Let's get it, OT7, baby. Welcome to OT7 season two. It is OT7 North and we are live in Baltimore, Maryland. We've had some great action all day today. And now we have New York Hustle versus Team Toa. I'm your man, Overtime Day. I'm joined by my brother, D Strong. Oh, man, what's good with it, man? D, D, not only are we matching, but your team, ooh, we'll get to your Bro. team in a second. Oh, my God. But, but first, what are a couple things that we should look for? So now we got his little brother, Madden E. Yamaliava Ball. That boy. They doing their thing, man. New York Hustle is the first team in OT7 representing the Empire State, and they looking to make some noise. That's my boys. I know you're from New York. That's my so boys. You better be rooting for them. You thought the broadcast was biased Ooh. when D is calling a Ooh. pressure game? This broadcast is about to be biased <laughs> when I'm calling a New York game. Oh, we're, we're, you're about to hear the horn. Let's get it going for D-Day. Tom is joining us. Let's get it going. Let's get it, man. Boy, my heart racing. My heart racing right now, fam. That was a crazy ending. All right, Didn't so, watch the last game, bro. All right, well, oh before we get into this one, how are you feeling right now, D? I feel good, bro. I feel good. I was a little nervous at the end of that game, but we ended up doing our thing. Was that one of the craziest that catches the best you've ever seen? Ever, seen? ever seen, bro. In, in a, a prime time moment, ever too. Ever seen clutch to win the game last second. That better be on sports in the top one. Da da da. Da da da. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll talk about that a little bit more later. We'll talk about that a little bit more later, but right now we have New York Hustle and we have Team Toa. Team uh, Toa. New, New York Hustle on offense right now. 1003, 1004. So I'm taking it, obviously you're biased. You're rooting for the New York team. But Team Toa is them, bro. Madden is looking pretty good. He's the next man up. 
Right. So if you've been following OT7 for a minute, like I know you have been, you remember Team Toa from last year, OT7 Season 1. And, uh, and Nico Iamaliava. Nico tore it up, bro. Nico Iamaliava had an amazing OT7 Season 1. He is now the quarterback at Tennessee. And his little brother, Madden, is a QB. But right now, this is New York. Now, here's, here's how the scoring works at OT7. It's a 22-minute running clock. Mm -hmm. Seven points for a touchdown, and then D on defense. How does it work? Defense get the 8-2, man. You get a turnover on downs. That's two points, and you get a pick. That's three, my boy. We'll get to the money ball in a little bit, but right now, Team Toa will take over on offense. So that's Madden Iamaliava, number 10. He is a four-star, and a lot of this team is, is in the Southern California area, a lot of Long Beach, SoCal. a lot of Losal. SoCal. And we saw a little bit of Madden last year, but there, this is his show now. They're not doing PJs this year. What's going on? No man? PJs. I was looking forward to that, too. I was looking forward, too. Oh, yeah. I really want to see what... Oh, he stepped out. I really don't want to see how Madden balls, because he, he's framing up to be big boy, yep. ranked. Yep. Doing his thing. Is he ranked right now or, or not? Uh, he... I, I don't believe he is. He's a four-star. He's class of 2025. Oh, he's he already up there. Though. He's already up there. He has <laughs> he offers up there. from uh, Tennessee, Pitt, oh, Georgia man. Tech, UNLV, Imagine running Imagine he Rebels. goes to Tennessee and just learns behind his brother. And and they oh, just have uh, E. Amaliava four years. Oh, my goodness. So be legendary. This is the fourth and final divisional. That's completed out wide. Oh, Oh, Stacy Dobbins right making him dance. I thought that boy was about to cook him, put him on skate. Stacy Dobbins, a three star who had. Punched it in twice. Low pro, low pro took the crown in Phoenix and Austin. And the Bishop Gorman QBs have looked strong, but we will now have a new team punching their ticket. I think it's going to be team pressure, but that's just me. Oh, what makes you say that's that? Just me. What makes you say that? Oh, they look pretty good, man. Yeah. You know, whoever's coaching that team, they awesome, awesome coaching staff, great players, you know. I don't know. I, I got a feeling. I got a neck. You know, I, I think they have the players. I'm a little unsure of the coaching staff, but they, <laughs> they, they, out, but, but, but they definitely have the players. <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. I'm still tripping on I that. I know. I'm, I'm watching you over here. You're twitching like Bugs Bunny. <sighs> bro, it's the last play of the game. It's like seven seconds left. I'm like, all right, we going to play, do some, go out of bounds. But I just saw a QB wind up and just whoop, let it go. And back there, I'm like, what the f what, what he, the, he, he threw the lollipop up there. The lo boy, that's a, you ever seen the really big lollipops? Ooh, Ooh, I thought he grabbed that. We got the regular ones, mm -hmm. but they, I'm talking like the big ones that swirl, the colors and all that. Uh -huh. Threw that up there, bro, went up <laughs> one-handed over three people. Wow. Hey, d and so happy. What's Tom. Up, Guys, how you doing? I'm I'm still I'm still shook. Bro, me too. D, you guys I'm couldn't be hear shook us forever. You couldn't hear us, but D, just so you know, I granted you a spot in the OT7 finals. Really? I said best play I've ever seen. You Here's automatically the blitz. get a you, you have to get a spot. You have to. You gotta get us right, man. And that's completed for a big first down for Team Toa. So you only get three downs. The first down markers are at the 25 and the 10 yard line. You also get two blitzes and two rushes a game. Mm -hmm. So we just saw a blitz right there by New York Hustle. So they'll only have one more. And that's a big first down for Team Toa. Yes, sir. That boy wearing caution tape around him. <laughs> that's cool. I mean, not the most creative, but. Interesting. Know. Interesting. It's, it's the thought that counts. 1, 000, 3, 1, Madden 1, dropping back. Oh, that ref is. Oh, oh my goodness. God. Oh, my oh, God. My. Oh, my God. What is Bro. in the water in Baltimore? These boys don't need two hands in Baltimore. Mr. C I was just talking crap about him. Too. Oh, my God. Hey. What hey. a catch. Hey. Oh, my God. Elijah Moore. Run it back. Run it back. Elijah Moore, the three-star. Let's take another look. Run it back. From Crofton, Maryland, the three-star says, look my one hand. Good job. Excellent. Oh, my God, fam. What is going on out here? 
Hey, hey, chat, real quick, let us know if you thought that catch was better or the catch by Kyan oh, Barry at the question. end of the pressure game. Chat, no chat let us question. know. That ain't even no question, because one, that was to win the game. Two, triple coverage. <laughs> you feel me? Like, come on. It was a great catch. Don't get me wrong. Amazing, phenomenal catch. But I think situationally. Yo, Tom, what's going on? Tight, 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 tight. Hey, hey, fellas, I'm down here with Elijah. Is that the You saw, did you watch the catch from D's team earlier? Yes, sir. Oh, so we had a game-winning one-handed catch beforehand, but do you think you got the best catch of the day, probably? Of course, I'm gonna get in the wall. Let me get some more. What's up with the, what happened there? Can you break it down a little bit? You obviously had a one-hand catch, but you thinking about it the whole way. What happened? It was scramble where I raised my hand. He see me, he made a great throw, great catch. So it was. We got posted on OT7 right now? Oh, yeah. What's that drink right now? <laughs> We're going by, all right, back to you guys. Let's get it. Man, I don't know, I'm a little biased. Great catch, bro, but what it, a catch. It, don't, it don't hit the same as a game winner, fam. <laughs> so Matt Avaldi in at QB right now for New York Hustle. Now, D, you know, you know just from us being friends and you and and You're New York, uh, my, 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 my content, but what he was out of bounds? Oh, man. I'm the most New York biased person Ooh, York in the whole guy. entire world. So I, I thought this was y'all's team at first, bro. I'm trying to make it my team. <laughs> I'm trying to. I was talking to them this week on DMs. It's, oh, it's, they're they're up this weekend. What's up with the unis? Can you talk to me a little bit about that? They they have the subway map oh, on no the way. unis. They they the rep in the That's four tough. train, the six train. They got the west side too. I love That's it. Tough. I love you know, it. I, I I drive my car around. I'm I'm a car guy. I, really you know what's crazy? What's up? I don't own a car. What? I live in the, I live That's in the city. Nuts. I don't, yeah, it not makes just sense, that. though. I, I wouldn't own a car either. Uh, yeah. Because then you got to find parking and do all this other stuff. You pay a thousand bucks a month for parking. Where do you I'm boys good. practice at? Do you have any fields in the city? You got to go to like top of a rooftop or something. Ooh, <laughs> I, I thought he snagged that. Uh, you know, up in up in, in the Bronx, there's more in Queens, oh, Governor's yeah. Island. Mm. But that's Team Toa getting off the field right now and extending their lead. We have 14 minutes left. It is 11-0, Team Toa. Who has got a donut on the scoreboard right now? Goose egg on the scoreboard right now. Zero points on the scoreboard right now. Man, Team Toa's looking good, though. I like how Matt, it's funny that his name is Madden, too. I like that. I know, that's hard. Born to be a football player. Born, Let's go. born. I wonder if his dad played Matt. Was Madden even out back then? 1,001, <laughs> 1,002, That's a good, uh, probably. Yo, definitely, actually, definitely. What am I talking about? Yeah, he like, what, 15, 16? If, he, if he's down. class of 2025, he's probably 16, 2007. Math, bro. I'm not a mathematician. Math. I ain't the, the a math mathematician. Guy. <laughs> oh, oh, we're having a syllable off again. All right, all right. <laughs> A I'm, not doing, I'm not doing this with you guys today. <laughs> okay. yeah, Tom's just mad he doesn't have the vocabulary of, of me and Z. <laughs> Tom ain't built like that, man. It must have been where he went to high school. I'm, oh, oh, man. man. Oh, he went to the same high school. He throwing shot. Oh, y'all went to the same high school. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was uh, the most confusing shade of all time. I hey thought man. he was throwing shots, bro. I'm also not built like uh, Madden's dad here. Oh, bro, he's big. He's big. <laughs> Madden's dad is a big unit. Oh, he gone. Was that not he three gone. seconds? Nope. Nope. That's a touchdown. And he's That's in. That's good. That's good. Kobe Boykin. That's good. See, now that I'm in this booth, I'm starting to understand why them, them seconds felt so long. Because the ref is going 1,001, 1,002. 1003, 1004, and then blowing the whistle. So I don't, you feel me? I don't know. He need to blow that phone. But we've had some refs in prior OT7s that have been quick with the three seconds. We need to have seconds. consistent counting. Mm. Every ref go count different. In the meetings with the refs that OT have, they need to tell them count the same way. Or have somebody else count or something. Or maybe like in basketball, how the ref will, will do the, the, yeah. the one hand out to the side. He's not doing that at all. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, fellas, I'm down here with Madden. You just in the phone pit? You're out of breath. It's pretty sweaty in there. I don't like it. I feel nasty. All right, man, you guys, is your first time at OT7 this year. You obviously were here in Vegas. How are we feeling about, uh, about playing up here in Baltimore right now? Oh, we, we, we're confident with our team we got right now. Uh, we're coming out hot right now. Striking. We're ready to win it all. I have to ask. We got no pajamas on today. Last year, that was all we had. What's the vibe? Just left in the last season, you know. Left, left that with my brother. That was on him, so making our own, making our new way. You're doing your thing, of course. We got to ask about Nico. Obviously, played last year. How's he, how's he doing? He had score right now. He's good right now. We just came back from a spring game. He's balling out there. Just have, have for my guy. Love it. I love it. Nico, uh, Madden, doing your thing. Nico doing his thing in school. Back to you guys. 
Thank sir. you, Tom. Saw a nice first down completion there for New York Hustle. Looking bad for New York right now, bro. It's 11-0 right okay. now. Not pretty. Oh, oh never mind. Man. Dude, he had that. Just out of reach. It's actually 18-0, brother. Intended. 18-0. That's true. I forgot my last brother. one. Intended for David Rodriguez sitting on offers from, from UGA, Michigan, Penn State, South boy Carolina. Don't know how to count. He went to the same high school. <laughs> Tom for show. Sure. You know, <laughs> me making fun of Tom just came to backfire on me. That's that's how it goes. That's how it goes. He wins one game at OT7. Of course. Dumb. Duh, come on now. <laughs> I mean, if you, it, I it, wouldn't, I didn't even want to have the headphones on while my game was going on because I know y'all was going in on. No, yo, we were so supportive. I swear. I don't believe it. Oh, I thought we had another one hand grab. Back to David Rodriguez. <laughs> that sounds like you lying, Tom. <laughs> No, we were so supportive. We were very supportive. I mean, look, Kieran and Sniper could have done a better job. <laughs> it's Murray, funny, because Sniper be making it seem like he don't be talking, and it's all the people up here. So you're like, bro, I know, you yeah. know they're talking right now. <laughs> Snipe is all smiles and dapples. I know. <laughs> Snipe, man. Let's see what these New York boys do. We need to get on the board. Hey, I watched a New Jersey team earlier play well, but New York, not really known for their football. Yeah. We did one-on-ones out there, and uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know my thoughts on it. Big third Little down wheel. here, yep. taking a shot. Ooh. Oh, in and out, just out of the reach Gotta be quicker than of Lamar Stevens. Uh, excuse me, of Tajay Schulters, and that will be a turnover on downs. Look at Goose egg on the board for Team Toe. Take another look. Uh, Dia looked a little bit out of the reach. Yeah, close, but not there. Okay. That is. Ball. Now, I missed you guys' intros, but I just want to let you know, other than pressure, I said that Team Toa was my sleeper pick to win it all this weekend. Team Toa's good, bro. Yeah. Very well-coached team. They got a lot of hey, talent. Obviously, ball. they have a great quarterback, so I see they're going for the money right now. What is the money? D, the money, money drive. drive. Oh, you want to tell them? Well, I'll, I'll take the first. Have you take the money drive. You hear you hear the cash register. You see the Johnny Manziel money hands. You see the gold football. That means it's the money drive. We have special scoring on the money drive, which, by the way, each team only gets one per game. D, talk to me about the scoring. 10 points! If you get an end zone. Mm. A 10 piece chicken nugget. Mm. What? Defense catch up. Oh, he, he ain't getting it? Oh, still running free! Oh. Daylight for Team Toa! <laughs> and Stacy Dobbins <laughs> has him on skates. Mm. As I was saying before, bro got cooked over there. <laughs> If you catch a pick on defense instead of the usual three, you get six. And if you get a turnover on downs on defense instead of the usual two, you get a whole four. So the money is on the flow this drive. Team Toa going for the kill shot with eight minutes left. This, th this would make it a 30 nothing game. Madden looks in complete control right now. Jesus, I'm still thinking about that catch. <laughs> Me too, honestly. Over the middle. See, that's, Too slow. That's so inconsistent. That, that felt bro. like a quick three yeah. seconds. That timing is inconsistent. That was intended for Elijah Moore, who made the second best catch of the day so far. Second best, yep. Second best catch of the day. Yeah. Hey, that. He knows he held too long. He held too long. Nah, come on, Riff. Yeah, it's all good. Mr. Zebra Can't talking back. Boy, talking like he had the barbecue right <laughs> <laughs> He's strutting around back right, there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Who got the reels? Who got the reels? <laughs> the, way, the way he turned around and strutted towards the bench, saying, hey, you know. 1,001, Madden dropping back, looking over the middle. <laughs> but now, he's feeling it right now, boy. Now Madden was saying, yeah, that was definitely three seconds on that, that one. one. Yeah, that was that too one slow. Was, yeah. That one was, yeah. Brings up a third down here for Team Toa. Okay. I gotta watch these tour boys because we about to play them next. So to make it to the championship, you have you have to win an OT7 divisional or be one of the teams chosen. Both of these teams, it's their first OT7, so they don't really have the resume yet. Do you think either of these teams could win it all this weekend? The only one that makes sense is Toa. Look at the score. <laughs> True. Ooh, in and out of the hands. Seems like he only got one target. Mr. Caution tape. Mr. One Hand <laughs> Bandit. Tack money on drive. four for New York Hustle. And I mean, you got to assume they'll use their money drive Sir. here with just over six minutes left. <laughs> Sir, it was comeback pretty, season. It was pretty interesting that Toa used their money drive. Usually when teams are winning, they don't use it. 
But I like that. I love it. Yeah. I like that because you, you, you have to go for it there. Hey, pressure makes diamonds, but also burst pipes. Stick around for pool play finale with my friend Destroying. You may have heard of him. AJ and Team Pressure Elite taking on the loaded Cali powered team. It's all going down at 4.30 Eastern. Strap in. Get it, man. I'm ready, bro. Indeed. I thought uh, it was going to play Toa, but, you know, Cali Power, they won They won the last game. I think it's actually at 4 p.m. Cali Power, they won the last OT7. Cali Powers look pretty good. Oh, uh, they lost in the finals. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, they lost. Now, they got there. They was looking good. They had a great run, and then they lost to DEF CON down in Orlando. You're right. You know what? We're going to hold it down for DEF CON. We're going to hold it down Drop for DEF CON. That's completed to Richard Perkins. Now, it's the money drive here, but they're down big, and they need, not only do they need a touchdown, they need it quickly because they're going to need two more possessions if they want to come back in this game. Mm, yeah. Back it up, back Look, it, up, it, up, it up, makes sense. They score right here. here. Defense get on defense. Get to pick. Right they down yep. by one. Yep. And they just do what they do. They got to score. Pick and a score. They need score, pick, score. Yep. Back up, White. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. See what New York. The New York Islanders. The New York Islanders. Nah, the New York Rangers. Come on, taking a shot. No. Incomplete intended for Israel Geraldo. Now, Geraldo, Her Geraldo is the only Geraldo. offensive player with a star Geraldo. for New York Hustle. Damn, they don't get stars out in New York. <laughs> and he's tatted up. <laughs> they don't get no stars out in New York? No, you know, he, he's that, actually right? from Providence, Rhode, <laughs> Rhode Island, too, <laughs> which is even a worse look for my, oh, for my New York man. boys. Damn. Make, yeah. Hey, we got a player on our team from Rhode Island. I'm going back to the record our boy from Rhode Island, he he be balling. We call him Rhode Island because we never met a Rhode Islander before, but he be balling, bro. You know, our producer KJ is, went to school in Providence, and he won't yeah. stop about Providence talk. So and I, that's all I hear about. Is there even anything in Rhode Island, producer? Nah, he said. Nah, there's he he, he out said, there. yeah. He said, go Friars. He said, he nah. said, go Friars. That's his answer. Go Friars. <laughs> Oh, man. First Friars? down. What you, what's even Friars? What that is? <laughs> that boy just said the best beaches in the country like he'd never been to Florida. Y'all's water is freezing. Y'all's water is dirty and freezing. <laughs> Chat, what state y'all think got the best beaches? Florida or Rhode Island? I see. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I guarantee 99.99% .99 of the chat ain't never even been to Rhode Island. Chat, so I, chat I wish I could chime in, but but D and our producer are just going back we, and yeah, forth. And you, and you can only hear one side of <laughs> we the go, conversation. We going in, my fault, y'all. You're, 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 you're wondering who D's talking to. <laughs> He's <going> just... <laughs> <in>. <laughs> the chat, got, man, we lost some Wi-Fi out here on the laptop, man. One, I can't even read the two, chat. Yeah, it's been in it. Ooh, oh, picked oh, off. It's over. And okay. that is six points, pick. and that might do it for New York Money Hustle. Drive pick. Lamar Stevens, class of 2024 from Downey, California, I'm gonna put a chat stamp on, on the win. So I can see it. I'm trying to put a chat up on my phone, y'all boys. D, it feel, now, not on that one there, but it feels like for New York Hustle today. Everybody's saying Florida, sorry. <laughs> everything was out of reach for these wide receivers yeah. for New York Hustle. Yeah, it's looking tough for New York, my boy. You sure, you still on that team in New York? Look, man, I've been a I've been a Knicks fan for 28 years, so I, I'll stick with my guys after a team Toa loss. Damn, man, and just smack somebody in the head with that ball. <laughs> he just smack somebody in the face with that one. That was intended for Zacharias Williams, three-star class of 2024, sitting on offers: Colorado, Florida State, Arizona. Wow, we, we have a we have a Baltimore DJ. Did you hear that, T? What he said? He goes, we got two, two minutes two, left. Two minutes. We got two minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chat, I got it up on my phone now, so I'm reading. If y'all wanna, you feel me? Show any love. I'm reading the chat. I'm responding to y'all. Oh yeah, good ball. Over the middle, complete. Oh, great ball. That, that's Aldrick Harris, the three star. Now he's been balling at OT7 balling. this whole spring, but this is his first time with Team Toa and. I mean, you add you add this guy to an already stacked team for Falling. Team Toa. Dangerous. Falling. Yeah, bring it over here. We've seen Elijah Moore today. We've seen 
Zacharius Williams, Stacy Dobbins has had a couple big plays. Team Toa can make some noise, and I think they're going to have to make a deep run if yeah, they, if, if they well want to go coached. to the championship. Very well coached. they got a great team, great quarterback. How tall do you think their coach is? I give him a good 6'6", six, six, at least. At least. At least. At least. That's Harris. 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, yeah. First down. Somebody Just. in the chat, Hollywood asked me, what's your favorite team? Come on, bro. What kind of question that is? Who's, your, kind of who's question your favorite NFL that? team? I don't have one. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. Yeah, I don't have one. I'm still trying to figure out who my team is, bro, but every time I start room for a team, they start second. So. I, I feel like you're a players guy. Yeah, yeah, not definitely. I like to call myself a professional bandwagon. Yeah, you're a, you're a, you're a diplomat. You Whoever just, in the Super Bowl, that's who we rule for. You, you play nice with everyone. <laughs> Yeah, man, you know, I got love for everybody, man. Yeah, I don't have love for the Philadelphia Eagles or Dallas Cowboys, I'll be honest. I got love for everybody. Did pressure win? Yes, we did. How did y'all win? What happened? <laughs> uh, Tell the people. I don't know, man. No, I'm playing. Bro, it was a crazy one-hand snap, but well, I'm still thinking about it. Last minute, full field, triple coverage. Ooh. Whoa! He's not even Wait, that playing. Count. He not even playing. <laughs> He's a snapper. No way what that counts. What was that? No way that counts. Overtime, if y'all no let that go, bro. <laughs> Overtime, if y'all let that no go, touchdown. bro. No touchdown. I was no about touchdown. to say, fam. Tom was, no Tom was going in and, and doing his best investigation. <laughs> I'm going to ask him what he was doing. What was he doing there? Hey, you know, he was just playing ball. He come out here to have fun. He come out here to have fun and play ball. Playing against the top niggas in the country. That's funny, bro. All right, all right. That is funny, bro. Somebody asked Dustin Fletcher, D, you gonna hit him with the Snickers ASMR today? Oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's, coming. it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Team Toa wins this one big over New York Hustle, but do not go anywhere. EPS Blaze Midwest Boom coming up next. OT7 action from Baltimore. Carry on all day for Tom, for D, for Day. Don't go anywhere. OT7 action all day long. Peace. Review the ruling on the field stands. Clean catch. First down. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It's following me on IG, so clean catch. Gotta remember to turn your mic off. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OG7. Overtime Tom here for a quick timeout. Getting a stop on D is all about handling your matchup and trusting your teammates. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Stay tuned for more OT7. Welcome back, everyone. OT7, we're out here in Baltimore. I'm Overtime Tom here with my favorite coach in OT7, JR Midwest Moon. How are we doing? Hey, we're doing all right. We're 2-0. All eyes on the prize, trying to finish. Now, you guys, you won't get into one OT7 division earlier in the year, so we got to win this one. We got, we got a loud DJ. Oh, we got to win this one, though, if we want to get to the, to the OT7 finals in June, right? Yep, we're, we're 22nd right now, so we have to win if we even want a chance. All right, and tell me, who are some of the players that have been doing a good job so far for you guys today? Amarion Stewart's been playing lights out. Talon Taylor, Alessio's been throwing dots. Luke Williams had a huge interception in the first game to help us win. So all defense is doing, doing their job. And tell me a little about the quarterback, Alessio. You mentioned him earlier. I feel like he doesn't get the, the love that some of these other quarterbacks get. He's always throwing dots. Yeah, when you're in Illinois, it, it's, a, it's a grind to stand out as a quarterback. So he's been in our program forever. He helped lead St. Francis very high in the playoffs, so he, he's doing his thing. It's going to happen. Awesome. And EPS Blaze, they lost a heartbreaker earlier. I don't know if you heard about it, to, de to destroying Steam. I did see that. The one that caught it was, used to be one of our guys, so um, they might get beat by a boom twice today. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And, Coach, tell me a little about Midwest Boom as a program. You guys have been around for a while. You started it. What's the whole story behind it? Yeah, we just started. It was backyard football, just like we did in the day. And then we're sick of playing each other. We came together and said, let's take down the nation. People sleep on Illinois. That's why we call it boom, because if we want to get where we need to be, we got to make noise. So explosion, boom, loud explosion. Make noise, take home trophies, get offers. All right, and last question. Can I get a score prediction? I'm going to say 47 and a half to zero. 
47 and a half to zero. Call the game after that last point, just because then we beat the brakes off them, and they're just going to do 47 and a half. I love it. I would root for that, Coach. Good luck. Okay, great, baby. great fit as always. Thank Appreciate you. you. Good luck the rest of the right, way. Thank you. See you, Coach. Midwest Boom, Coach Jr. The team that does more backflips and front flips than any team I've ever seen. Can't wait to see them. They're going against EPS Blaze. My man Sniper is going to come hang out with me, of course. But EPS Blaze, obviously the team of Dask Prescott. EPS Blaze, they stink. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They lost that heartbreaker. I was about to say, it's the second time I'm saying the team stink. That's hilarious, bro. EPS Blaze got some. They got some potential. I'm excited to see what they're going to do if they're going to take advantage of the moment. I think that they're going to lose. Uh, yeah, yeah, and also our producer, KJ, he wants you to lose. He says he's tired of hearing about you, and he wants us to throw it back to destroying an overtime day. So from KJ and overtime Tom Sniper, uh, D and Day, take it away. There's a boom versus EPS way. See you, man. Good, good talk. Good talk. Welcome to OT7 Season 2. This is the fourth and final divisional, and we are here in Baltimore, Maryland. We've had great action all day, and today it gets even better. Midwest Boom versus Dak Prescott's EPS Blaze. And D, I could not be more excited for this one. Ooh, nah, it's gonna be a good matchup, man. We need Dak out here one time. We do need We need Dak. him calling the plays, bro. We need Dak out here big time. Now, EPS Blaze had a tough L to my guy D's team earlier, but D, what are some things that we should look for in this matchup. You should have watched that one-handed catch one more time. But mm. let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. 904, Tavis Metcalf just recently committed to the Arkansas team, and he's ready to show why he's not the only big-name player in his family. He's a cousin of DK Metcalf. Boom's offense is loaded, but don't sleep on their defense. Boom just won a shock Dr. National Championship and are ready to add another trophy to their case. You already know, Boom, they be turned up. They be throwing the money. They be doing the boom bit, whatever. I ain't going to say it. Coach turned up. Everybody turned up. I think, I think, I think turned you up. just said it. Nah, that's it. <laughs> Said B-I-H, Florida slang. This is the last <laughs> chance for these teams to punch your ticket to the OT7 championship in June. You're about to hear the horn. Boom's ready, Blaze is ready. Let's get Let's to it. Get it! I want to see if Metcalf brother like that, man. Let's get it. You got a name like Metcalf, you better be out there doing your thing. You better be. You better be. It is EPS Blaze with the ball 1001, first. 1,002, 1,003. Ooh. Oh, my god. And goodness. a drop. Hey, D, wait, wait, D, can I say one thing? What, can you, D, what do you want to say? Two words. Grand boost. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you know we've been doing these broadcasts you together that, for a long time. Where I'm watching, I'm watching, you know, XFL, other games, and then I see a drop, and two all I words. see is you saying two, two words. words. Out here plugging a product I don't Two even have. Words. We you, gonna get you some. Yeah, bro. I got a whole get box right. at the crib. Get I would right. travel with them, but it would take up so much space in my luggage. I got like a whole yeah, big yeah, box. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why you can't, you can't bring a pair of gloves. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm talking. Mo I want to bring multiple. You know. <laughs> that's just get the box right shipped out here, fam. That now we're talking for LA in, yeah. in June. Yeah. Now we are gonna make sure we got a box of grip boost out there. So if you're in LA at all and you want some grip boost, make sure your boys come out mm -hmm. to the you know the championship. That was complete over the middle to Elijah Garrick, class of 2024. Uh, he looks great in Austin. For OT7 South. Oh, they're bringing pressure. They're coming. Here they're come. coming. Showing blitz. Oh. And we got a false start. Mm. Ah, 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 ah. So that is, uh, especially on third down, that is a loss of down. It'll be a turnover, so two points. D, run us through the scoring. The scoring is simple, my boy. On offense, if you score, you get seven points. You have the option to go for the one-point gamble, which is if you make it, you go up to eight. If you don't get it, you go back down to six on defense. Turnover on downs, you get two points. Pick, you get three. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of one-point gambles, have nah, we? Nah, they, they don't really. Unless you need it, I don't think these teams is going for it. Right. That ref, boy, he counting. Yeah, quickly. Oh, that boy counting, counting. Desmond Jefferson on the count on the catch. Counting, counting. So Alessio Milivi. <laughs> Milivio Jevich. It's impossible. Huh? That's a tough huh? one. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. That I'll was my, first, that was my first one of the day. That was my, hey, you heard how well I was pronouncing Madden E. Amaliava's game. I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm gonna get it. It's fair. You've had a lot of practice with that one. You've got the call. Let me have the win. E. Amaliava for a couple years. 
This is your first time saying his name. First time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, let me have the win. You're right, but let me have the win. Hey, you did a good job, though. You did a good job. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's we Mario just ask him. We need Tom to go down there and ask him how to pronounce it. I will. I will gladly do that. Kieran did not try in the first game, so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use his last initial. Melivio Jevich. Dang. All right, Tom, you're, you're going to have to get on that for me. But with that last catch, that was a Marion Stewart four-star wideout. You probably know him at this point because he has looked unbelievable this spring. Every single tournament he's played in, he's looked great. A&M and Georgia both offered him this month. Mm. Class of 2024 from Illinois. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Taking a shot, Alessio. Maybe I just call him Alessio. Alessio. That's there what I've been doing. It's smooth, right? Here we go. We could give him a nickname. Alessio. Alessio. What is his first initial of his last name? I got name? you, baby. M. Oh, nah, I was. Uh, A.M.? Nah, that's kind of weak. That's kind of weak. That's kind of weak. That's kind of weak. Let's go that boy, Alessio. 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 Alessio, Alessio. So it has been really a three headed monster for Midwest Boom. Amarian Stewart, Talon Taylor, and uh, Josiah Edmond have been unbelievable for this boom team. This boom offense has been running through, running through defenses all spring, and it's going to be a tough test for EPS Blaze. EPS Blaze has given up close to 30 points a game at OT7, so hands full right here. And on the run, Jeez. Alessio. And they gave him oh. the greatest catch Was he not ever. touched? Nobody touched him. Oh, touched my them. God. Tack on seven. Oh my God! Alessio nimble-footed. Alessio, I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna go ask him in a second, okay? Tom, ask him if he got touched too. Ooh, that boy's shifty, man. That boy's shifty, man. Hey, Tom. I can move. They say I'm pro style. Bells, I'm down here with Alessio. He's trying to tell me he's a little, he's fast. A little bit. I'm fast. They call me pro style, but I can move. Do not, do not let him yes, lie to you. I can move. I can him. move. He is him. He is him. He just saw it. No, he's him. He just cannot move. Ain't nobody fucking with Alessio. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, this is Josh Allen right here. 1,002, 1,003, uh, Did you get touched, though? No, not at all. <laughs> swear, swear on your life. On my life. On God. Put it on Steve McGee. On Steve McGee. On oh, Steve McGee. Ooh, All right, Steve last question. McGee. They want you to uh, pronounce your last name so we can say it correctly yeah. in the broadcast. Milivojevic. Huh? Oh, yeah. One more. Say the full name. Alessio Milivojevic. You got a middle Milivojevic. name? Milivojevic. Nikola. So give me the whole name. Alessio Nikola Milivojevic. D, did you get that? Alessio Nikola One Milivojevic. One more time. Milivojevic. Alessio Nikola Milivojevic. Milivojevic. Hey, he's got, he's got wheels. He's Milivojevic. got wheels. Back okay, I guys. got it. I got it. Alessio Milivojevic. <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Milivojevic. <laughs> Milovoyek. 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 Voy? Milovoyek. No, that's what one he said. Feet. Bro, that's what he Voyvik? said. Voyek? It's a different language, bro. I don't know how you be pronouncing it. Interesting. That, so. Interesting. Interesting. Either way. Where are you from? Russia or something? Uh, I don't know. Milovoyek. Probably <laughs> Polish. He, you know where he's from? What? He's from Whedon, Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Whedon, Illinois. Milovoyek. It sounded like he said Milovoyek. Showing blitz, blitz, bringing blitz. Okay. Throws it up. Pit. Can't Pit. do that. Lay. Can't do that. Oh man. Tap on three and Midwest Boom is turning up on their sideline right now. Mm. They can talk it and they can walk it. Midwest Boom up 12 and uh and the, all the pressures on EPS Blaze right now. Do you think uh, do you think t pressure the coach, Did, signed, coach the signed the ball, Make brought sure it back. Knows. Do you think pressure uh, killed the spirits of EPS Blaze? I definitely think so. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, We said all they hopes. Milivojic. Touch! Oh, Except oh, they're dime, saying it's dime. a sack. That's crazy. What a dime. Them. What a dime. Amari and Stewart reeled that in what easily. A dime. Also, I made a mistake earlier. That three-headed monster is Amari and Stewart. Talon Taylor and Luke Williams, my bad on that there. But sometimes you just got to take it yourself, too. And if our team didn't do it, that, that play definitely did. <laughs> just now <laughs> took the hopes out of EPS Blaze. Uh, we, we got a baby costume here. D, what are your thoughts on that? He always dressed interestingly. Is this your favorite one of his costumes? You got another baby outfit, ain't it? 
That's the same one? Oh, he, he did have the chef one before. Yeah, the, the, I like the chef one. Yeah, the chef one. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,000. Uh, they got some one-on-one -on -one stuff going on inside. I, I don't, something about... A baby versus Eli Manning. Something about grown men dressed as a baby, right. though. I don't know what it is. He said he about the baby Eli. <laughs> oh, man. I want to see it. Throw it down. But you don't want that. He talking about me. <laughs> I jammed that boy so hard. Easily. This brings up a big third down for the EPS defense, who badly needs to get off the field. Now, EPS Blaze is is coached by Dak Prescott. I don't see him. Where's Dak? I don't see him. Where's they, Dak? They put their name on a, on a team, but they don't really be doing no coaching. Hey, fellas, I just in the huddle. We got four verts here. Four verts. So All right, Tom, what's your prediction? Is it going to Stewart, Williams, or Taylor? Well, out here on the, on the wide side, number six, I had no idea what the play was the one second ago, so I'm not going to go there. I'm going to one, one of the slots, one, one of the slots. Oh, I'm wrong. Damn it. There we go. Oh, Jesus, what a terrible ball. Turnover on downs. Turnover on downs, guys. It's a big stop. Do it to the sidelines, way out of bounds. If the field was about 10 yards wider, it would have made sense. <laughs> but. Mm. Mm. Hey, this is four. Midwest Boom, 12. Midwest Boom, 2. 12 to 2, guys. 12 to 2, Midwest Boom on ahead. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. We really have right. these refs mic'd Bro, up today, what? huh? I'm Bro, saying, that boy crazy. in my ear, I'm a... I'm a dream about 1,002, 1,002 <laughs> all camera, night man. tonight. Well, look, you guys weren't on for the first few games. We had a counting problem the first mm. few games. The refs kept messing up the downs. They were messing up the sacks. So Jeez. now we're we're over uh, we're overdoing it. Tom, you just got to go out there and ref, bro. I said that earlier. I actually uh, I didn't vote for me. I voted for Day and Snipe, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to volunteer myself for that role. But someone should do it. A former 2010 1, soccer ref of the year, overtime day. Oh, Get in and oh out of the God. hands. Oh, my. Chat, let him have it. Two of them. Drop them. Well, now he is now he is limping. Let me know the two words. That was, that was, he, that really did. That one hand. And it, his hamstring yeah, got pulled. We got this. Oh, man. Someone in the chat, a rush said, someone tell these refs to count slower, please. Next year, we better see a clock on the sideline. That's a good, you feel me? Maybe we have a whole play clock. The thing is, the team. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. I can't even think right Thrown now. over the middle. Yeah, Touchdown. Oh, yeah. E. Oh, yeah. S. Oh, yeah. Blaze. Just Blaze. You going to go in the pit? Huh? Two people win. Alley oop. Oh. Ah, hey, that was hard. The no. reverse slam. I ain't going to let that hard. Now he can't get out the pit. Look at him. He's stuck. That boy is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and he lost the ball, too. The throw oh, and the catch, ball, too. Desmond Jefferson reels it in and then throws it up to Jalen Bardley. Take another look. Wide D, open. he was wide open. Wide, oh, I don't know if it was a blown coverage or what, but. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. drops back. I completely botched his name on that one. <laughs> Carter Stare with the catch. I think what we need to do is put a ref right by the T, because the T makes noise after, at four seconds. Like the ball, once you remove it, it starts a timer that will do a little like. You want to mic up seconds. the stool? Low key. <laughs> Not I a bad idea. To you, no hate to the ref, but it's low key better to mic the stool up than the ref because he. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three. One, two. <laughs> Look at how he's standing. He's standing cool as hell too. That boy's smooth. One, yeah, one, he one, is. Two, he's feeling good about his call so far. Lessio over the middle. That's complete. Yeah. Amari and Stewart. How does that usually work? If you got four seconds to throw, is it 1,003 beat or is it 1,003, 1,004 then beat? I, I think we need middle. one of those rules That's officials, like, yeah. a, like, a, like a Gene Serator yeah. or something, you know? Yeah, someone that, yeah. I don't know. Not, yeah, I don't it, know. It, it, right, is it on? Though. Right. I don't know. Oh. I mean, because then if it's 1,000, 1,003, 1,004, then beep is that's technically five seconds. That would be right because you're counting it twice. Yeah. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Oh my God. Quick. The county is Stewart caught inside, inside the five works. yard line. Be a new set of downs for Midwest Boom. I'm going to be trying to sleep tonight. It's going to be. <laughs> I know, bro. <laughs> I'm about to stop watch this one. I'm about to stop watching. <laughs> Let me see. Questioning the counting. 
<laughs> they, I'm up here hating in the booth. <laughs> you guys want to see Midwest Boom make it to the OT7 finals in uh, June? I feel like they're they're a good candidate. I would. I, I feel like I've seen them a lot, so yeah, it'll be dope. They bring good energy. I feel like either they win or they lose close games. They're, yeah. They've had a good resume. They've gone on a couple deep runs here at OT7. I think, hold on after this play here. Ooh. That'll bring a sack, second down. I think, of course, if, you're, if you win, you're in. But I think they also have a pretty nice resume going, going to the semifinals yeah, how many, how once. How many people are making it? How many teams? 12, 12 teams, 12 teams make it. Ooh. DEFCON and LOPRO have already punched their tickets. And pressure. <laughs> Hey, that catch, we gotta be in now. Uh, they're in. We gotta be in there. I, I'm, I'm saying that I run the committee. Okay. Pre Tom is the committee. Appreciate you. <laughs> a one-man committee. <laughs> he runs the A one-man committee. <laughs> ah, social media gets one pick, and I pick pressure. Mm. I think I think everybody one online will pick one, us as well. Lessio over the middle, touchdown. Ooh, Mid touchdown! West. I see a lot of guys on the Blaze team hanging their heads. Alessio, pronounce uh, your name again. Alessio Nikola Milivojevic. There you go, Dave. Milivojevic. Like Milivojevic. What? Uh, why are you eating up the last beat? Milivojevic. Milivojevic. He didn't say it. He said Milivojevic. No, he didn't. I swear, bro. Tom, what do you think? Is it Milivojevic? I thought it was more how D said it, honestly. Yeah, Milivojevic. But I'm right, not, I'm not right, sure. Right, Tom. No. Honestly, don't know. <laughs> money drive! Money Back drive. Time, let them know what the money drive means. Each team boy. gets one money drive a game. You see the gold football. 1, 000, 2, 1, 000, Hold on, over the middle. Oh, Incomplete. Yeah, got you hear the cash register. 10 points if you score on the money drive. Four points for the defense with a turnover on downs. Six points for the defense with an INT. Mm. Big possession here Big for money. EPS. Just blaze. Bit money. We'll see what they got in the tank. Seven and a half minutes left. Milivojevic. Milivojevic. <laughs> there we go. Milivojevic. You know there what it go? is? Down I, one, I, I wrote down the yeah. pronunciation as he was talking, and I think I wrote it down wrong. Ooh, that's oh, that's a flag. No flag. Oh, man. No flag on the play. That's no flag. <laughs> oh, bring up a big, big third down no here flag. for plays. That looked like a that was no flag. I don't know. I'm gonna side with the rest. Let's look again, though. I need to stop questioning the rest, man. I, 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 I don't mind that. <laughs> the refs work very hard going to refs, mm -hmm. man. You know me? Huge third down for EPS Blaze. This is their money drive. They are down double digits, and they need some points right here. Looks like Midwest Boom's gonna blitz. Let's see. Flag, 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 and there flag, flag. is a false start. Why are they still playing? Inexcusable oh, false start, and that is a turnover on downs. Ooh. Ooh. That is the second turnover on downs off of false starts. Bro, they never don't jump. They always jump. Yep. Yes. <laughs> So a reminder, in case you haven't realized now, lost it down on a false start and an untimely one for Blaze. First round of bracket play starts tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern and resumes tomorrow morning. It's a last chance for one team to punch their ticket to the championship in June. Who's it gonna be, D? Who? Who? Oh, pressure. Pressure. Catch all the action right here on the OTC oh, channel to wow. find out. And Ooh. Midwest Boom is stacking the resume. Boom is booming these boys right now. George Dimopoulos, Taxon 7. Where is that safety at? See, what's crazy is Midwest Boom has these three four star receivers and Taylor Williams and Stewart. And that's Dimopoulos' second touchdown of the game. So you try to stop those three, mm -hmm. don't blink. They got another can one, I, too. I'll tell you guys what happened here. Tell happened, me. brother. D's team stole the soul from EPS. Right. That's what I'm saying. They snatched. Mean, like, snatched their snatched whole the life out life. the boys. <laughs> this they team came in. This team, they might not show up tomorrow. They came in so excited. 
They played great against pressure and have not brought their A game here so far. They ain't been the same ever since. Hey, I don't Nothing them. was the same. <laughs> Nothing was the same. Put yourself in it. their yeah. shoes, though. Like, you think of this game sealed. Seven seconds, we good. I don't blame them. It threw up a lollipop. A lollipop. Man. I don't blame them. Snatched the soul out of them boys. I don't blame them at all. Chat, what y'all got for me, man? What y'all got for me? I'm reading the chat on my phone right now. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Cannon Mana looking to run. Excuse me, Carson Boyd. So, so it's been it's been a slow day for the EPS Blaze offense. We know that they're better than this. They, they, they've had a tough morning so far. I wouldn't we, say that. We, no, they, <laughs> they, they look great in Austin. Carson Boyd, number one QB in Missouri. Did you know that, Tom? <laughs> Tell me, Tom. I don't know Tom. any quarterbacks in Missouri. Did you know that? I haven't talked about a quarterback in Missouri since Chase Daniel. Oh. Oh, he knows The name so. pull. Okay. I don't know if he's from Missouri. I just know he played quarterback for Missouri. Yeah, I was going to say, okay. I have no idea. Okay. Somebody in the chat, Kane Kuanohala, said Blaze is getting smoking. <laughs> smoking. <laughs> you giveth, you taketh, you smoketh. Hey, the good news is JR, the boom coach before the game, he said they were going to win 47 and a half to zero. So EPS Blaze is doing better than that. And a half? Yeah, Tom, he's, yeah. where is it? Tom, <laughs> how, long, how long do you think you could last in a fight with JR? All right, so here's the thing. Me and him wrestled last year in Vegas, and I was scared, but his oh, knees man. are not what they used to be, man. I can get him down, yeah, actually. You just take him out of the knees? Yeah. He's, he's actually like a teddy bear. Boy, looking to run. That'll be a sack. Oh, this ref. Why is he wrestling? This is, this is, uh, Ed, Tom, who's an NBA ref who loves to take control? Tony Brothers, there you go. Yeah, I'm more of a Tim Donahue fan. Scott Foster. <laughs> you say Ted Donahue. <laughs> Right I don't know how much I don't know how much of our audience understood that reference, but if you got it, you got it. Well, I'll, if you watch our OTE broadcast, I'm more of a fan of the refs there. <laughs> you, you say crazy stuff to the OTE refs. Well, one of them spit in my face. Yeah, and, and you know what? I don't know if I blamed him. You took that type of disrespect. <laughs> well, it wasn't on purpose. Mm. And I, and I, I kind of liked it. Sure, sure. <laughs> About to drop a yo. We got a money drive. Alessio <laughs> looking to pile drop, it drop, on. Taking a shot deep. Oh God. The money. Touch oh down. God. Boom. Touchdown. Oh Talon Ooh. Taylor. EPS Blaze is getting smoking. Oh, hey, oh. Hey, it's getting smoked. 42. 42 42 on the board. And you know what, though, D? In this kind of thing where you need to build your resume, you ain't pile it on, you know? Yeah, boom is building, for sure. Because things like point differential, wins, how you doing pool, all that matters in your resume if you don't win one of the divisionals. It is looking ugly right now. Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, fellas, I'm down here. Fellas, I'm down here with Coach JR. You guys are smacking them around. What's happening? Uh, we wanted to finish. We've not finished in years past, especially OTC, OT7, so our priority right now is to finish. Now you told me it would be 47 and a half to zero. It's 42-9. What happened? Quinn Loki! Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to hurry up and get this half point. I want the game to be called right when we get the turnover so we only get a half point. Okay, and last thing, Destroying says that uh, he wants to know who would win if me and you fought. Uh, yeah, really you would win. I'm an old man with old niece. That's what I said. You're a teddy bear. <laughs> Back to you guys. Well, always trying to put me under the bus. Oh, man. I said that too, and I was like, say that great. I, I appreciate saying, saying <laughs> D. I was like, what? Destroy. As soon as you said, Destroy, one Destroy one says I'm out. Oh, what's he going to say now? <laughs> Pick, ooh. Nearly picked off by Midwest Boom. Blaze Coach JR. Play. Coach JR is coaching him up like the score is 0 0 right now. Blaze don't even want to play right now, it seems like. People in the chat are asking, when does pressure play again? Can you tell us, Mr. Day? 4 p.m. Eastern. 30 minutes. And I'm in his booth, but y'all know it's biased. It's going to be, I'm going to have biased. I'm gonna have to strap you to this chair and here I'm and not let you walk whole around. Time. Whole time, I'm on my feet, brother. In Orlando, when when your boy, when pacing. your pressure boys, you were pacing. Oh, pacing the whole time. Looking like Tank Davis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Boom, Speak, uh, speaking good. of which, and we're in oh, Baltimore God. right now. How many rounds are you going with Tank Davis? Zero. <laughs> I need signing up, fam. <laughs> I ain't that dumb. How many rounds are you going with Tank Davis? 
uh, two because the first round I'm just gonna run around the ring. Bro, he gonna find you. I'm gonna, the ring is not that big. I'm gonna run around the ring. Smack Tank in the face. <laughs> 42 <laughs> crazy? Point, I, I wasn't even going to acknowledge. I didn't even know that. Uh, sorry, yeah. 44. I wasn't even going to acknowledge yeah, Tom nah. saying he's going to smack Tank in the face. <laughs> yes, that's nice. I want to see the rematch. Boom drops 44 points on EPS Blaze. A smacking here in Baltimore, but do not go anywhere. We have OT7 football all day long, and we have the Legends versus California Power coming up next. For Tom, for D, for Day, stick with us. OT7 Action from Baltimore up next. Peace. Gotta keep your challenge flag somewhere safe, coach. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a quick timeout. Getting a stop on D is all about handling your matchup and trusting your teammates. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Stay tuned for more OT7. What is going on, everyone? Overtime Tom here. We're down here. We're out here in Baltimore for OT7. I'm here with California Powers. Coach! Coach, how we doing? Doing good, man. Happy to be out here. Now, you guys are about to play in a little bit. We'll talk about that, but how's the day gone so far? You guys are 1 0. Going good, right? I mean, anytime you get a victory, right? That's the whole goal, right? To win, right? I think we came out strong first game, first couple drives, and then we got a little complacent, right? Finished a little flat, right? But that's on me. So. I appreciate that. Now, you guys coming all the way from California. I know you got guys from all over the place, but you guys played in uh, Orlando a couple weeks ago, OT7. Couldn't close the deal. What do we got to do this week to kind of make sure that we, we punch a ticket to the finals? Yeah, just finish. Just finish. Football is an easy game. Us as human beings, we complicate it, right? So trust what we see as coaches and what we believe in. Find our identity early. Win first down, right? Make it simple for our guys and just simple alignment, assignment, football. That's it. Awesome, and you're 1-0 today. You're going against the Legends. Then you got another game right after. We'll talk about that in a second. But what do you know about the Legends? You ever play against them? Yeah, we played against them game two last um, last tournament. And uh, they beat us, right? And uh, sometimes it's like that. They just played better than us. They executed better. But here's the deal. They didn't want to shake our hands at the end of the game. So, hey, listen, win, lose, or draw, sportsmanship, shake your hand. They just didn't, they didn't feel it? That was it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I think there's some internal beef between our uh, five on five coach and their head coach because some of their players are playing with us. They coach at the same high school. Regardless, man, there's always love, right? You got to have sportsmanship. It's competitive. I get it. There's no love loss on our side, right? If they beat us, right, shake their hand, right? All right, well, I'm expecting you guys to, to pull out a win today then. But hey, a couple more questions for you. You're without CJ Carr, who played quarterback for you guys down in Orlando. Notre Dame commit. How are you guys going to make up for a loss and, you know, missing your QB? You know, obviously, CJ's played a lot of football for us, but so is Luke Fahey, right? And Luke Fahey is as good as anybody I've, I've coached. Uh, class of 2026, and uh, I've said it all year long, Luke Fahey can win his championships too. He's a great decision maker. He's very poised. The moment's never too big for him. And you guys ha haven't won a divisional yet, but you still want to make sure you make it to the finals. What do you have to... Do you think your resume is strong enough without winning this divisional to still punch a ticket to the finals in June? Sure, you know what I mean? But right now, I've just got to win this game. If I win this game, right, then I'll, I'll, I'll win the next game, and then you just go on, so on and so on. I'm not going to look too far ahead. Well, your next game is against Destroying's team and pressure. You got any words for them? I'm going to worry about this game right now. <laughs> All right, Coach, I appreciate it. Thanks. Good luck. Yep. Coach got a lot of beef with the Legends. I got a lot of beef with Sniper. Oh, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? What's up, my brother? How you doing, man? Well, you see, California Power, I just found out they got beef with Legends. They didn't shake hands in Orlando. Who do you, who do you like more? That's hard, because California Power, I think they nice. I think Legends, man. Yeah, I think Legends. So the Le Legends beat them. Legends beat them last time, and uh, then Legends decided not to shake their hands. So they won, and they disrespect them. So California Power trying to come out. They're without CJ Carr and Notre Dame commit. They do have Luke Fahey, but... CJ Carr was nice in Orlando. CJ Carr wasn't only nice. I felt like he did 
majority of the work. I mean, he was exciting to watch. He made a lot of big plays, and I think he was the main reason why California Power was even in position. So I'm excited to see whoever they got up next to see if they can, you know what I'm saying, pick up the slack for them. 100%. Hey, we're looking at the, the upcoming schedule right now. Right now we got California Power versus Legends, and then back-to-back, -back, the next game is going to be California Power against Pressure, the, which is destroying an AJ, Gray, AJ Green's team. It's probably the two best matchups of the day. We're saving them for the last part of a, a pool play here. California Power versus Legends, then California Power versus Pressure. What can we expect? Man, we can expect two hard-hitting hard -hitting games. I feel like it's kind of bad, though, because, like, they shouldn't have to play two good teams like that back-to-back. -back. Imagine, like, having to play both of these teams, Legends, then Pressure, back-to-back. -back. That's a tall task. They're going to lose one of them. There's no way you win. But if they win both of those back-to-back, they're my favorite to win the entire thing. If they can win both these games, I assume they'll be the number one seed tomorrow. Yeah. Now we talk about pressure a little bit, right? I don't know if D's listening right now, but I'm listening. But they had oh he's listening. They had that game winner. Was that luck or is that skill? Man, I'm gonna be honest, man. That's skill. I asked D, I, I talked to AJ, I said, even coach, OTB, I said, man, who should we look out for? And the man who made the catch was the man name who came up. The best catch I've ever seen in my life. In, he reached back like one three. Kion Berry is nice. I did teach him everything. I, I'm actually the person that showed him how to do that. He uh, he, was, he was thinking about me, which is really, really cool. Uh, just now, also, we are earlier we saw in that game, it was EPS Blaze against Pressure, and Pressure obviously won on that game winner. Uh, that stole the soul from EPS Blaze. They haven't been the same since. Yeah, man, I also think that Pressure going to use that momentum heading into the next game against California Power. They definitely going to need it. This team is a little bit better than EPS Blaze. They put more well coached. You spoke to you spoke to the coach, bro, they good on both sides of the ball. Defense, offense, they got some DBs that's like 6'5". They got some really tall guys. They're going to have to lock in if they want to win this. It's not going to be easy, but they can do it, though. I mean, we love pressure. D, we love you. We love AJ Green. We love the whole squad, but they barely beat EPS Blaze. And then Midwest Boom came out and smacked them. Do you think uh, the fact that D's team only beat EPS Blaze by one and then Boom won by a billion, does that mean pressure is also bad? Nah, pressure's just getting warmed up. Honestly, you know. Here we go. My guy. Yeah, no, it means they're bad. I'm not going to lie to you. I think oh, no, no, no. D thought you were saying positive things. We are a, a pro pressure I'm done with broadcast friend. booth, okay? I've been the only one consistently holding it. No, you haven't been. No, you that's a lie. We're saying pressure's good. When we're saying pressure's good, Sniper just goes on the field and then says that they're terrible to D to gaslight us. We, we say so much positive stuff about pressure. All right, so we got two games right now. We got California Power versus Legends. Make your pick. I'm going California Power. I think they're the favorite this weekend, and I'm excited to see what they do out here. Okay, I, I have Legends in this game. I think I'm going to go Legends just because California Power doesn't have their quarterback, and I'm not familiar with who's subbing in right now, so I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with Legends. Okay, and I don't want to... Uh, we're not going to predict the next game yet because we're going to do that in a little bit, but pressure uh, is going to win or lose. I got pressure winning. I'm going to go with pressure. Okay. All right, Snipe, you have to save your prediction. Y'all not okay. saying that because we right here? No, no, we didn't even see you, D. Right. We, didn't, we didn't see you. You know, uh, the game, I don't know when we're going to start the game, but it's going to be very soon. We got two awesome games coming up. First, we got California Power versus Legends. Right after that, we're going to run California Power versus Pressure. Then we're going to take a little break. Then we're going to come back and start the playoffs. Then we're going to play again tomorrow. But we did just watch Midwest Boom, who I love. Yeah. And they, they put the spank oh, in on EPS Blaze. You think Midwest Boom already did enough to punch their ticket to uh, to the finals in, in June? I think them not showing up in Orlando and Texas kind of hurts them a little bit, but w the way Alessio is throwing the ball, I think they might make it because I think they might win this entire tournament. They do the most flips of any team. 100%. Um, more, more though, I, I don't want to call nobody out, man, but sound mind, sound body. I've been going for y'all every single divisional, and y'all keep letting me down. I, I can't take it no more, bro. I'm officially done. All right, I'm a tuck and roll off the bandwagon. I'm jumping off. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be taking my talent somewhere else, man. I, I just can't do it Take no it more, to pressure. <laughs> yeah, D says you can take your talents to pressure. Yeah, man, you know, uh, I just might do that. I my just dog. might do that. My dog. I'm, tr I'm, trying to get a, I'm trying to get an assistant coach job anyway. <laughs> I've been over there ear hustling. You know, I know a few audibles. I know some of their plays. I told him to run one play. He said absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, he I didn't say, say that. that. And even if he said that, we'd talk. And, uh, <laughs> so he gave me a piece of paper that say, you are the coach with a dotted line. No, D also said he hates you. I can see that. I can see that. But, but hey, you know, hey, bring the best out of, you know what I'm saying, a working relationship. So that's all. That he's just trying to bring the greatness out of my coaching strategy. <laughs> D also said he would buy you a car. Oh, yeah, no, I know. I told, uh, Tesla, right Roadster, whenever it drops, we already got that thing pre-ordered. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I appreciate D. His wealth is my wealth. 
My wealth is, is not his. We don't have well, wealth. D is like the football's Mr. Beast when it comes to giving money. I mean, at this point, he's just uh, out here kissing babies, signing autographs. He's doing the whole nothing. Speaking of kissing babies and signing autographs, you guys are about to play uh, Legends here. What do we think? Uh, we can play ball. Ain't nothing much to say about it. If we're going to go out here, show up, do our thing, and go and get it to this game. How have you been playing so far today? Oh, got a pick first game for me. I think the second play of the game, on DV got a pick. I do, I do, it's like, it's a regular routine now. And right after this, you guys play against Destroying's team, Pressure. He can't hear you right now, but what would you say to Getting Pressure? Killed. What'd you say? Say one Getting killed. Oh, okay. That's violent. Yeah, that, um, uh, that was, that was, uh, that was let's, violent. let's hope not. I think, I think what's intense about that is you can't see his eyes. So I don't really know, like, what he thinking. He's a demon. Yeah, yeah, no, no, for sure. Let, let, let's stay, don't throw the ball to his side. Remember that number. Yeah, we're gonna stay away from him. That's my first coach in Audible. Stay away from him. Hey, good looks, bro. Yeah, also, <laughs> we've been to, uh, we've been, this is our fourth place. This is our fourth divisional that we've been to. We've been to Arizona, we've been to Texas, we've been to Florida, we've been to Baltimore. Now, I know you're from Texas, but what's been your favorite divisional so far? Favorite divisional, so uh, honestly, the, the most insane moment that we've had was a game that we just called, like, pressure against EPS. Uh, best divisional, though, I'd honestly say the Texas one was tough. Even, like, like just, okay, you're from Texas. What about you? <laughs> That's so biased. So biased. It's insane. <laughs> They got no fight. Nah, 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 nah. If I, if we had to pick any of them, without a doubt, it is Texas. Though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Texas, Texas was the best, man. It was super entertaining. The field was great. The energy was great. Texas, Texas will be number one. For I sure. mean, this is the longest we've ever gone without talking about Raw versus Chilean because they're not here this weekend. But Raw versus Chilean, obviously in Texas, they almost fight. In Florida, they, they actually played a terrible game, but Raw won again. Do you want to see Raw and Trillian get, they're not here to, they're not going to win a divisional. They're not here to officially get an automatic bid, but do you think they've done enough in all the divisionals we've seen? Raw first, you think Raw makes it to the OT7 finals? I definitely think Raw makes it. They made it to the, they made it to the final in Austin, and then in Orlando, they made it to the semifinal. They lost to California Power in a very close game. I think, yeah, they're, they're, they're one of the best seven on seven teams in the country. I think they, they, they deserve it. I appreciate that. Now, I see Legends is coming out now. I think that's because they just finished the game on another field. They got the Bubbles, they got the Kings. Now, hey, Trillion Boys, Coach Josh Stupin, the team from Cali, they come with all this money. But then they don't really they don't really perform. Should they punch a ticket? I don't know. But you got we in Baltimore. You gotta say it right, Coach Stupid. All right, so it's Stupin. Coach Stupid because we in Baltimore. But um, I'm I'm a real big fan of Coach, of uh, and, and, and I I do hope that they I, I don't see it happening though. I'm not gonna hold you. Trillion boy, they got a trillion dollars. We know that they are very rich man. But you can't pay to play out here, bro. You gotta lock in, Coach. Well, you could pay me. Oh, okay. Well. Well, we'll talk to him and send send him his money through direct deposit. I don't think I don't think I don't, I don't think so though, man. I'm I'm calling it a bluff. I'm calling it a bluff right now. And now Mike Ahado, he he plays for Chilean. He also is the quarterback for DefCon. So DefCon, they won DefCon Florida. They won the divisional in Orlando. And Micah played for them, but he usually plays for the Chilean boys. If you see both those teams make it to the OT7 finals in June, we see Chilean boys and DefCon quarterback Mike Ahado. Which team do you think he plays with? DevCon easily. DevCon show they can win. Trillion hasn't shown they can win. He, he also, Micah also told me that he would also play for pressure. Yeah, at this point, man, these hey, these dudes be switching up just like Kieran, man. Boy, you, know, you never know who, who who they going for or what, what team they playing on. If I was him, I would stay put. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. Y'all won. D didn't you just commit not but two minutes ago from SMSB? You just decommitted. All right. Well, the teams are finally ready, and so are we. We talked a lot about the OT7 finals that are coming up in June, but we also are talking a lot about California Power vs. Legends. That game is coming up right now from Tom, Snipe, Kieran, throwing it to Day and D. See you guys in a second. Peace. Welcome to OT7 Season 2. We are here in Baltimore, Maryland for OT7 North, and today we have an unbelievable matchup of one of the most the biggest rivalries from OT7 East in Orlando, Sir. it's Legends versus California Power. Sir. I'm Overtime Day alongside my brother, Young Destroying, and I am excited for this one. There is no love lost between these two teams. Whew. But you're still my boy. D, my dog. how are we doing? Doing What do we look bro. forward to today? Doing amazing, man. There's a couple of things to look forward to. First off, remember, California Power came super close mm. last OT7. But with no CJ Carr in attendance, Bye, he has all the QB reps to himself, but the team still believes in him and expects him to win. Legends is all business. They celebrate the game, but they don't get carried away. They're here for one reason, and one reason only, and that's to secure a chip. We're going to see if they do it, man. These two teams had an intense game in Florida. They didn't shake hands at the end. 
California Power went on to lose in the finals of the OT7 East and Divisional. Uh, the Legends lost in the semifinals, but right now it is time for the rematch. Play Without ball. to hear the horn, let's play some football. Here we go. Play ball. The Legends, why was they late? They was late to the field, fam. Very late. I think they were playing on another field. And Kelly Power got on the Lamar jersey back then. Mm. Oh, I love that. That is Luke hey. Fahey in a quarterback for California hey. Power. He was QB2. As you mentioned, D, CJ Carr was their QB in Orlando. I love it. But now they've got Luke Fahey and this California Power team, even though they didn't win. I love that he's not here. They're nasty. <laughs> yeah. We're about to play them next. As, as the coach owner of pressure, CJ Carr balled out. We're Orlando. about to start the biasness right now. Right? Uh, a game early. Right now. A game early. If you don't know, coming up next, we got Team Pressure, my own very squad, for California Power. So we out here scouting right now. If y'all have any suggestions, any cues you see on defense, offense, things we should look out for, let me know in the chat. I'm reading the chat all day. Them boys look like they can't even complete a pass, fam. Everybody's scrapped. So California Power in Orlando, they started out one and two, but then they went on a crazy run in bracket play. They beat SFE, Raw, Team Tampa, and then lost to DEFCON in the finals. Kind of similar for Legends, except they started out 5-0, and averaging almost 40 points a game. And then in the semifinals, they fell flat. So both these teams are looking for redemption. Both these teams trying to punch their ticket to the OT7 championship in June. This is going to be an intense game here. No, nah, it's going to be a really good one. Big so third far, down. So far, Kelly Power don't look too convincing, but it's early. Two so plays. Two, two plays three, in. Fahey three, dropping back over no. the middle. Oh, even that was a little, a little close. What a grab. What a grab. Dante Jackson. What a grab. From Hyattsville, Maryland. Nice grab, nice throw. Now bring up a first down. And they're moving quickly here, D. That's the first time he threw the ball in three plays. 1,002, 1,003. Over the middle, back to him, and complete. Oh, my goodness. Strapped up by Rod Ganey for Legends. Jose Colon in the chat said, D, are you ready? I've been ready. Bob was born ready. Boy, I see my boys way back there warming up, getting right right now. We ready. D, explain the scoring for us at OT7 for those who are just tapping in for the first time. If you just tap it in, man, look, the scoring is simple. On offense, if you score, you get seven points. You have the option to go for a one-point gamble from the 10-yard line. If you get that, you go up to eight. If you don't, you go back down to six. Oh, they about to score. Ooh, he scored. He what scored. a throw. What a catch. Score? Phillip Bell. He's out of the one. Out of the one. Down at the one. Mm. Okay. Luke Fay, he put that one on the money. Cali doing some now. But it, on defense, you got the chance to score as well. If you get a turnover on downs, you get a smooth little two points. But if you catch a pick, smooth yeah. three to the point system. You mm. feel me? Mm. Straight like that, man. First and goal. Here for Luke Fahey and the California Power Offense. They got a couple four stars, couple three stars to throw to. Let's see who he goes to here. Scraps. Throws it away. The end zone ain't that big, my boy. I'm already starting to buy it. I know. I you're, you're, you're antsy over here. Antsy. An are, are you scouting or are you, are you calling the game? I'm not scouting at all. I'm, I'm looking to see what type of you feel me. Defensive and offensive adjustments we need. So. Technically, yeah. So I, I think, uh, so what's going to happen? Coach OTB is going to come over here between games and say, hey, what should we look for? I got him on the phone right here. <laughs> <laughs> no. <okay>. <laughs> Kelly Power, man. I don't know if they just taking some time to warm up, but this don't look like the same Kelly Power that we saw at the at the last turn. Second and goal from the one-yard line. D chirping already. Fahey oh, looking <laughs> left over the middle. Okay. Scored on their first Derek try. McBall. Down. Okay. I see y'all, Kelly Power. Going, going. Back, back to, to Cali, Cali. 7 0. California Power. Four star Derek McFall puts him on the board first. Man, we are here in Baltimore. How do you think the Ravens are going to do, though? Man, they, uh, it, it took Lamar. And they got Zay Flowers, too? It took Lamar wanting more money to make them go get him more weapons, oh. too. And Odell they just drafted a dog receiver, bro. He is a route runner, bro. Zay? Yes. Are you, are you worried about his height? Not at all. 
Oh my oh, God. I'm legends about off Kelly to a fast start. Defense. <laughs> That's four star Isaiah okay. Williams from Tampa, Florida. Eating up yards early. New set of downs for Legends. Call, I'm about to call Coach Rule Pick. Hey, real quick. We picking on zero. <laughs> we gonna pick on him. No, I'm really watching right here. Just oh, I know you are. See what I noticed. You and I are calling Perfect two different play. games right now. <laughs> I'm not even here, technically. <laughs> not even here. Body's here, mind is not here. <laughs> So Terry Head in the third is the QB for Legends today. He is has an offer to App State right now. Ooh, they make Ooh, that is look he crazy. in? Is he Nobody in? Touched him. That's a skull. Is he in? That's a skull. No sign yet. That's a skull. No sign yet. That's a skull. What, what are they saying? I mean, That's these refs touchdown. There we go. Use it aside. All the these refs were just. They was looking at each other, and one was like. F it, I'ma throw my hands <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> all four of them just staring at each other. It's like Carl Lewis, touchdown legend. Sir, we got a game now. Seven up, no soda. Seven oh, up, no seven, soda. Seven up is a thing anymore. Is it? I was gonna say, I haven't played, I haven't seen one of those the in a while. The story. What is it? See, I got some of your squad over here. Hey, tell them boys I What's say up, I love. E? Hey, y'all boys do y'all thing, man. E, Let y'all boys. You talking right now? Yeah, Zach. Yeah, you said do your thing out there. Huh? You said do your sure. thing. Always. Hey, tell them watch, because we playing these boys right here. He also said you got to watch these guys because you're playing California Power next. So I'm doing right now. Sir. Sir. Right open. Defense Sir. Sir. Cover that this game, man. Sir. So tell them boys, make sure they lock in, bro. I got to be up here, but don't let me down. Damn, yeah, you ain't tell them, Tom. I, I said I appreciate you being locked in. OK, OK, OK. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I'm rooting for pressure in this yeah. next game. Yeah, pressure. I don't want to hear it. Tom, you're not saying it right. That's your issue. Yeah, I know. You're not, say, you're not saying like, it like Huncho. It's, it's really spelled P-R-E-S-H-U. Pressure. <laughs> pressure. 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 Hey, pressure. pressure. Out to the third, Luke Fahey back to work. You got to whisper it, too. Pressure. 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 I'm getting a little hungry. I think it might be time for that Snickers. It might be time for that Snickers. It might be time for that Snickers, man. Any around here? Any Snickers in the vicinity? Whoever, whoever's listening to this right now, two Snickers would be a, would be appreciated. Yeah, y'all know what's coming. Yeah, just it's two. time just for two. We don't need a third. It's time for Snickers uh, ASMR. It's time. <laughs> Them boys are spamming the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Snickers ASMR with Day and D, the segment nobody asked for. Malachi Power said. Deep. Cali Powers corner, Warren Zero, only played wide receiver last OT7. Now, he was back there at corner, too. I remember seeing him. Couple plays. Press. Press. Over the middle, wide, wide open. open. Oh, my goodness. And down oh inside the five yard line, Kylan Fox. You know, daylight to show. You know, he was wide open, but he could have scored if he just turned the other way. I think he was almost so surprised that no one was there, he yeah. kind of froze. D just can't say anything positive about Kylie <laughs> Power. Not duh. Come on now. <laughs> if so, he's playing Legends, it'll be a whole other broadcast. Guys, I got to ask the coaches this, but do you notice that California Power, if they get in the red zone, they change, they change play callers? No, I, didn't see I did not notice yeah, that. Yeah, they totally change coaches who call play once they get in. I think inside the 10. Red zone specialists. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think oh, NFL don't teams know. have red zone like strategy. Looking right, Fox, uh. incomplete. So what's interesting about Cali Power is so many seven on seven teams have all these star, star wide receivers. California Power is loaded at tight end and running back. Oh, what? Kind of different. So we saw that last touchdown for California Power, Derek McFall, running back. Kylan Fox, who just had the big catch. Tight end, these are both four stars, by the way. Philip Bell, he's technically listed as a wide receiver, but he's 6'3", 200 pounds. So six, this is three, this is a big body team, and they're they're built receiver. they're built a little bit different in guys big, and big and small. Coach said he's running the same effing play. Oh, nearly intercepted. Shouldn't have ran the same play. No, Didn't work. No, Shouldn't have ran the same play. <laughs> Intended for Tabari oh. Groves. Big third down mm -hmm. here. Big third down. Let's see what Coach got got dialed up. Bunch more. Hey. You gotta be outside. Hey, you're gonna be the point man in bunch. You're gonna run a shallow. Okay. You're gonna be outside of him in bunch. You're gonna run the end of the back of the end zone. You're gonna run the Texas from number three on the right side. Hey, you got corner. That boy got an OBJ jersey on. He better do something. Yeah. Fold it up too. I love the Ravens now. They're so no, cool. I think I'm gonna be a Ravens fan. Yeah, me too. 
a Raven. I've always been a Ravens fan, bro. No blitz. No blitz. Looking right. Oh! Two words! Chat! Chat! Tell him! Jesus! Hey, we need that. His confidence is a little shot for the next game. Let's take, take another, another look. look. Boy. No blitz. Boy. 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 Derek McFall inches away from his second touchdown of the game. Boy. Jesus Christ. I cannot believe ah. he dropped that. I'm stunned. Stunned. Ah, 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 ah. Now we know. Scouting report. Zero got no hands. But he already he, he already had a touchdown. <laughs> he already had a touchdown. Uh, no. And that's uh, Carl Lewis, who no, also has no. a touchdown over the middle. Jesus, man. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Going no huddle here for Legends. Jesus. And we have a 9-7 game. Now, now the pressure's on the California power defense hey, big hey, time. Hey, hey. The 1,001, 1,002, <laughs> 1,003. Ooh. Hey, that's and how you spin. just like that. Ooh. Legends. Ooh. To the pit. For seven. Ooh. To the pit. Ooh. To the pit. Ooh. They made that look easy, D. Oh, goodness. Legends is legendary right now. Dallas Wilson, the four-star, heading to Oregon. Class of 2025, too quick to cover. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if California could come out here and do something. They might. They back on. Oh, no, no money drive still. No money drive. Ten and a half minutes remaining. Here at OT7 North, we are in Baltimore, Maryland. D, it's also funny because you can tell that the rep is from Baltimore. Baltimore. Because he keeps going one. Two, two, three, two, two. Stupid. Why do Baltimoreans talk like that? I don't know. I, I was, that was a thing. I never knew that. Yeah, just listen to their accents, bro. Everywhere has their own little accent. Y'all know Florida's crazy. We got New Orleans. They accents be crazy too. Memphis, they say music. My what, music. What do you about New York? New York, y'all got a lot of things going on up there. So many two, different accents. Oh, time. Too slow. Two. Two. Third down. I was cracking up because my Giants drafted this guy, Deontay Banks, DB from Maryland, and he's clearly from Baltimore. And in his introductory press conference, he goes, let's go, Big Blue. Big Blue. Big Blue. <laughs> Big Blue. <laughs> and why is it only with, like, that, you that and O? Yeah. I don't know. Whoever's, whoever's oh, tapped in coming, from Baltimore, let me know. Blue. Big third down here for Luke Fahey and the Cali Power Offense. Well, shotgun, one, here comes the blitz. Two. Throws oh, it up. Lollipop. Honestly, it was a bad snap. Too Lollipop. far. Bad snap, bad route. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, legends. Yeah, Lollipop was not oh, thought, my boy. Legends are up big right now. Hey, I'm fucking right that. <laughs> Money drive. Hey, y'all, boys, it's about nine minutes left in this game. And right after this, we got pressure for California. So stay tuned. You know we about to do our thing. We scouting these boys right now. Terry has his third. Oh my Taking God. a shot, dude. Pick on zero. Pick on zero. Oh, man. Pick on zero. Oh, my God. Isaiah Williams. Oh, my God. Pick out the palace. Oh my God! Legends has Cali Power stunned. Let's look at that thing again. Take another look. Off the rip. They went for that money. We didn't even get a chance to talk about it, but tack on ten oh for Legends. My God. Money drive score. Tom, what's going on down there? Oh hey fellas, I'm down here with Coach, offensive coordinator. Right, you calling all the plays out there? Yes, sir. What was what was the move there? Hey man, you know what we just do. What we do, because the teams are used to us beating them inside. So everybody sucks inside. That safety kind of got snug inside. We just took our shot right there at the end of the game. Money drive, you just go deep right off the bat. Time, why not? Get it over with. Get it over with. Now, I talked to you guys. Your players are saying that California Power can never beat you guys. Is that a little beef? I wouldn't call it a beef because I'm not even sure where they're from for real. Because we're actually from Florida. So they're probably from all over the place. They try to get a couple of our guys, but it's cool. But they're trying to make their own narratives of what's going on. But we're here to play ball and punch our ticket to LA. Do you deserve a ticket no matter what? No matter what, whoever it is. Them, them, whoever. We're just here to punch our ticket and do our job. And last question, 
You guys played in Orlando. You didn't shake hands after the game. What do we got tonight? You hear how quiet they are, so they might they might want to shake hands now. Mm. In Orlando, they didn't want to shake hands. Mm. I thought they didn't so want we'll to see. shake hands. We'll see. Very interesting, fellas. Hey, Here we go. I, the, the rumor is that Legends didn't want to well, shake that, hands. That's what I was told. That's what yeah. I was told. I didn't want to press him on it. I might need some of the plays on his playbook because they're working right now. Ooh, what a grab. Uh, nice right. throw and catch. Bounce, Ooh, out of bounds. Out of bounds like intended for uh, Derek McFall there again. Now, Luke Fahey and the California Power offense are using their money drive, but at 23 to seven, they're gonna need a quick score here because they're gonna need another possession even if lot. they do score here. They're gonna need a lot, my boy. D, it feels like teams are being more aggressive with the money drive. Yeah. Are, do you think pressure's gonna be more aggressive with the money drive after this? Um, I hope so. I like using the money drive in situations where either you need it or you're just trying to run a score. What happened? That's a false start. Oh, false a score. false oh start. Oh my god. And with a loss of down with a false start, it is a turnover on downs. And legends are dancing on their graves. You just like scratching. It's kind of crazy, right? They like they like getting it's a real shot right here. We shot like dykes. Come on. They're talking Keep crazy up. and they're no, backing no, it up. It. Hey, where's the floor? Uh, scratch. It's a scratch. They got scratch. D, you're from Florida. That's very Florida. Thing. I didn't understand a word they were saying. <laughs> I, I got it all, my boy. I got every word. We need a Florida translation. <laughs> They came up to me and said, can we curse? I was like, that's one, one thousand two, one thousand three. Rolling right, oh taking God. another I shot. I was about to a little say. too far. Is this two chain jack at quarterback? Because they said he wasn't showing up, but this guy's got two chains on. This is Isn't Terry it? Head in the third, carrying on the legacy of two chains jack. <laughs> it's insane. Hey, guys, after this, pressure makes diamonds, but it also bursts pipes. <laughs> Stick around for pool play finale when D, AJ, and Team Pressure take it on the loaded California Power Team. They're not looking loaded right now, but they'll bounce back, or maybe they won't. It's all going down at 4 o'clock right after this. Lock in. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Now, got a flag on the play. That'll be an automatic first down. Now, D, I, I, I'm going to ask you to hold your bias for one second. Oh, I got you. But I, got you. I think if you're California Power and everything is going wrong for you this game, you got to, even though you're playing a great team after this, you got to be happy that you have another game right after on field one and you get a chance for redemption. Or would you want, that, if you're California Power, energy, to have more time because your energy is low? I think it would be good to get maybe a game in between just to talk about your mistakes, what you can fix. Yep. But now nah, they just straight to it. And pressure, boy, we coming with some energy, you feel me? So, oh, yeah, you said not be buying sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I, I ideally would like to take some time because they might carry the same energy over to the next game. So if you get a quick little 30 minute break in between, you kind of get to regroup, talk about the mistakes, fix them, and then you know, move forward. Maybe I'll tell Coach Ryan Porter of Cali Power that, that you were talking smack on the broadcast to get him up. Oh, oh. Incomplete oh. intent for Zach Carl oh. Lewis. Boys trying to talk they junk right now. Broken up by Marcellus Ryan, who, even though scoreboard. he made a great play, does not realize they're <laughs> yeah, down look, 25 look the points. They just all point at the scoreboard. Look at him. <laughs> Got a first down, pass the parents. What he said? We have a we have we have a scoreboard off right now. Both teams just pointing at the score. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that one. <laughs> I don't know what's going so, What they? Oh, is one trying to say is time left, and the other one's trying to say look at the I, score? I think the Cali Power was impressed that they've only given up 32 <laughs> points. 32-7 <laughs> ah, with just over three minutes remaining. Pump fake, oh, airing it out. A little much. too much sauce. Come on, 2 Chain Jack. <laughs> the long-lost brother of 2 Chain Jack. He had him, too. I love this coach. Let me end it with him. Denzel. A lot of talking going on. Let's go! I don't even know what's going on right now. There's a trick play, trick play, trick play. Trick play, trick play, trick play. Here we go, here we go. Two and a half minutes left. Let's see what they have up their sleeve. Here comes the blitz. That is complete. Are they going to give him the first down? No, they are not. No first down. It'll be a turnover on downs, but okay, it will be still two home brothers home. little. They're still <laughs> no, there's nine. <laughs> there's nine to thirty something. Right? Brother, it's not over till it's over, brother. Brother, it's about over. This was over like 14 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
D, I'm a little annoyed because earlier in the day, our boys, Sniper and Kieran and Tom, every game they called was a close one. Ours has been blowout. We've had some blowouts blowout here. City. You know what? The next game is going to be the same thing. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, do not forget. They, D, yeah, D. Nah, no uh, we're going to talk about it in the bridge show. We're going to talk about it after this. But. Ooh. Do you want to give a quick score prediction, or you want to hold on to that? I need a Snickers first. I need a Snickers. Yeah, we have not gotten a Snickers yet, so that Snickers. means you're definitely going to have to tap in with us yeah. for the game after this. I'm a little nervous right now. Nervous energy, big yeah. time. A little jittery. I got to pee, but I can't. Yeah. Same, same. All of us. Here we go. Taking a shot deep. Go to Odell. Luke Touchdown. Lamar, no, okay, OBJ. Odell. OBJ. And you know what? You know what? That is good awareness by him. To, 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 to shake, yeah, yeah, yeah. No <laughs> celebration. One point gamble, though. And here comes the one point gamble. <laughs> just, D, what's it, explain the one point trying, gamble for us. They, they trying anything at this point, but basically one point gamble. You score, you get seven points, you get the chance to go from a 10. If you get it, you go up to eight. If you don't, you go back down to six. So they don't want to make it a too bad of a blowout. But it's trying to make a shake. 16 to 32. So as a reminder, to make the OT7 championship in June in LA, you need to win a divisional. This is the fourth and final one. Low Pro won the first two, so they punch her ticket. Defcon won in Orlando. And that is a sack. So it will be minus one. And the clock will march on as this one looks like it's coming to a wrap. You know, I don't feel like myself right now. They just delivered a Snickers. They? They delivered Snickers? <laughs> I Tom delivered delivered Snickers. Snickers. <laughs> they. They. I got to give you a little hard time, bro. I got to give you a hard time, fam. Also, that was an amazing throw. It was. Great Left handed. Left handed. Left -handed. I had three Dude. Snickers in my hands, five in my back pocket. Oh, my goodness. But the clock is running down, so if you're ready for destroying Snickers ASMR, you better tap in with us to the next game. <laughs> you hear the horn. Ah, Legends again. are flying down to the pit, and the boys from Florida have put their stamp on OT7 North, winning big over California power. Wow, 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 wow. Legends big over California power and do not go anywhere because right after this, these very same California power boys are facing Team Pesci. Coached by AJ Green and Destroying. They are fired up right now. I'm gonna have to hold them back and get too fired up. Do not go anywhere for Tom, for D, for Day. We are here in Baltimore all day long. Stick with us. OT7 for Baltimore, next. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Clean catch, first down. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Follow me on IG, so clean catch. Gotta remember to turn your mic off. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a quick timeout. Getting a stop on D is all about handling your matchup and trusting your teammates. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Stay tuned for more OT7. Welcome back to OT7 North from Baltimore. <laughs> He's doing his best Ricky Bobby impression, just holding up Snick. <laughs> so yeah, I left him hanging, I left him hanging, I left him hanging. We have had a great day of football so far. We just saw Legends beat up on California Power. Who was before, that game? Before we get to the next game, what were your thoughts on the game we just watched between California lot, Power and a lot, Legends? A lot to a little. California Power don't look like the same team who came runner-ups last uh, tournament. I don't know what happens. I guess they were missing a quarterback. So, missing you know. CJ Carr, Notre Dame. Yeah, so, you know, uh, that probably had a big impact on them. And, you know, pressure. We played earlier. We got some time to get off our legs, get right. And uh, we have to play right now against California Power. So the last game, pressure Ooh. versus EPS Blaze Ooh. gave us one of the finishes Ooh. of the season the so far. One of the greatest catches I've ever seen at any level I of football. Barry. An unbelievable catch by Kyan Barry D. I like to call him Kyan. D, <laughs> what, what, 
break down everything from that Wisconsin game. Wisconsin commit, he's been him. He's been proving himself. Number 11, you know how I rock number 11. I love number 11. Mm. It was the end of the game, about 15 seconds left. They just put a dagger in us. We was down by I don't know how much. I think one point. Yeah, one we point, was down one, one point. point. And then 15 seconds left. They just called verticals, bro. And I'm thinking, we got 15 seconds. Run some to the outside so we could, you know, extend that, get two plays done. But nah, they was like, we're going to launch that. Quarterback, KJ threw that up. Hung in the air. Literally felt like it was slow motion. I'm like, what are we doing? No, no, no. That ball hung in the air bro. for forever. And then out of nowhere, I just see bro elevate. Just ah, snap. One hand over two people. Head top. And after that, bro, I just couldn't stop screaming, bro. My heart's still racing for that, man. A walk-off win. And I'm telling you, this guy had the jitters bro. for 45. My leg's his, still twitching. Leg, his leg was twitching <laughs> for, for 45 minutes after that game. Now, D, Whew. in Orlando for OT7 East. Yes, sir. You guys had a rough first day for pool play. Then you no, said you had a team meeting, and you guys came back different for bracket play the next yep. day. It looks like that was kind of the turning, that was kind of the yes, turning point. Talk about how that changed everything and how that's gotten to where you guys are now. Obviously, 7-on-7 seven is seven's a little different from regular ball because a lot of these guys, they don't ever really see each other. They know each other and stuff like that. Right. But they don't play. Quarterback don't got the timing right. Even on defense, you're putting a whole defense together randomly. So, yep. you know, we kind of had a little bit of hiccups at first. The guys weren't playing together. The energy kind of left the room after the first game we won, and they thought we was on top of the world, a lot of egos and stuff. But we sat down, figured out what we needed to do better, got to know each other, just aired it out, had good man-to-man -man conversations and just knew who was the best team. Out oh. We was the best team out there, but you know, it just ain't come together second day, but the team's looking a lot better now. Now, everyone knows team pressure mostly for you, for AJ, for yes, Coach sir. OTB. Two things, who are a couple guys that people need to keep their eye on? Mm, and I'm gonna need a score, a score <laughs> prediction too. A lot of people, uh, we got Zach Sample, he was one of my favorite guys. He tore it up at a Jackson State camp we had. We gotta see some more action from him, you feel me? We got. TJ on the outside, you throw any ball up to him, he gonna snag that. Obviously, we got Kyan Berry, that boy, him. On defense, we got some dogs. We, Y'all just gonna watch, bro. Y'all just gonna Score watch. Score prediction. prediction, a lot to a little, fam. A lot to a little, because Kelly Power, they ain't looking that big right now. So let's see it, let's see it. Hey, you're gonna have to tap in to watch. It's gonna be a lot to a little. He's, he's feeling refreshed with the Snickers. Do not go anywhere. Kelly Power. You want to say it? Pressure. Pressure. Coming up Pressure. next. Stick with us. Pressure. Pressure. Ah, ah, ah. Welcome to OT7 Season 2. We are in OT. Uh, it is OT7 North Divisional here in Baltimore, Maryland. What's that going on? They started the game before it even started? Yes, they just they want to do a one-on-one -on -one performance. What awesome. they got going on? It was on. sick. It was sick. <laughs> we got team D pressure versus D D Cali and I Power, were I don't know what they was doing. <laughs> we have California Power and Team Pressure. That's destroying I'm Overtime Day. These are two of the marquee teams here. Destroying Sir. Team Pressure versus California Power. D, what are some things we got to look forward to today? I got you, my boy. We got a nice graphic popping up on our screen for y'all. But KJ Lacey is the number six quarterback in 2025. He's stepping in for pressure this weekend, and my boy got a huge arm. Luke Fay, he will step up full-time duty with CJ Carr out for California Power, but he played really well in Orlando and is capable of taking over. 16 players in his game are four or five stars, but that's a lot, a lot of firepower. Most notably, Bama commit Ryan Williams, number one receiver in class 25, gonna be suiting up for team pressure this weekend. Philip Bell, number six receiver class 25. Ooh, we about to start. Just know we got some stars on the field, man. We about to play. I'm locked in, young destroyer. About to watch team pressure do it. Everyone is too excited for this matchup. They started the game while we're still doing the intro. D's eating a Snickers during the intro. All kinds of confusion, but the main event is here. Good California grab, Power Good versus grab, Team DJ. Pressure. And you're about to listen to one of the most biased broadcasts yep. yes, you've sir. ever heard Get in ready. your entire now life. I need sit down. The, I the chair's going. I, I don't know if you have a camera over here, but he's pulling the chair out. We, this is a standing-only broadcast, and right now, D's team pressure is on offense Get it, first. boys. They're missing my energy, man. I think that's one of the things that led us up too short last tournament. Your energy was where yeah, needed to be. I, I would have been down there with my guys. You know, I got to broadcast. I got to do my thing for y'all boys that's tuning in to the YouTube live. I would love to be down there on the field with my guys. But, you know, we got to work. We got to pay the bills. So in Orlando, 
you guys, I'm saying you guys is in team pressure for D. Uh, you guys had Big Merc at QB. Now you Jake have- Jake Merklinger. Now you have four-star KJ uh, Lacey, Jake, class Jake. of 2025. What are some things we should know about KJ? Now he got an arm, you see he's zipping it. Numbers, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, nice name. KJ, our producer's was, name, KJ, too. Dude, was that you recruiting him and getting him on the squad? Did someone else pull out his To be name, honest, I, I'm not in charge of the recruiting, man. You know, cool. if we really need to get a guy, I, I hit him up, but I'm, I'm not in charge of the recruiting, man. KJ is the number six QB in the class of 2025. And I'm just going to say it now. Tom, tell me if you agree. I bet you KJ Lacey plays baseball the way he throws a football. Bro, he Lacey. looks like a baseball Lacey. player. He got the he, long sleeves He on. looks like a baseball player, and he throws like a baseball KJ player. I'm going to predict that right now. Oh, yeah. Goes over the middle. That's in there. Inside That's the in five. There. Can we have that, ref? Can we have that, ref? Can we have? No way. That's four-star TJ Moore with the catch. He's sitting, okay, on, sitting on 45 offers, including Bama, UGA, LSU, Buckeyes, him. Boomer Sooner, USC <laughs> Trojans. He is him. All of them. It's like a competition with these boys where we got a group chat, and they just be trying to get offers to stack them up <laughs> and just get as many as they can. First and goal for team pressure. Reminder, it's a 22-minute running clock here at OT7. If you score at seven points, turnover on downs is two for the defense. A pick is three. Touchdown, team pressure. C.T. Gill for seven. Easy. D is dancing more than C.D. is, too. That boy C.D., man. The three-star from Mobile, Alabama, got wide open. C.D., man. <laughs> Let's go. He's got Let's offers go. to Tennessee, USC, UNC. 5'5", 150. D, are you not feeding these kids or what? Nah, it ain't my job to feed <laughs> They parents. <laughs> nah, he, he's small and shifty, but he gets the job done, bro. Let's see what defense comes out here and do. So for California Power, if you've been tapped into the stream, which I know you have been because you're watching right now, you, you saw a rough game for California Power, but you also know that California Power is one of the teams to beat here at OT7. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We just saw a really bad game from them, but you know firsthand how good these guys are. They don't have their normal quarterback, but what's your pressure level? You like that? You like that? Man, what's your no pressure level facing them? We don't feel no pressure, bro. We don't feel no pressure. We making diamonds today, man. I don't know, pressure burst pipes, but it also makes diamonds. So we making diamonds, my boy. I'm over here watching Coach react. Oh, no, you need a drop. Coach is one of the most energetic people ever. Oh, come on. We gonna let Odell do that? Go tag him. What we doing? <laughs> what we doing? That's, and by the way, first down, California power. No, hell not, not first down. Not fam. good spatial awareness there because first down markers are at the 25 and the 10. He was tiptoeing, dancing, prancing, mixing. Putting up a one all saying right first outside down. the 10. Just like a normal Odell. Why are they putting up a one saying it's first down? Hey, look, I'm I'm gonna call y'all on y'all shit. You they, they're now giving him the first down? down? I hope not. Ah, they Tom, not can be, you find out? It should not be a first down. I hope not. They're giving him a first down. How are we giving him a first down for that? How, is how is that down? a first down, fam? A second down now. That was how, first. sir? How? But they're behind the line. Yeah, the crossing line get first down. Exactly. Know, so crossed. why did oh. they get the first yeah. down? Oh, they crossed the first one. Ah, yeah. uh, they oh, crossed right, the 25. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure y'all so, know y'all P's and Q's. <laughs> so it's second and in inches here. <laughs> they just need to get to the 10-yard line, which is that red line on your screen. Mm. Now, All in right. at QB for this California power team is Luke Fahey. They had C.J. Carr, the Notre Dame commit in Orlando. Luke Bay, he very capable, though. There's a new set of downs for Cali Power. First down. So this Cali Power offense, as D takes a massive bite of the Snickers. Don't expect to hear D talk for the next two minutes. I'm out of here. Who gave you that Snickers? Thank you, Tom. Yeah. Uh, Tom, I'm ready for you to do an interview because I'm sitting here with this Snickers open waiting to take a bite of it. <laughs> I'm starving, and I'm waiting till you do no, an interview. We just had our coach flip for uh, California Power. Next. They changed coaches when they end the red zone, so here we, uh, here we go. I can handle it for you guys if you want to take a bite, but why don't you finish this drive? So this Cali Power offense runs a lot through their tight ends and running backs, so keep an eye on that here. 
Touchdown. Damn. Odell out of bounds. Touchdown. Cali Touchdown. Power. California. Oh, Odell wanted And a little down. dance for good measure, too. That boy is twerking, Woo. fam. <laughs> that boy scored a touchdown. He's still scored. dancing. The 15 second dance routine <laughs> overshadows the route. And we have a tie ball game here with 16 minutes left in mm. Baltimore. Let's see if pressure rises to the occasion or if they rise to the occasion. The and <laughs> no other alternative. All they, got alternative. Got they all got no choice, fam. Tom, I'm waiting for you to do an interview so I can take a bite of the Snickers. What's going on, Tom? Down, bro. Do your thing, man. Also, Tom, you need to find out about the Odell jersey and what number 1, he is under that. 1, 000, 2, 1, 000, 3, 1, hey, fellas, I'm down here with Quasi. Just scored a touchdown. Oh. First of all, what did you say? Oh, he's dropped the ball. Sorry. <laughs> now, my guys, D and they're, they're eating. So we got to talk for a little bit here. You just had a great touchdown. What happened down there on that drive? Man, so we drove down, um, got this little play. You know, you got to get in their head. So I'm just out there playing with them. So and especially that they got destroying AJ and Coach OTB. I'm just going to talk my stuff and get in their heads. Okay, oh, so you're in, you're in you D's head? Up. I'm already, uh, D's up there. Right, he, he can hear you, though. Is you, yep. Are you in his head? Hey, D, am I a 3.5 star? Nah. That's me? I'm the 3.5 star? 2.5. You said 2.5 now. Oh, 2.5. <laughs> right, I'm going to get that up. Wait, what, what's up with the Odell jersey? Um, Y'all gave me this. <laughs> just, just for, not forever, just for, for practice here. And, and you had your dance out there. <laughs> little dance move. What, what do we call that? Not dance. That's a, <laughs> if you look me up on TikTok, Quasi Gilmer, you're going to say I own that dance. So that's my dance. All right, Quasi's guys dance, you guys touch down. Hey, are we beating D-Shoring's team? Man, they sorry. Yeah. Did you see that catch oh, just now, man. fam? He said they're sorry, Did you see I'm that sorry. catch just now, fam? Come on, man. I think, how's that, how's I the think one of the crowd, the People Snickers is good. You miss, you miss the Snickers ASMR. <laughs> Quasi Gilmer with a touchdown. Now, he also had three touchdowns in the OT7 East semis in Orlando. So this boy, this boy feasts when, this, when the lights are the brightest. Taking a too shot much, deep, much, a wobbly too much, ball, a little oh. too far. Too much. Uh, hey, but I feel like I missed that. Did you early. call him a three and a half star D? Is that uh, what happened? Uh, maybe last time. Maybe. He I, took I that think. personally. I <laughs> know. He remembered. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Maybe last tournament. I he did. was like January 9th, 2013. At 2.06 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Come on. We got to complete that, y'all, boy. He's got four stars right now, and we got a big play here for the pressure offense. This is second down. Second down. Uh, second down, excuse me. Ain't no big play. No big play. It's no big plays. We got to get up. We got to get to the team right here. That's Tyshawn Dew's third down. catch. And they coming. They coming. Now they coming. they'll bring they the third down. So each team gets two blitzes and two rushes per game. D is screaming play calls from the booth. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Imagine, imagine like Chris Collinsworth or something yelling in plays from the booth. Crazy. Crazy. You gotta watch the blitz, man. So on either the blitzes or the rushes, you can't come from up the middle. It has to be from outside the hash marks. Here we go, third down. Stupid! Stupid! <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> Whoever's listening in the Steven. truck, next time, and I know they're all listening in the truck, next time we're calling a game where D is doing it, we need a camera on D the whole entire time. He's jumping up and down after that offsides, like a kid on Christmas morning You right guys, if people don't know, you guys are like elevated like six feet off the ground. It looks like D's going to fall off at any moment. <laughs> hey, I might, man. I just might, bro. Do we get a first down here or not? Nah? Still third down. Uh, yeah. Replay down. Here's the blitz. Oh, Knocked bro, both down. Okay. 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 So, big okay. stop. Big, big stop for California Power getting off the field. They do use both their blitzes. Okay. But okay. now the California Power offense will go back on day, camera. Yeah, yeah. You see, you see this man. This, this man. We don't need it. He, he, here he goes again. Here he, ah. I had to convince him to not throw the chair off the platform. Ah. That, feel, ah. that feels like a win. That ah. feels like a win. Come on, y'all boys. Come on, y'all boys. Need a pick right here. Need a pick right here. Need a pool. Fahey throws Ooh. over to the side. Okay. That's Derek McFall, four-star running back out of Tyler, Texas. Whew. Now, California Power has a couple four stars, but a lot of them are tight ends and running backs. Derek McFall is a running back. Kylan Fox, number seven, he's a four-star tight end. 
So this is a interesting seven on seven team compared to a lot of the other ones that we've seen here. Sorry, coach, I'm locked in, man. I'm right here, just watching the action unfold. Oof. Nine seven lead for Cali Power, nearing the halfway point here at OT seven North in Baltimore, Maryland. It's, the rain has held out. It's about 65, yeah, it 70 today. degrees. I'm in a t-shirt feeling comfortable, sweating a little. D looks like it's 40 degrees, shivering, <laughs> hoodie, hood over his head. Nah, man, it's just, you know, sometimes I get nervous and I get a little cold, <laughs> sensitive to temperature, so. Let's go, I had to put the jacket Florida on, boy, man. Florida man. Florida man. This is the fourth and final OT7 divisional for a chance to punch their ticket. Thank you to the championship in June. Thank you. Scraps. That's what I'm talking about. Now, D, how far do you think your team has to go? If not All win, the way. you think you think you guys have to win to All try to get that invite? Now, Tom did give you a... No, uh, no, no, they already got, they already got right. a ticket. I think we'll be good, but I'm talking like, we need to go all the way. There's no other option but to go all the way. I want to win. Oh, really? And we're going to win this one. Go to LA, do the same thing. Back up, coach. You heard it. You, there's nothing else for me to say. You heard the man. Fahey dropping back. Clock on, running out. Thank you. Turnover. Get us that. Thank you. And thank the you. pressure defense comes thank up you. strong. Oh, where, they got, what is that? What is that? Oh, we're still on the field. We're still on the field, guys. I don't know if I'm just nervous, but I am managing my downs right, right now. I could have swore that would have been a turnover on downs right now. Defense got to keep doing their thing, man. Defense got to keep doing their thing. What's up, Chad? I'm seeing the chat right now. I'm reading it right now. Here we go. On the run, there's the blitz. Oh, Throws it up oh, and man. wide open. Oh, Kylan Fox. That's terrible. That's terrible. Hey, That's D. That's terrible. What, D? That's terrible. What does the fox say, D? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't That's think terrible. you were going to say that. That's terrible. <laughs> we can't be doing that, y'all, boys. Nine. Defensive oh. breakdowns. A nine-point lead mm. for Cali Power, who, after getting spanked, getting crushed by Legends, is up by nine over D's team pressure. D, how are we feeling? All right. Got some things to clean up. Definitely got to do a few things better. But it's still time on that clock, baby. We AJ good. does not look happy, fellas. We good. See, we, that was a blown coverage, though. It's not supposed to happen. That's caught. So Kylan Fox, who caught that touch on four-star tight end from Loganville, Georgia. He has 59 offers. Golly, God. he plays tight end and D end. God, offers from Colorado, Florida State, 50. U. I mean, 59. I'm not even gonna. Is there even that you know, many programs out there? 59 programs. He's God. he's class of 2024, and he's 6'4", 210. That's a big boy. Lacy dropping back over the middle. I am, yes, sir. Oh, reliable. First down. Thank you. We'll take that. We need the money right now, too. We need that money, boy. So, Kyan Barry Johnson, he just committed to Wisconsin, D, huh? Sir, congratulations to my boy. I mean, he's about to get a Bama offer after oh, that. Oh, what? Camp. He's about to get every offer on the planet. Nah, because he's balling, too. Like, he's him. He's solid. Great route running, great hands. He was MVP at the last seven-on-seven on seven event he went to. Get in now. That's completed get in now. to the right. Get in now. Is he in? Get in now. Oh, these refs are slow on it. Slow. Give us a sign. Town at the one yard line, Man. and D is incensed right <laughs> Down at the half yard line. Can we get a replay? Can we get, get a replay? replay? Can we get a replay? Yeah, D looks like he's a little short. Gotta stretch, gotta the, ball. stretch the ball. Gotta right, stretch right. the ball. Story of my life. You know me. I'm a. I'm a. Uh, <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> Over the middle side. Yeah, look at that. Down. Zach. Better Russia. late than never. Oh. oh that boy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
Yes, sir. Zach Sample, the three-star Arizona State commit. He need more stars, man, in my opinion. But, you know, I'm biased. Just a little biased. <laughs> Can we talk about that throw for a second, D? You seen a little sign on the I'm telling you, around? I'm telling you there's no way he's not a baseball player. Put I'm, the camera I'm, on me. I'm, Put the I'm camera on me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say he's a shortstop. I'm going to say he's a shortstop. Put the camera on me. This is the motion right here. Ugh. Ugh. They're not going to put the camera on me, so I can. Looking like Jeter turning a double play right there. You see that? You see it? So 16 of 14 as D just keeps throwing double plays from, uh, from, from shortstop. Just like that, my boy. D, your boys need a stop right now. I know, they won't get one. Need a stop. Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, fellas, I'm down here with the QB, the man himself. KJ Lacey. Great, KJ, great ball there, man. What, what, what happened? Uh, well, I don't know. I think his name like Jaden, the uh, outside linebacker. He jumped in the air. And they already blitzed me one time. I tried to throw it over, okay. and I couldn't get it over. So when he jumped, I just went under him. So. I mean, we saw the sidearm ball. Now, D and Day, they're wondering if you ever played baseball. Did you ever patch my homes? What's the story? I mean, uh, I, you know, I didn't, like, test it and stuff. Like, my arms, like, my external rotation and everything, it's just, like, it's, it's like it's deep. Like, it can go wherever I want to throw the ball at. So whatever. So you just got a weird arm? Yeah, wherever I want to throw the ball at, uh, I can throw the ball from wherever I want to. That you didn't play baseball? No. Nah. I played for, like, one year, and, like, Fifth grade, sixth grade. That's D is mistake. losing his mind up there in the booth because he can't be on the sideline with you guys. We got a good vibe here. We all good? Oh, yeah, we straight. You Tell win? them boys, hold it down, man. You stop real quick. We're going to score again. Tell them boys, hold he it said, down, please bro. please hold it down, all right? Appreciate you, bro. Get that win. All right, back to you guys. That's yeah. Philip Bell with the catch. One Boy, of the four stars on this Cali Power offense. I had my external rotator cuff yeah. too. Football. Measured. Football has changed. What? Football has changed. <laughs> I never heard that. I didn't think he was going to say that. That that was that was a different kind of yeah. answer than you would have gotten from from high school athletes back in the day. <laughs> that is for sure. Oh, man. There's the that's, run. Oh, that's lame. Wow. That's terrible. Is he hit? He got tagged, He's man. down at the one-yard line. Reminder, you get two runs, two blitzes that per game. That is terrible. D, <laughs> let me ask you. All the runs that we've seen at OT7 this year have been QB runs. Can you remember another running back run? No, nope. that's been the only one. That's kind of weak. They're pulling out all the stops. Man. That's kind of weak, in my opinion. <laughs> pulling out all the stops. Good job, Danny. Cali the Power coordinator. <laughs> up two with <laughs> under four minutes left. D, who's making the stop for your pressure, boys? <sighs> Uh, you got 10 Feeling CJ, Denson. Justin Jaylen Denson, Pitt. Justin Denson, maybe. CJ or Jalen Pick. JD gonna scrap over there though. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2. Nah, wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Cali Power, Quasi Gilbert. Go money. Too easy. <laughs> oh, we gotta go money. Oh, yeah. they about to go for the one point gamble. Ooh, let's see what they're running. They got to go for the one-point gamble. This is a smart decision. They about to go for the one-point gamble. Explain the one-point gamble. So the one-point gamble, obviously, you sell them score. So Don't do it, team. It's Don't do play. it. It's fair play. But as I was saying, they're going from a 10. If they get it, they go up one point. They get eight for that. If they don't, they go back down to six. About to be a false start. Ball Just start. get it off. Time. Where the time is out of bounds. Thank you. Too far. Thank you. 23-14. Intended for Money. Quasi Gilbert. We need it. We need it. We need it, we need it, we need it, we need the money. We need the money, we need the money. Go for the money drive right here. So that makes it an eight point game. Here comes the money drive. Come on. I can't even watch right now. I, I'm gonna say that pressure is going for the win here, but if we've learned anything from today, even if you score, the game is not over. We gotta watch this it's clock, over. it's two minutes. See, your games are always so stressful. You know, we gotta make a, a story. We record a documentary. We're doing a documentary, so we got to make the story interesting. You feel me? Jeez. No. Two minutes left, running clock. They still have their timeout. Wow. Oh, and what a cannon from KJ Lacey. Oh, Lace. my God. That uniral exclusive radiation was <laughs> sick. That boy Wayne had to back and duck and limbo behind that ball. A rocket from KJ Lacey ah. to Josiah really Abdullah. Like the four-star. He's a top 
top 10 wide receiver in the class of 2025 as they came up with a big one there for pressure. Here we go. And is that clock? Oh, here you go, Zach. Yes, sir. Zach Sample with space. Yes, sir. Inside the 15 yard line. A new set of downs. 11 left. 10 yard line is a first down marker, so it's it's really a first and four here. This is pressure right here. Is we gonna make a diamond or is we gonna let our pipes burst? Three star ASU commit. Left. Zach Sample with the catch. Under one minute remaining. A touchdown wins the game. Fast, fast, fast. Come on, fast, 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 fast. He is short of the first down marker. It'll be second down. 40 seconds left. They still have their timeout. But a touchdown here would be 10 points for the pressure offense. D, how are we feeling? Anxious. <laughs> 30 seconds left. We got to get it now. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Rolling right over the middle. Uh, come on, get back there, get back there, get back there. They're saying it is a sack. It'll bring time up. Out. Call a timeout. 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 Now what? It'll bring up third down with 22 seconds now left. This, this is the ball. I ain't game. gonna lie to you. He went outside the pocket, so that is a run. But he didn't cross the line of scrimmage. It's a sack. They How said it's a sack. Back to 22. Right, I, it's not a. It's not a run until you cross the line of scrimmage. These, these rules be crazy when we play. <laughs> I just don't know all of them, so I just be talking shit. 22 seconds left, so we got some things to figure out on the field. I'm not sure if they used their timeout there or if that was a ref timeout. I think that was a referee, official's timeout. Tom, you want to you, you figure that It figure looks like you guys on? have now used your timeout now after they used that. Them, yeah. So originally it was some ref stuff, but now, now you got a timeout. Third down. We need money right third here. Down, man. Out down first. eight. This is essentially fourth down. It is third and one. 1,001, They pick up the first down and more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. With no timeout left, it all comes down to this here. Tick, 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 tick. From the 15 yard, excuse me, from the four yard line with seven seconds left, probably the last play of the game. Rolling out right. Throw it over the middle. Yes. No, he that's, a grab. that's a grab. That's he a grab. Dropped. No, watch it, watch it, watch it. That's a grab. Now that's a grab. Watch it. Please 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 watch it. Because he never touched the ground. Never touched. I want everything I love. Never touched the ground. We need to take another look. Watch again. Watch again. Never touch the ground. Never touch the ground. We need to watch again. Uh, Do your thing, Hunter. I don't know, D's smiling. Do your thing, Hunter. Never touch the ground. I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen the replay yet. I'm watching the replay right now. At my right first now. instinct, I thought he dropped it. Never touch the ground, though. It hit the player. It's at. Nah, I ain't going to say the word. It hits the player's body, and then he grabbed it. So you got to watch it. Oh, here we go. I'm watching it right now. I think that's a catch. That's a catch, fam. Oh, I think catch, he fam. caught it. That's a, that's a freaking catch. I think he caught it. That's a... I think he caught it. Was it a catch? Oh, I'm him. Let's see what the call is. That that looked like a catch. He maintained the possession after he grab. bobbled it. Chat, let us know. That's a grab. That's a catch. That's a hey, catch. was it a catch? Yes. Waiting for the official call. AJ, was that a catch? Yes. Yeah. That's a bird not fucking Catch. After the touchdown, California Power called a timeout with three seconds left. Woo! So we have one play remaining. Let's go. But Let's for the go. time being, we have our second walk-off win for team pressure Ooh. in as many hours. Oh my God. Let's go.
Oh my God. What a job by TJ Moore. Let's take another look. What a job by four star TJ Moore to maintain possession. I knew it. D, you got to knock it down here. You got one job. You got to knock it down. D, we need to go. Stop, D. Throws it up. Oh, wow. Bodies in the area. Pick, 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 pick. And Team Pressure has their second walk-off win in the past 90 minutes, defeating California Power by two. And Young D, congratulations, Thank my you, boy. Sir. Thank you, sir. Man. Pressure burst pipes, but it also makes downs. You Let's might go. think it is just for the show, but I can tell you, oh. as a friend of this guy, how much this team means to him, and he is over the moon right now. What happened? What happened? Hey, one of the players. I don't know. He's replay. saying something. But I told him. Told him. He's saying something. What's going on? Can we review? Can we review eight players on the field? Are we allowed to review that? They're saying there is too many players on the field. California Power. That's what they're saying. Too many players on the field? I don't know. I was, you saw where I was at. I was waiting by the phone pit. I, was, I don't know. Ooh. Don't ask me, bro. I don't know. So you got the win now. Yeah, damn right. Damn right. Now we head into the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. We doing that tonight, right? We gotta see about the seeding first. We gotta, that should be a top seed. Should be, but the three seed don't play today. So I'm looking like, wait a minute, we two and one. Be honest. Michigan Scissors or um, Kion? Michigan Scissors or Kion, third down. Who you got? Kion. Oh, it's a Michigan Scissors as Eric. Kion. Mikey, Mikey, you okay? Woo! Team pressure in their second. Cardiac game of the afternoon here in Baltimore. Knocks off California power by two. What a game, what a day of football. And do not go anywhere because we will be back at six o'clock. We're doing it a little bit different. We're back live at six o'clock for the beginning of bracket play. We're expecting some weather tomorrow. So we're starting it early tonight. It's just like what? an hour, right? Just in an hour, what a day we've had so far. D is jumping up and down like a little kid still. T Pressure wins this one by two over California Power. For Tom, for D, I'm Overtime Day. Thanks for tuning in with us. See you back here in an hour. OT7 for Baltimore.